Welcome to the next conference call. We're about an hour in, so I'm fashionably late. However, this thing is probably going to go on for like another 12 hours or something, so there's no way I could have recorded the whole thing anyway. So with that said, let's take you to the conversation. All right, 5814, you are next in the queue. Hi. Uh, hey, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? You're probably tired. I uh, was listening to the conference call this morning, mm -hmm. and um, I never chimed in or anything, but just listened to what everybody had to say and just wanted to let y'all know, you know that we appreciate everything you're doing. And um, My family and I live here in North Carolina. In there is North Carolina. I've been waiting yeah. for someone from that state to show up. All right. Yeah. Nice. Right nice. Here. Appreciate yeah. it. Are you uh, representing any certain group or anything, or just a family doing their thing, or tell just me more about family. you guys? You know, we're just tired sure. of what's going on, and it just doesn't seem like there's a lot of people trying to do anything about it. It just seems like everybody's just sitting and you know just taking it all in. But you know, we are just so tired of it, and it's. And it's not just the, the Bundy uh, Ranch thing, it's, it's other things that's happening and you know, okay. it's just more and more every day you hear on the news mm -hmm. and all these stories on Facebook, you know, and, and just like today I tried to post all the stuff about the auction, you know, all the information about the cattle and everything that you gave out, you know, I sent out as well and then the other groups I'm involved in, you know, I posted that and, but just... I feel like I'm almost helpless sometimes because I just don't know what to do, and it's just overwhelming to know what's happening to this country, and you know, it's just... Well, here was a suggestion. You know, I don't know where you're at financially or work-wise or any of these things, but there was another group that chimed in, which was the uh, of the overpass people, the uh, president of the group, actually, and uh, a, a vice or second or third in command, one, one of three. Um, chimed in and said that, hey, you know, if nobody can really make it to this event, you know, in future events, we really should be taking advantage of the, uh, the overpasses idea. Um, I've always liked what they're doing because it does help kind of spread the word. It helps show some support. You know, we've, uh, we've seen, you know, impeach Obama uh, over quite a few expressways, you know, over the course of the last year or two. And, uh, you know, it was kind of nice to, when you kind of see the one where there's uh, a trek, an entire caravan of easily... 40, 50 plus uh, military vehicles, you know, going under an overpass, and the guys are hanging out the thing and waving and saying, "You're right, impeach him. We hit him too," you know. <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I don't want to get too out of pocket here and too off topic, but you know, a lot of people are on the same page, and and uh, you know, we really appreciate North Carolina chiming in. If you can keep spreading the word, you know, however you do, you know, I've been. Uh, also, right. you had um, Wayne Decree on, and you know yeah. I've been following him as well. So, it, and he's really been doing good about getting the word out. And so, you know, and I'm trying yeah, he, to he, he's that. an awesome guy, and uh, yeah, he's an awesome guy, and his fans are all awesome people. I haven't uh, I haven't met a ninja I didn't like. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I found your Facebook page today, and I um cool. I uh, am following that now. So. But I awesome. didn't want to take up a lot of time. I know there's a lot of people probably wanting to speak. And yeah, there's a good dozen in the queue now. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know that North Carolina is, is here. <laughs> We're trying to we, help out. we really appreciate you chiming in. I really All appreciate right. you chiming in. I'm going to recommend something like making some flyers, you know, putting them out at different areas just to let more people, you know, whatever topic that means something to you right now, you know. Okay. It's really what it comes out to. Just little things like that. I've done it before. I, I keep a you know, folder in my vehicle, and if I happen to be in a public place, I, you know, roll up a couple, stick it in my sleeve, and I might put them on the urinals or, you know, tape them to something just so people yeah. can see them in obscure places. You're not necessarily, you know, literally unless you're just being careless about it, but, you know, go to a BFW, you can meet some people, awaken some other people. That's all we can do, you know, outside of uh, more protests, and I don't know, you know this situation, it did work. I'm, I used to be a protester. I don't really do it so much anymore. Uh, I've been trying to be more proactive and you know, do things like this. So all I can say is try to take yourself to the next level and bring a lot of people with you. Yeah, and, and about the, the situation, you know, when I heard that they were backing down, that just, it's like the last caller. It seems like it's just too easy. You know, it's just it's too yeah. easy, you know. But well, um, I will let you go, and I hope um, you have a good evening, and I appreciate you taking my call. Yeah, I agree. It comes down to a lot of people are just kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop, right? 
All right. We'll move on to the next one. Thanks for your calling in, huh? All right, Tom's one. Hey, Tom's one. What'd you say? How about uh, how long is this conversation going? Uh, this is our first hour. Um, it'll probably just go on deep into the night, man. So, if people want to go ahead and post this a couple more times and invite other people and other groups, ask for other administrators to come in, you know, let them know we're here doing this. And uh, we actually peaked out last night after shutting down this uh, control panel. Uh, about 2,500 plus. Uh, independent phone numbers chimed in yesterday from all over the country, and actually a couple tried getting in out of the country. I could tell. And 150 uh, on this YouTube stream within the U.S. So, if anybody else needs to chime in, maybe you uh, you want to go ahead and press star six. We'll get talking to you in a little bit. If you'd like to ask a question, please press one to add yourself. Uh, Your request has been received. We'll let it in the next like call that. Eight seven four eight. Go ahead. Hi, Brian. This is Anastasia Jacoby from Two Million Bikers to D.C. Jacoby, how are you? I'm doing real good. I'm the one who fell asleep on you last night. <laughs> <laughs> and so I hope you did it and get some rest today. You were able to get refreshed a little bit before tonight. Um, I wanted to call in and let you know, I, um, first of all, I think B handled everything. Um, pretty good when she called in as far as her updates and the people that we're trying to get a hold of to call into your show. I did send you a message on Facebook. You're going to have to check your other folder because uh, when, uh -huh. when I went to friend you, um, I, had a, I had to put follow. You're already up to your maximum. Um, but I did send you the last four digits of one of our boots on the ground that, I, that I've been trying to get in contact with tonight. Um, the second thing is on your post, on your page for tonight's call, the access code is incorrect. Um, the first two numbers are transcribed. I actually saw that. You're right. I actually saw that. So uh, I was trying to get it reposted from everybody else with 276125 is the appropriate access code, which would partially explain why we're not getting uh, all the people in here. So if anybody's posted that up, make sure the access code does say 276125. Somebody in the chain of command had some dyslexia this morning. Um, <laughs> so 276. 125 was the same uh, code that we've been using all along, but one post did go out where the 72 I believe were switched up. Uh, hopefully a lot of people caught that. We noticed right now, because I noticed right now, uh, we're only at about 80 people on the call, but that's actually pretty high for anything like uh, you know internet radio or things of that nature. I didn't even expect you know this many people on the conference call. And again, we peaked out at one point at 400 plus yesterday, but altogether over uh, 25 independent phone numbers came in to chime in yesterday so hopefully we I did hear that. that 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 is just so exciting I mean that that just oh wow that moves my heart yeah that, to me it's awesome I, you know I, I dabbled in a little bit of radio and never expected uh, so many fans going this route and I think it's kind of cool where everybody can kind of chime in on their own you know somebody said hey I like your show this this, this isn't even a show this is just a uh, a conference call that started a few days ago, now. Uh, you know, with some people that were concerned, and then we said we're just going to keep inviting people to it, and now it's like everybody liked it, and it's not been done before, so um, we're just going to continue to keep doing it. You know, I'm not uh, throwing any commercials up. <laughs> we're not, uh, you know, we don't have any sponsors or anything like that. Um, this is just a regular conference call, and uh, it's kind of a cool idea to let people, you know. Hey everybody on uh, the YouTube stream, do me a favor. Um, if you feel I have the volume up too soft or too loud or too whatever, um, go in the Cosmic Voice Facebook group and, and let me know under the post because I have no other way of like taking your comments and stuff right now because of how focused in I am on this. So just saying, if, there, if you feel there's anything, technical difficulties, whatever, please let me know. Thank you. I really think it's a tribute to the events that have, you know, well, actually, not just that have been happening over the past week, but are still happening. Well, cool. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, I've never had anybody, you know, write a song for me before, but, uh, you know, my, my fellow that I mentioned in the phone call yesterday that I've been, uh, you know, working with and looking out for and, uh, you know, became good friends with, he says, hey, here, I, I made you a song one day. And he's like, well, that's cool. And he picks up his guitar and starts playing it, and I picked up my drum. And I'm like, hey, I like it. You know, let's, let's turn this into something. And, you know, he helped me uh, edit it a little bit and we changed it up. And we've been playing with this recording software and we turned it into a song and we've showed it to some people. And 
I appreciate your good feedback on it. It makes me feel good. I've never had uh, anything like written for me or by me. It was just a gift, you know, what he could offer, and uh, he did the same good job at it. Absolutely, I agree. Um, maybe one question you might want to consider asking him is, uh, when's the video coming out? <laughs> you know, we've actually been juggling that idea. Um, I don't know if you caught that. Uh, unfortunately, he's been on the streets for the last couple of years. Uh, he used to be a carpet layer, and uh, while he was on the south side of Chicago, south west side, uh, somebody stole his van full of tools, and uh, you know he lost his wheels, he lost his transportation, he lost his tools, uh, he lost a lot of personal items as well as his job, I believe. And uh, you know, soon things followed that he couldn't pay rent. Uh, unfortunately, his old lady moved out, and uh, you know he packed up what he had left and put it in the uh, storage bin, and. Uh, he tried to stay in there for a little while, and that didn't work out. So uh, he got himself a tent with what money he had left, and uh, my brother's been living on the, by the railroad tracks for the last couple of years. And two winters ago is when I met him. Uh, I was working at as a security guard uh, nights with my uh, wife here at a local venue, and uh, you know he kept coming in and sitting down and didn't really order anything. And the girls were like, "Should we kick him out?" I said, "No, you know, the guy just wants to watch TV and uh, you know seek some shelter for a minute." And uh, he was obviously, obviously been riding his bike that he's acquired around town and stuff. But uh, just one day I asked him if he wanted a beer. You know, it was at the end of my shift. And he's like, no, I don't drink. And I don't really drink. But I said, you know what, neither do I. But uh, how about you just have one? I'll have one with you. And uh, the rest is history. And the guy's a writer. He's an author. He's got uh, a couple books that he put out um, that, that I've helped him with. We transcribed them and we got them into uh, soft cover. And we put them up on... Uh, uh, Amazon books, um, and then now we're trying to kind of help him move forward with any music career, and I, I hope it turns into something. There was uh, on that link, you'll see that there's actually three or four more songs that he's put together that we've also. No, I didn't together. see that. Yeah, if you, if you actually go back to that song on SoundCloud, the Free the People okay. song. Okay. The right hand call in the right hand column while that song's playing, and you're looking at the lyrics. Um, you should see a few more songs on the side. One's called So Crazy, and then there's another one. He, he really tried to keep like a, uh, you know, a story to each song. That's why I like his work so much. There, one of his other songs is called Louisiana Moon, and uh, he kept to dedicate that song to all the people that were affected by uh, Hurricane Katrina. And he intended that if he ever made any money, even though he needs money, he, he intended that every dollar that ever came in from that song he would definitely have uh, donated to uh, victims of that situation. Wow. That, that's just amazing. Yeah, it's a pretty cool song, too. I mean, uh, he's, got, he's got almost 30, 40 some odd songs that he's got put together. I'm just trying to make them come alive. Uh, I'd love to see him you know, get some more fans. Um, sure. So yeah, if you, like, if you like what you hear on the other ones, uh, even though it's uh, you know my SoundCloud, uh, he, he prefers to remain... Uh, somewhat uh, anonymous for the most part, just due to the fact that uh, he's kind of shy in some ways. Um, I'll admit, you know, he's an eccentric guy. Um, I've gotten through to him, and, uh, you know, he's like an uncle to me now, but, uh, you know, just, you know, some people affect him differently, let's just say, <laughs> and uh, he's, he's just trying to lay low right now, but when the time comes and uh, he gives me, you know, the opportunity, I, I'd be more than happy to even get him on this call or, uh, you know, help him personally you know, at least get back to the point where he's back inside, you know, the uh, Chicago uh, winners are nothing to mess with, and uh, he, he survived a few of them now, and uh, I hope he doesn't have to do that another another uh, winner. Right, no, I, I completely agree. I'm from up in the Northeast, um, so I can imagine. Um, yeah, I, I think that's great. I think that's excellent. Hopefully, um, you know, I know we posted this song, you posted this song, and, and through this, that he'll just really start getting uh, the exposure, because um, he's definitely very talented. Well, I appreciate um, that. I, yeah. I, and, you know, I got to tell you, you know, this, uh, <laughs> I am a woman, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it was after, you know, the long hours, pulling these long hours, you know, just getting a couple hours of sleep here, getting a couple hours of sleep there, you know, over the past couple days, and, you know, after this. The siege was was primarily over, and the the cattle had you know just been returned. Um, you know that's when I bounced back over to your page, and 
I saw the, you know, the music video because I hadn't had time to listen to music videos or, you know, funny little clips and, you know, things like that because, you know, we've just been monitoring so many different pages and, you know, listening to the scanner feeds and, you know, just trying to fact check and gather intel and, you know, with the amount of rumors that just surrounded this whole thing, um, you know, it, it was really taxing a lot of us, you know, just to try and get information verified and, um, you know, it, it was just knowing that the cattle had been released and BLM had stood down and I just clicked on that video and just played it and I, I cried, you know, I, it was just, I, I just broke down and cried. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad I'm having that kind of effect. I'm glad his music is kind of having that kind of effect. We've had, uh, by my count, give or take five or six people that just called in bawling. You know, oh, that guy, you know, there's uh, Eric Ron, who is uh, to me a pretty macho guy. He, you know, he's a leader of uh, a national uh, comms line for the militia. And the guy got on the phone and just got very uh, emotional. He wears his heart on his sleeve. And I love that about him. Um, you know, we had a, another couple of ladies that did call in. We had a couple of gentlemen that called in, a little teary eyed and sniffed in there and just, uh, I'm just glad everybody's, you know, uh, you know, appreciates what what we're trying to accomplish here. It's awesome, and uh, you know, I thank you. For, yeah, I did uh, hear. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I did hear. I did. Sure, I, I did hear one of those calls. Um, you know, one of those callers that just broke down. Um, it was it was a woman caller, and uh, I I can't recall her name. Um, but yeah, you know, a lot of people don't realize, you know, the the tense moments and when you're trying to report. Um, you know, you're getting intel that's coming in, and it's really sometimes highly emotional. It's really intense, and and you can't share that. You can't put it out because you don't want to cause panic. And um, you know, you you have to get it verified. I I had um I'll share with you real quick here. I had a real scary incident last night. I was on the phone with uh, one of the boots that we have on the ground there at the ranch, and while we were on the phone talking. She, she just you could hear panic, and she there was a lot of panic in her voice. And I asked her, I said, "What's happening?" And she and she says, "I don't know." She says, "Somebody's screaming. I hear somebody screaming." <coughs> and they started running up a hill towards where the screams were coming from, and the the cell phone signal was lost. And you know, so I I was just sitting here. You know, it was like every second that just took by. Oh, it just seemed like yeah. it was hours, just just not knowing. And and you know, thankfully, within a matter of minutes, she had called me back. But those those minutes, every second, just seemed like hours. Oh, yeah. Um, and you know, it it ended up that, that it was a non-incident. But I think a lot of this, you know, it it's been the not knowing that's been so difficult you know, for everyone who's been monitoring this, because we don't, you know, we're so used to being able to pick up the phone or, you know, send out a text message or send out a message on Facebook or, you know, some people tweet, I don't tweet. Um, but, you know, people will send out tweets and, and it was difficult because we didn't have real good lines of communication. So there were whole periods throughout the day where we really didn't know what was going on. No, you're 100% correct. I mean, uh I'm going to actually give the opportunity. I see a couple uh, local uh, members from that area. I'm going to see if I can get them to chime in next, okay? Great. Well, take care and God bless. Thanks, and uh, keep spreading the word, and uh, I'm, I'm glad uh, you turned into a fan. You and I are not friends now, okay? Okay. All right, take care, Hanwha. I hope to hear from you in the future. You too. Bye-bye. All right, you've been holding for a while there. Wireless caller, sorry about that. 4526, how can I help you? Hi, yeah, I'm three percenter up here in Idaho, and I'm in contact with uh, some local mil militias that are down there. And um, yep. I was just wondering if I could get confirmation on two sub uh, subjects. Um, one, we heard that there was a militia recon unit that was either cut off or pinned down. Do you have any information on that? Uh, Oklahoma and Texas did report some arrests. Uh, I believe Oklahoma was released. And the portion of Texas was released as well. I cannot confirm uh, whether or not uh, they've all been released as of yet. I would uh, best, you know, logic guess is most likely unless they were, uh, you know, coming and pulled out a rattle and had a couple things they might not should have. Yeah. All right. And then that, the uh, we are waiting for other any other reports that, of anybody that can verify that some of those things. Uh, they're more than welcome to call. So yeah, definitely keep spreading the word. What were you going to say? Yeah. 
Definitely. And then the other one was um, we heard that there were some BLM, I believe, uh, checkpoints that they were doing um, illegal search and seizures. Do you have any information um, on that? There were some people that had chimed in that said that there were some stops. They were definitely running plates. We had uh, three or four different live scanners uh, going from scanner radio uh, from the local area. Uh, two of them ended up getting shot down because they saw there were so many people monitoring those lines. But um, I think it was locals, just the local police force still had theirs running, and they were definitely uh, looking at a lot of outside, uh, you know, outside of the state plates. Um, you know, so if you're coming in and you've got a, you know, a prior that's open or a felony or your license is no good, <clears throat> if you don't have insurance registration, I would highly suggest you get that before you head out or whatever the case is. But um, uh, we do know that, you know, there's some things uh, in, in, in Nevada, as far as guns go, are not legal, you know, as far as super high caliber, as far as I know. I know it's an open yeah. carry state, but the law is that uh, you've got to keep the bullet out of the uh, out of the clip. Uh, I'm sorry, out of the magazine, and you know, you can have things holstered and things of that nature. But I've been told that if you're carrying something that's you want to make sure the bullets are not in the weapon. Um, you can have them in the magazine. I was told, but um, I personally didn't look at that. This is what I've been told multiple times. But you know, anybody had it out there still is uh, coming in. You know, carrying, um, they might want to put that stuff in the trunk so they don't look like instigators. <laughs> Uh, the ranchers have requested that if you're coming in, come in as a peaceful protester that just happens to have, you know, self-defense in the vehicle. Um, as long as, of course, you have the correct, you know, permits and things of that nature uh, from your state. You know, I would recommend a felon from Chicago, you know, <laughs> fill up their yeah. uh, trunk full of, full of 50 cal and, you know, run down there right now. That's not what yeah. we're looking for, you know. They want peaceful protesters that happen to be militia. That's the way to look at it. But if you're going to call them, transform yourself into a peaceful protester. If you come in there with your BDUs and your bulletproof vests on, with your uh, AK in the back seat, fully loaded, ready to rock, and your uh, you know anti-aircraft <laughs> made gear, uh, I don't <laughs> recommend that whatsoever right now. Okay. No, yeah, we're going peaceful. Yeah, everything seems to be going fairly without a hitch. We are kind of waiting, you know, for the other shoe to drop them, and um, we're definitely told that uh, even though BLM has backed off, the sheriff has recognized that you know there's still stadies, there's still a couple feds around. And there is a small rumor going around that there's a possibility of uh, DHS as well as National Guard in the vicinity, but hopefully they're just on standby. Uh, I figure if nothing escalates on our end as far as the people go, you know, the, uh, the, the numerous uh, three-letter alphabet suit that's out there will just stand down and let these people just kind of get it out of their system and go home eventually. It really yeah. comes down to what does the rancher want. The rancher is asking the more protesters because uh, he, he feels obviously this isn't over yet. If anybody else has some other more info, uh, feel free to press star six on your phone and chime in. Uh, we've still got a dozen people in the queue, so brother, I'm going to move on unless you got something up. No, thank you. You got the support for um, uh, full state of Idaho here. Oh, man, I love to hear that. Idaho's good people. Make sure they know the Illinois Sons of Liberty are in cahoots, okay? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you, sir. All right, simple. All right, I got a caller that's been holding for a few minutes here. Thirty thirty-five, you're on. Hey, that's a, that's an Illinois call. Am I there? Illinois. Yeah. Hey, hey, come on in. Hey, Brian, I'm a Chicago girl. Yeah, I recognize the area code. How are you doing, <coughs> Chicago girl? You're on your uh, our neighbors practically. Yes, yes. I was well. Actually, I was raised in Cicero, but uh, I spent a lot of time in Chicago. <laughs> that's where I got my first tattoo. Was in Cicero. Yeah, really. Yeah, wow. that town's underground world of Texas. It sure is. It was. Uh, I'm, not, I'm living in Crestville now, but anyway, um, I'm a sister girl. Okay. Well, what can I do for you, man? I just want to tell you that uh, I just want to thank you for everything that you're doing, and I want to thank all the supporters at the Bundy Ranch, of course. Um, I know it's not over yet, but uh, I think we put the stand for the best. And um, it's just Americans United. It just makes you feel so good after everything that's happened in this world. And I also would like to say something else. Um, there's, a, there's a gentleman that is a true patriot, and he's a veteran, and he's going to be running for president in 2016. If anybody would just like to go to his website, we need signatures to get him on the ballot. He has these corporations back in well, I can either confirm or deny based on what you just said, but we can look into it. I like the fact that he's a patriot. I like the fact that he's a veteran for the most part. 
if he's been a good guy. But uh, the fact that he's running for president, as long as we can get some of these uh, shitbags that are about to end up on the ballot out of the way, I definitely would try to support somebody else. He wants to get them all out. He, he, he's a real stand-up guy. He believes in the Constitution. He's just a normal guy. I mean, he has a lot of business in um, what the political aspect, no, but I'm telling you, he's a true patriot, and he is definitely a veteran, and he wants to get our veterans back. And get out of his sure, country. sure. Like, Spit out his name, and uh, if he has a Facebook page, as well, if he has a uh, website, what's that all about? Okay, his website is, um, I'll give you the website, and what we need is signatures to get him on the ballot. And it's not voting for him, it's just signatures to get him on the ballot, and you can do that on his website. Sure, www.
least you're getting something, man. At least you're getting something down. <laughs> I just wanted to chime in. Uh, I'm uh, out here on the uh, East Coast, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, actually, uh, f of the Northeast Florida Minutemen group here. There's something on Facebook. We've got, we've got quite a few members uh, in our group. Um, I hit you up on uh, Facebook, find your page, since your request. I want to say thanks you know, for what you're doing. Uh, due diligence. Uh, great job covering this, uh, with the, uh, getting the word out. I uh, thank the news, uh, news Ninja, and uh, thanks to the uh, two million uh, bikers for chiming in for reps uh, earlier. That's some good uh, information for everybody getting out. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's been a trip, man. It's, it's nice to see so many people chiming in. Where are you from again? Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, okay, yeah, we've had a lot of Florida people calling. Good to know, you know a lot more people than I really gave you all credit for are, are uh, oh, awake and involved yeah. out there, man. We're, we're wide awake. Uh, we're wide awake down in the south, man. Let me let you, uh, let you know right now. Um, uh, chomping at the bit. Um, you know, of course, we all, you know, first thing, priority. You know, we want this... Uh, we, we, we all want a, uh, a peaceful resolution. Everything that's going on, and that's the main thing. Um, Absolutely. Uh, today's you know, today's events uh, in Nevada, you know, it's one step of uh, I think many many steps to come. Um, I think you know the BLM and, and the Feds they back down. I feel like everybody's talking to give cattle back, um, which has been confirmed. Well, I heard uh, some were slaughtered and already auctioned off. So are we seeing that you're just <laughs> up a ready, ready for the dinner table, right? Well, I, I figured at least some of them were. We were hearing they were being plowed over, um, which is illegal. Uh, we were hearing that they, they, some uh, the first batch got auctioned off already. Um, so out of yeah. give or take 700 cattle, any idea how many are back in their uh, possession? Um, no, as far as numbers, no, 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 nothing concrete. I can't give you any kind of concrete from what I've heard, from what I'm picking up. Um, you know, a lot of information I'm getting from you guys, a lot of, you know, there's, there's a few other sources I have also. Um, but, you know, one thing I was, I was hearing is, as I was listening, um, somebody chimed in and said something about the National Guard. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but the uh, National Guard... Um, they're not inactive or put in the force unless the governor would call them out. Is that correct? Uh, that should be the case in point, bro. But uh, we did hear now two people, at least through my communications, that said that uh, they have a presence nearby at a couple of hotels. Um, but but in, in, in it sounds like they're in, that in the right. region. It, 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 you know, in I'd have to say. In, in, you know, um, against you know, against the governor calling out for the national guard. I mean, the other day I heard reports that the governor was was actually telling the feds to stand down if they were in the wrong. Um, so I don't know why they would be calling the national guard out to, uh, to go against him. Um, and and uh, I do know that the sheriff, the sheriff in that local area, had called for, for the BLMLA to. Uh, to stand down and step aside or face some kind of uh, charges or arrest. I'm not sure if anything else ever came about with that, um, other than them just backing down and, and just coming up. Kind of. uh, I mean, we were letting people know that, you know, if they're doing something illegal, a group citizen's uh, arrest really goes a long way as long as you can report and verify that what they've done is completely illegal. Um, yeah. you know, we really wanted to get to that point. Uh, so I don't think that uh, obviously has occurred. But uh, uh, as far as the National Guard, you know, all we were told is that somebody had seen a bunch nearby. That's what they thought they were. And three people uh, thus far have chimed in uh, through my comms lines uh, about that. Now, within the region at a local hotel was where I was told they were. Um, there was a gentleman that had called earlier said he was looking for hotels around there. And obviously he decided not to stay at that particular hotel. <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, you know, we, we can only just you know keep expecting people with boots on the ground to keep chiming in and uh, giving us some actual intel. We're asking if uh, you know you see anything suspicious. Definitely try to get us video clips or uh, any sort of pictures. And as well, we are using a hashtag on Twitter, which is uh, pound sign and then both before orders. So if you've got any actual confirmable intel, you can tag us to uh, pound both before orders. 
Uh, we really appreciate it. We're looking for uh, you know live footage, actual timestamps, photos. You know, somebody showed me a caravan of uh, you know steam coffee. Go, did, I, think I, I need it dated and stamped too. Go ahead, boys. I sent you a friend request on Facebook. So if you hit my friend friend request and, and come check out my page, I've got a couple of things I shared. I've got actually a couple of live streams. Um, one I think was actually mentioned uh, previously on the on the line here, and then another one that uh, is a friend of ours or in, in a group that I'm in here in Jacksonville um, uh, with, with the Miniman group. Um, she's got okay. something set up also with some people that are uh, on the ground there. Um, but also, just one another, another thing I want to touch on, man. I have to agree with quite a few people out there. The BLM, I don't, I don't think they're done. Uh, you know, they did what they did today. We, we did make some steps and some strides, but it's no time to lay down and think we've got everything with. Yeah, no time to start uh, celebrating quite yet. Although we, you know. One a piece of the battle. We all know that uh, the other two yeah, is not even dropped. It, there's many steps, many many steps we have to, to take, many strides we have to overcome, man, to, to to get what we need to achieve. Well, hopefully, uh, you know, this turns into one of the tools that uh, you know keep everybody on point, so to speak. Agreed, 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 man. Stay alert, stay alive. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you for chiming in, brother. Uh, 0349, you've been on the hold for a minute there. You want to chip in? Hello. Hey. Hi, how are you? Hey, uh, doing all right. Uh, I don't think I've got as much wind as I had yesterday. I think I went through about uh, up until my sixth wind. But uh, uh, as, of, as of right now, so far, so good. I actually purchased uh, some coffee to keep me going throughout the night. I assume we'll be on for a minute. Awesome. Well, this is Maggie, and I'm from Montana. I've been following. Hey, Montana. This, hey, um, I've been following this pretty close, but um, I okay. You know how we have like Facebook wars or whatever. Someone was posting that um, the link that I had posted your link this conference call was disinfo, and it was someone from like an Alex Jones like website. And I said, ah, uh, no, I said your website's kind of disinfo. So anyway, the question that she posed to me was, where are they even linking from? Are you guys there at the ranch? Or can I ask uh, that? Great, great question. Uh, uh, we, this is, I think, the sixth segment that we've done over the course of the last 36 hours. Um, all this started off is, I'll give you a little background on me in case people are worried. You know, I'm just uh, an average 39-year-old dude, uh, you know, here in uh, Chicago land suburbs. Um, happened to have recently, well, not recently, in the last seven years, I actually uh, gotten in touch with my uh, local state uh, Second Amendment uh, constitutional militia. And, uh, you know, I've been working with them regularly over the course of the last seven years. Anyways, uh, the commander and I were talking, um, you know, I mentioned this situation kind of at point critical. Other groups have uh, raised their, their DEF CON level uh, to one, and uh, you know, where are we with this? We got to talking. Uh, he decided uh, just a slightly raised level. Uh, we started inviting more people on the call, and then we just decided, you know what? Let's just uh, start inviting more people. So, for anybody to say this is disinformation, all it is is people talking about their concerns. We're trying to get more boots on the ground to try and get on this call to give us live feedback, but we've deterred all disinformation. Uh, every step of the way, and uh, there's a playback number uh, for this call it is 559-726-1399, and the playback is pound 954 pound, and you can actually listen to this call. That uh, will give you the, the previous call, so on and so forth. Every time you listen to one, you can go back and trace back to the very first call where it all started, so, um, and see that nobody is trying to give up which is exactly what we're trying to prevent. Um, okay. you know, people can chime in with what intel, but if, if it's not confirmable intel, it's not confirmable intel. We've got a couple things there. You know, you get five or six reports of the same thing. You start, you know, leaning towards that, but we're not trying to sway anybody. Uh, what we're trying to get is actual boots on the ground that can tell us, hey, what's exactly going on? That's why this all started. We've had, uh, you know, uh, I can't give all, all the data, but we've had people high up in the military. 
um, active and that are retired that are still in touch with people high up, all the way down to law enforcement, EMT, regular everyday Joes, you know, leaders of media, leaders of other groups uh, that have all chimed in over the course of this whole thing. So it's just a conference call. It's open to anybody. Anybody's right. going to get a chance to speak if they chime in. So I don't see how that disinformation. This isn't a radio I, show. Right. I, I'm just some. I'm just some dude that started up a conference call that turned into this, and uh, <laughs> anybody can say what they want. You know, it's, it's right. their opinions. And, and uh, how does that turn right. into disinformation? I've never said. You know, this is actually no, what's and happening. Right. right. So. And, okay, and then the thing uh, that she also said was, um, I went to the Bunny Ranch link, and then they had like a. Uh, Santilli, I think that's his name. Yeah, Pete Santilli um, was doing a live feed earlier today. Right, the, and uh, we're also, right. And then she also like posted like, um, she was like, do you remember when they were trying to um, bust people over that trucker thing? I guess he was the one that like gave up disinformation for from that, and it's like said, well, I don't know anything about that because I didn't watch like the trucker rally or nothing. So I, I really didn't know, but she was like trying to tell me, but um, if you watch that Alex Jones link earlier, there were several people in there posting, shots have been fired, shots have been fired, and I thought, right, no, right. that's just, that that's was exactly just exactly why this is all here. That's exactly right. why we put this together. It's exactly why it's become what it's become. People understand this is not... Yeah, this is actually kind of cool live entertainment because everybody's got a chance to get involved. All it is was a conference call. I'm not syndicated. I'm not getting paid for this. I am uh, completely voluntary. My wife's a little mad at me because I've been doing it so long. But uh, I've, 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 I've acquired you know, quite a, a slew of many patriots all across the country of all of the different backgrounds that are chiming in. And uh, you know, come to find out, hey, come to find out, hey, I'm pretty good at this. All right, so... If, yeah. wants to, if people if people want to hate, if people want to, you know, cause problems, spread disinformation, go right ahead. But you know, go jack somewhere else. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna Definitely. dislocate them from this conversation as soon as I hear about them. Everybody's welcome to come on, but uh, if you get out of pocket, you know, again, I'm not going to take anybody's First Amendment uh, rights away, but uh, I'm gonna move. move here, I you know? totally agree with you. And then for her to like sit there and like post that Alex Jones stuff, and then. To spread that disinfo, like shots have been fired, shots have been fired, and right. to tell me that, oh, well, I have a friend Janet, and she's like right there at, you know, Bunny Ranch, and it's like, she said this is disinfo, and it's like, well, no, I said, I've been listening to it, you know, for the past two days, you know, or however long it's been, but yeah, it, it, it's difficult to like try to figure stuff out, but she was like, well, no, you got the disinfo. No, you go to this and so. So I'm just trying to figure stuff mm -hmm. out, and I just wanted to know if you yeah. were right there at the Bundy Ranch or. No, no. I'm, I'm okay. here in my barracks in uh, Sweet Home, Chicago. Um, just you know, do, doing my thing uh, over the weekend, and uh, what, what was going to be a more eventful weekend turned into this. But this is this is what I I, I obviously like doing this. I, I have no problem doing it. You know, I'll do it as long as I can, and uh, you know, right. I think through other tragedies or American situations or. Uh, you know, whatever the case is, I, I want to offer this again for, for me, if anything, and a lot of my new friends and old friends that have chimed in. This is very therapeutic for me. There you <laughs> people, go. People, well, I people, think you're awesome. I think you're really awesome. And, cool. Cool. and I'm sure, like, everyone that's listening, we're so thankful for what you're doing. Cool. I, I, and I hope so. I appreciate it. You know, I, I'm just a guy trying to get the other people on the same page. I'm, you know, I have no ulterior motive other than to hey meet new cool people that want to chime in and uh you know see if we can't get down to the bottom of a whole bunch of things it's fountained into something magical to me where i've got you know access to uh you know we got seven different comms lines now of people that are chiming uh that have certain tasks that we you know put them on throughout the day so as new things as new issues arise you know this is just to gain us a little bit of practice i mean the power of the people is right here we, you know, that's all we right. asked for, all we asked for yesterday was prayers, and uh, you know, for the sheriff to get involved, and for uh, the, the military people that did chime in, and the EMTs and medics to, to go through their resources and put some pressure on uh, you know whoever's calling the shots to uh, you know stand down. That was all we wanted. If you stand down, we'll stand down. That was I, I've, I've said that a lot a few times. That's what we wanted, you know. Um, right. 
I, I have no control over the situation. I can't say, you know, and you know, I'm, I'm walking a very thin line here, but I can't say, yeah, you know, take them all out, and uh, everybody's going to do that. I have no power. I have no authority there. I'm just right. a dude, you know. I'm just trying to find out what's going on, and uh, you know, we decided to use this con line that started off with a lot of the other Second Amendment groups across the country. That's right. where it all started, and, and they're very good uh, word spreaders. Now there's phone trees, call trees. Um, you know, comms lines are open, and uh, right here we're the hub. You know, it's the people doing what the people should have been doing years ago. We probably wouldn't let uh, as many people overstep their boundaries had we had this right. kind of technology ten years ago. Um, right. It gives us an opportunity to do that. So uh, I'm gonna move on to the next caller. I've got a seven seven three area code. I highly recognize this one. Did you have anything you wanted to add, young lady? No, that's it. You're awesome, and we appreciate everything that you're doing. Very much appreciate you. Uh, you know. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you know, you stay tuned and uh, we make well. more friends out there. Appreciate you. Okay. Bye. Bye. You may now ask your question. 773, what's going on? Com 69420 here in Chicago. <laughs> Nothing much. Um, I've been uh, recording and streaming out uh, this whole thing on YouTube since about uh, 9 p.m., I was uh, fashionably late, but seeing as Google only allows for up to you know eight hours of recording anyway, there's no way I, I could have gotten the entire thing. So um, I guess it doesn't matter exactly when I start recording. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's perfectly fine. I, I appreciate you streaming. You know, nobody, had, you, you know, you're offering your services. Uh, we totally appreciate you know any you know secondary ventures to uh, get more people on the same page. If, uh, you, know, you want to continue to do that throughout. These uh, <clears throat> column episodes and different adventures that I'm sure will be coming up. Uh, you're more than welcome to. And uh, again, I said before, you know, we'll definitely discuss some future opportunities as well. I'll help. You know, yeah. we, we can get in these situations. It means a lot right now. Yeah, um, I definitely want to comment on on a few things as far as um, happenings throughout the day and as as pertains to um, you know, what what some things to what the last few callers said. Um. I was uh, doing a, a bit more research on all this stuff today and seeing, you know, who's putting, you know, what out there. And, like, um, there's this one guy who um, the other day um, broadcasted this one um, radio show saying that, you know, the whole thing's a PSYOP and, you know, Clive Bundy's in on it and so on and so forth. And one thing I want to want to warn people on is that there's a lot of well-intended people who have a lot of ego that's flying. Um, that's just, it's the way we're raised in this society. Um, we're not raised to think holistically. We're raised to narrow our minds. Instead of having data in parallel, we're, we're you know, taught to look for which ingredient to blame for the existence of the cake, so to speak. So, you know, we've got like all these pro Alex Jones and Pete Santilli people and how the Pete Santilli and, and Alex Jones people don't like each other and there's this other guy that don't like them um, don't get caught in 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 the rhetoric um, you know kind of look at, at the basic data and also look at the the character of the people speaking um, like this this person who was speaking he had a lot of good information when you can you can strip you know his rhetoric out he made some good points but he also uh, you know, tries to slant them, and he, he was a bit hypocritical. And I don't, I don't think he consciously, you know, realized is that he was doing that. Got to understand, it, it, you know, it's not about you know the one percent against the ninety nine or whatever. It's about the hundred percent that's caught in a, a psychological meme, a dichotomy. Um, the the globalist elites were were raised from from little kids to genuinely think that they have to, you know, protect and save humanity, other, otherwise it'll fall to destruction, and that the only way they can do that for the greater good of the continuation of the species is to control everybody as slaves and to, you know, cull the herd every once in a while and so on and so forth. So these guys got their, their belief systems, and they're some of the most insecure people on Earth because they think that if they do not control the external and everyone around them, that they have no control over their lives. And then there's an equal and opposite dichotomy happening to the, to the people. 
the people want babysitters to rule them because they're not taught how to how to uh, think critically and use discernment. And you know, adulthood has become a a state of adolescence, and that's the way we're brought up. So my point is is to to negate blame here. It's not about blame. It's about responsibility. It's about doing no harm. It's about restoring the person who was harmed, not going on any witch hunts, and it's about having a, a better understanding of how the system works. Like like the lady that was on earlier that, you know, that guy running, you know, on he wants to get on the ballot. Well, I applaud those good intentions, but the facts are is you've got a corporate cabal that's controlling all the government systems of the world. This isn't conspiracy theory. People can go verify this. And besides, it's not a leap of logic to think that corporations with big money have so much influence. You know, it's like the, the Rothschild said, um, give me control of a nation's money supply and I care not who makes her laws. So until the people take responsibility and take back the system, then if this guy tries to go into the system, he's just going to get bounced out or worse. I mean, you know, I think that's the point Ron Paul was trying to make, too, that kind of fell on deaf ears. In my opinion, Ron Paul lost by winning. You know, he got he got ignored out of the race. And that's very easy to have that happen, seeing as everything is so so tightly controlled. Education's controlled, media's controlled, government's controlled. It's all corporate controlled and corporate interests. So exiting the blame game and you know not being afraid of information and learning to not be so emotionally triggered. Like earlier on Cosmic Voice in the Facebook group, um, you know, I posted a video where Alex Jones said, you know, emergency, the, uh, you know, the federal uh, authorities were threatening, um, you know, uh, to, to shoot people or whatever. And this girl, this girl Dawn just totally like jumped me on it. When fear porn, fear porn, fear porn, I'm like, no, it's not fear porn. Number one, it's Alex Jones's right to his perspective on the situation. And number two, it's just data. So, we put the data out there and then we ask the questions. It, uh, okay, the question is a claim is being made. Is it true or is it not? What can we do to find out? That's called research. You can't research if you stick your head in the sand whenever you don't like a piece of information that comes across. You know, screaming like Chicken Little, that's the fear porn in my opinion. You know, so I mean if somebody's putting out an opinion that says, hey, you know, they're making this claim of, you know, the Fed said this. Okay, well, a claim has been made. That's the only fact about it. Um, beyond that, it's circumstantial. So we need to move it from circumstantial into tangible. Can we prove that this really is taking place? Uh, can we disprove it? Are we on the fence? You know, information is just information. And I think that this conference call is very important for putting information on the table and in a way that disrespects that, look, it's all just information. Let's be calm. Let's keep cool heads. Let's put aside our biases and prejudices. And like yesterday, you know, that like there were some people with um, homophobic sen sentiments and trying to bring the divide and conquer prejudice mentality. One thing I was tempted to say is that you know what, it's a thousand percent more likely that a straight woman is going to get raped by a straight man than a straight guy is going to get raped by a gay guy. So, I mean, let's put all the prejudices aside. You don't you don't like homosexuals, fine, whatever. That's your right to not like them, but, you know, let's not bring the, the, the hate to the table. You don't like black people, white people, Hispanics, whatever, fine. Like, like they said on the movie Pre Assault on Precinct 13, put that shit on hold. Let's come together for the greater good and let's come together with the uh, with the intention of getting all of this data and information on the table and figuring it out rationally and not, you know, opening up our flies, whipping out our egos from our pants and slapping people around with it. And for good buddy, that's exactly what we're trying to accomplish here, right? I'm going to actually keep you in on the call if you don't mind. I don't mind. You can mute yourself up. I'm sure. bring in somebody else, but I'm, I'm going to leave you in the queue. Sure, that's no problem. I can I can go quiet on my own here. I'm using Skype, so no biggie. Awesome. Muted. All right, next caller, you're on wireless caller. Go right ahead. And if I am going to try that one more time. Seven six four three. You are up muting me anyway by accident. He didn't keep me on. Hey, <laughs> that's okay though. There you are. Hey, I'm on again. This will be my last time tonight, but I'm going to hit the head. 
couple points I wanted to hit on. First of all, I'd yeah, like to say you that give me a favor. Live. Real quick, yeah, give me a favor, sure. bro. I got, I got a crying baby in the background. Can you get away from that right now? Absolutely. You're there. <laughs> All right. That kid Better. got some pipes. She's going to be the next pet Benatar, man. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I got six of them around here. So. All right. Um, you, okay. <laughs> They're all going to be Patriots, too. Now, this this caller you just had on, I've, I've talked to him last night, listened to him last night. I wouldn't like to uh, YouTube. I agree with a lot of what he said. Yeah, basically, everything he said tonight. And uh, right. first of all, you heard of Lieutenant Colonel Allen West, right? I'm sorry. Have you heard of Lieutenant Colonel Allen West? Allen West? Uh, yeah, that definitely rings a bell. I think I've liked him for some point or another. Uh, what could you tell me about? Anyway, Allen West? okay, so he states that you know that the uh, BLM stepped down. You know they announced that this morning. Well, he got he confirming this, and he he got. Um, Sources that that tell him, yes, you know, behind the scenes, yes, we uh, said that, but it's not going to be for a couple of days. They don't plan on going anywhere for a, a, at least a day or two. Was Alan West's exact words? He's a legit. Well, he's right. legit. Yeah, and uh, no so that we got that in. So yeah, and then uh, um, about this, you know, that lady that was talking about the misinformation. Right. Um, that I'd like to point out, you know, I was. You know, I, I am a researcher. I, I follow all these, even some people I don't like, and I compare notes. And then, you know, I would just like to point out that when she kept saying um, Alex Jones, Alex Jones didn't make any of those claims that she was saying. If you go to his page and you got posters at the bottom, those are just anonymous posters. Anybody can post those. I right. think that's where that girl was getting her information. That's not Alex Jones putting that out. I'll clarify yeah. that. One of his reporters that was on the scene heard and reported the federal agents say, you come closer, we'll shoot. Now, that's not making a claim. That's on reporting. So there, right. there, you know, I'd like to point that out. Not to smash Alex Jones like I was hearing it. I don't think that's how she meant to say it necessarily, but that's how I was hearing it. You know, and, and I liked exactly how this guy put it. You know, he's talking about do, do your research. You know what I mean? And in the heat of the moment, these guys are putting these words out there, Twitter, Facebook, all this stuff, and then there's people that don't that aren't used to this, and they're taking that as gospel, you know, and not right. even comparing it to anything else. And then they're going to brag it to their friends, you know. So, right. But that's not the reporter's fault, you know what I mean? A lot of disinformation. Um, that's exactly why we're trying to do this to get more people on the ground to tell us what's going on directly, so we don't have to hear it from outside sources anymore. Uh, even secondary absolutely. information to me is just a perception based on a perception of somebody else's perception. So, <laughs> exactly. How, how truthful is that? You know, yeah, I saw. Truth is colored by perspective. And they were heading in that direction. Well, that could freak everybody out. So we got people, you know, uh, along along the path from point A to ground zero, um, just you know, to see if we can track them down. Nothing happened, and then a military operator chimed in, exactly duty Air Force, that was like, "Hey, whoa, relax. You know, there are just personnel changes uh, that have been happening. That's just you know, you're happy to see right now." And uh, you know, he was well aware of the inside scoop, so we squashed that. You know, within an hour and a half. Wow, we still have any flips on the ground. Go ahead. Absolutely. Let me flip this coin, right? You know, I, for the longest time, I couldn't get anybody to talk about any of this with me. If there's people talking about it that weren't before, that's a damn good thing, whether it's misinformation yeah. or not. Because eventually they're going to get that good information. But what gets me is they're finally interested. Yeah. You know, so it's not necessarily a bad thing if Joe Blow in Florida is telling her friends. I'm going to cue back in. Yes, information, at least for uh, friends going. If you'd like to ask a question, please press 1 to uh, add your request has been received. Fairly really negative. I don't get the negativity towards little misinformation about them. At least people are talking about it. Yeah, one other thing. One other thing. Well, you said you're a researcher, and you, and you probably use a lot of underground media as sources. Would you now probably put this uh, series of episodes, what we've been doing here, into like a media you know, category? You said there was even some. Uh, some of those people that, that, that you didn't like. Am I, am I doing a decent job thus far, man? Do I have your uh, thumbs up, I guess? Bro, you're outstanding. You're outstanding. This whole, Dude, I've been on this for two straight days, man. Two straight days, no sleep. I've been on this damn thing. I spent all afternoon just when it was an open forum. Man, I had a blast just sitting there talking back and forth with fellow patriots, you know. It's awesome, yeah. bro. And you're doing a great job. I was on with you all night last night. 
One more point that that from the very after I got off with you the first when you first started tonight, um, this lady was talking. I believe it was a lady was talking about the uh, Department of Homeland Security um, having to do a debriefing with military personnel getting out. Was that fill me in there? Because I have a opinion on that. Let me. What did she say exactly? Do you remember? Uh, just basically some somebody overheard them saying that they weren't leaving anytime soon. So, um, okay. Well, uh, what I thought I heard was about the Department of Homeland Security um, retraining these military personnel and they come into the civilian class or something like that. Uh, and yeah, then they're so they're, they're and then they're, they're turning here. around and and turning around and then willing to fire on the American. Here's what I would say to that. You know. A couple of years ago, I uh, I was misinformed. I didn't know shit. I was scared when a cop was behind me because I had no idea what my rights were. Now that I know what my rights were, I welcome them so they can grow on me. You know what I mean? But here, let me put this up. For people that don't know their rights, don't know their constitutional rights, weren't trained in it, weren't taught it, haven't taken a chance to learn it, they don't know any better. Honest to God, I was in the military. I was in the Navy. All right? And, and you know, we all... That oath is simple. We all say it, right? And it's not difficult to understand. But uh, not everybody, you know, not everybody gets it. You know, truly gets it. You know, and uh, that hurt these man. people. A lot of people are misinformed, and and they they can be led very easily. And I, agree. Look, I look at New Orleans when that when that hurricane hit. Um, is Alex Jones had on. Uh, National Guardsmen from Oklahoma that was down there. When they were confiscating weapons, when the law enforcement was standing up shooting people, to shoot innocent people dead. He was a witness to this. And he testified, he testified to all of it. All right? He claimed he thought he knew what he was doing. He thought he was doing the right thing. He looks back now and he's sick of what happened there. He was sick of it. And all his National Guardsmen, they followed orders. They didn't know any better. How do you not know any better? Well, when you get put in that situation, you don't know what to do sometimes. You know, and, and so it's not as cut and dry as some people like to think it is, and, and, and as I like to think it is sometimes. It's truly not. But we, that's what people like you, this conference call, situations like this, take advantage of it, you know, and spread it across the country. And we got Wayne Dupree, we got all these, you know, underground news outlets that are rising up now. You know what I mean? That's how we're going to get it done. That's how we're going to get the information out there, and that's how we're going to get people to understand, you know, what it means to <clears throat> take an oath, what it means to uphold the oath, what it means to uh, stand up to your rights. You know, open carry laws. Everybody's afraid now to open carry. I'm carrying right now. I've been carrying all day. If you don't exercise your rights, you're going to lose them. And if you don't know what your rights are, how are you going to keep them? That's what I have to say. Hey, uh, I really like how you think, man. Uh, I'd adopt you as a big brother if I had the power within. You know, if uh, if you could stay in touch with me, you sound like a true patriot, man. Uh, you know, keep keep getting to us with the comms, and uh, if there's ever uh, another situation, uh, hopefully you can chime in as well. All right, man. Nick Harris, Alliance for Brethren. Appreciate you. Later. Nine three two two, you're on. Hey, Nick. Yeah, hey, Brian. How are you? I'm doing all right, doing all right. What can I do for you, sir? Anything I could answer or try to help you? Well, I was on your call all day yesterday until about midnight. <laughs> so um, I uh, I found the phone number on Facebook, and then I went and posted it. I'm a member of about 300 Facebook groups on Facebook, and I uh, posted the phone number in, like, 40 of the largest groups on Facebook. So um, I wanted to get as many people there as possible, and I really appreciate everything you've done. <laughs> good, good. I, I, I'm glad you do, man. You sound like a good cat. You, you got your eyes and ears open, and uh, you know anything uh, you know you can add to uh, the you know the whole trying to do the right thing here. You know, in future projects, I, I'm pretty sure uh, we'll come across quite a few this summer, man. You know, I'm going to be there, so. Uh, Hopefully you can keep chiming in and keeping us posted on what's going on in your end of the world and uh, definitely keep spreading the word as you did. We need more keyboard warriors, you know, if that's what they can do right now is uh, get the word out, you know, we appreciate people uh, you know, 
recycling the phone number that they're on right now even. This is going to go on for quite a few more hours tonight. And, uh, yeah, if we can get more people to chime in. Uh, we peaked out almost at 100 at one point. We're back down to 80 right now. We were at a peak of 400 at one point uh, yesterday, or, well, this morning. And then uh, you know, we had 25 some odd different callers chime in throughout the evening yesterday, uh, which was a huge growth from uh, the day prior. So, yeah, if you're, you know, if people want to know what's going on. Uh, this is a good place to be. Uh, we've got some more people on hold here. Uh, and well, hang on, I got to... I got some more things to say, if you don't mind. Oh, not at all, brother. Go ahead. Um, I founded an organization. It's called MakeThemListen.org, and we're, oh, okay. on, we're on Facebook. Um, we fight against the immigration reform uh, amnesty. Um, three years ago, I, delayed, I, uh, I devoted my life to the cause of stopping illegal immigration and amnesty. Um, so uh, I created an organization, and, we, and uh, if you don't mind, I would like to give the URL for it. Go ahead, give yourself a shout out, and uh, anything we can do to help the cause. I'm sure plenty of people in here feel strongly about that. Go ahead. Yeah, it's facebook.com forward slash make them listen dot org, mm -hmm. and that's our official page. The top post on that page has the link to our event page. Uh, what we did is we had a one-day event where everybody came, and uh, we posted all the numbers for the the most influential House representatives have the most power to uh, to stop the immigration reform. Uh, we have all their contact information posted. So uh, people came, and we all flooded uh, the, the, their uh, phone lines in D.C., and it went pretty well. So we just went ahead and made it. It's an ongoing event page, and what we do is we, uh, we provide information and guidance for people to call their house reps. In fact, we call all the house reps. And uh, we po we call ourselves, we lead by example by making the calls. We post about the calls that we make, and which is which encourages other people to make calls as well. So we do I that really, every day. I really day. like that idea, man. We've been doing that every day since uh, last October. Um, so Let me ask you this. With that kind of network that's so proactive, especially, you know, as far as paperwork trails and phone call trails, are you familiar with uh, the current um, constitutional convention that's arised? Um, yeah, I've read a little bit about that, yes. Um, you know, I'm just curious, you know, something that's really going to help sway some of the balance and uh, in, in the favor of the people is the potentiality for a constitutional convention. Um, I had mentioned yesterday that that can open a, a, a Pandora's box in and of itself, but uh, we've got the right people doing the right thing and making the right decisions and uh, you know, adhering to the uh, original Constitution, uh, I think the Constitutional Convention uh, is definitely called for in the near future. Um, if, if any of your people would like to try to maybe plug in some more resources to, uh, you know, further, you know, a lot of the states are looking for leadership right now, so I don't know what your reach is exactly, but uh, a lot of the states are looking for leaders, you know, constitutional uh, people especially, that's what it really all comes down to. You know, um, nobody wants to rewrite the Constitution. But I think there's a, a couple of uh, amendments that, as long as it's weighed in the favor of the people overall, it might want to be uh, modified a little bit just to make sure that the uh, you know encroachments that have been doing have higher consequences. And uh, you know, I think there needs to be a, a more easier path to uh, proving treason on people. Um, we've got quite a bit of you know factual data that there's all kinds of treason going on up top right now. And oh yeah. I'm all for a forum of the states, you know, kind of redefining the boundaries on that. Um, there's a lot of people that are good at covering their tracks and creating uh, uh, sort of paper trails, et cetera, that are watching out for each other. And, uh, you know, when it comes down to treating this felonious activity, you know, I, I personally feel that if those people had been busted, you know, earlier or all along or as they go, we wouldn't be in the mess that we're in right now. Personally, there's a lot of sellouts out there. Uh, working for home interests, <laughs> not, not, not in the name of the American people. So, you know, I'm all about action. And, uh, I'm all about, you know, if you've got, you know, that type of uh, audience that makes those kind of efforts on a regular basis, I would definitely like to try to point them in that direction. And uh, that group's definitely looking for some more leadership. So uh, if you've got a wide range, you know, I think the uh, Constitutional Convention is certainly in order in the near future as long as it's 
them correctly. Yeah, well, I agree, but for right now, um, they're about, they're really pushing hard for this amnesty, and so it's all I can do to fight. Uh, I have to keep fighting uh, against the immigration reform. You know? Right, as, as important as that subject is, I just feel it's also part of a larger whole, and we need to get back to the, uh, to the source that are making those decisions first. Um, you know, we can protest and wave our fingers a lot, you know, and we can shake them up, but uh, it doesn't seem to sway them. Obviously, that's done nothing for us so far. I'm not saying your cause is not worthy or anything. It sounds like a great plan, and I love what you're doing. It's just uh, I'm trying to kind of point people in this direction because I see it as, you know, some hardcore change that will change a lot of things all at once in the favor of the people. That's what I'm pushing for. I'm going to jump on to the next call. Do you want to wrap up with anything? Um, yeah, if I could give the URL again, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. Facebook, uh, Facebook.com slash make them listen.org. Um, I'd also like to say that um, I started in this uh, fight uh, four years ago, and all I did was post on Facebook. And then one day I got so angry. I live in Northern <laughs> California in Lake Tahoe, and I'm surrounded by liberals. Everyone here is liberal. There's very few conservatives. And so anyway, one day I got fed up, and I painted statements all over my pickup truck, and I drove it through our town uh, on Fourth of July weekend. We live in a tourist area, and there were thousands of people in our town. And what I did is I, I drove my truck. I have a big flag I put in the back. And I drove it all through town. I ended up on the side of the road, um, and I got in the back of my truck, of my truck, and I waved my flag so everyone could see. And uh, you know, I used to be afraid to uh, to stand up against this immigration reform and amnesty because everybody here hires illegals, and really, I threw myself under the truck. Um, I don't work for people that hire them. Um, and so financially it has hurt me to fight against it, but I do it anyway, and that's what I would like, um, other, I would like to encourage other people to, um, to get out and protest. You know, you can protest anywhere, and it doesn't take any money. You can just, you know, you can take some shoe polish and paint. Oh, sorry, bro, you just got disconnected there, my bad. I was trying to bring in another caller, and you just got cut loose there. Um, next caller, 7357. Hey, um, this is really great. I just want to um, say, has, how weird is it that not one political person or congressman or senator, I mean, see, we were this close to having some real bad things happen today, and not one of our lawmakers got on the news and said anything about it. I, have you heard any of them? I mean, it's, there's obviously a mainstream media type shutdown from some aspects of this that they probably don't want to get into. Um, you know, they want to turn it into cows and tortoises and, you know, get Peter involved. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it's really much, much deeper down the rabbit hole. There's some really uh, high-placed people that have made some really bad shots and bad calls and bad decisions and, uh, it's reflecting on them right now as far as the politicians probably not wanting to get involved. I understand it's Harry Reid and a lot of them. Yeah, right, if I was a crooked tyrant, I wouldn't want my face out in the news very much right now. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of questions to answer. They're probably just going to want that to die down as much as possible. Well, what, what, what I was saying was some of even the the, uh, the constitutionalists weren't even speaking out. That's all I'm saying. So I don't know. It's just It, it bothered me that there wasn't any leadership coming from Washington from the good guys, supposedly good sure. guys. Uh, the, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there was a big mouth commissioner or so. The governor was uh, involved from uh, afar. And, uh, you know, some have chimed in uh, over the course of the last few days. But, right, nobody's really... I mean, as far as I, I know, would have I, stood I up. I not footage of uh, any politicians at the, at the ranch. Yeah, I would have... Or even just just got on TV and said, you know, y'all, you be a Bureau of Land Management, I don't know who you think you are, but you don't go doing this to cattle and people's property. If, you, if you've if got a problem with this man, go arrest him, but you can't do it. 
because you don't have the authority. You don't have the authority to be on his land like that. You know, you want to handle this, have the sheriff arrest him. See, the thing is, the Bureau of Land Management has got no right to do what they did, and they're armed. And so none of our lawmakers stood up and said, hey, this is not constitutional. This is not right. Yes, yeah, it's not at all. I mean, as far as we can tell, there's a, a couple of foreign people that have been hired by this group temporarily to, uh, you know, show more uh, authority, show more uh, manpower, you know, overall. And, uh, you know, it's been a spooky situation, and luckily they did back off, and uh, we would like to kind of get down there. I just want to say one thing. Go ahead. That, um, this, because I've got to go, too, but that, the make it, uh, the guy that you just saw on before, Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I got the information about you. Oh, yeah? Yes. He's all over the place. And awesome. this, what I want to do, because, see, I'm really good about spreading information. I, I've got nothing better to do because I, mm -hmm. I, I got rid of my cable TV, and I all I do is listen to um, underground news. I, I listen to mainstream, too, just to see what they're talking about. But I get underground. I go, I'm on the Internet a lot because we are in the middle of a revolution, and it's either us or them. And uh, and I'm, I'm I'm you know I'm set up perfectly. I have a lot of time, you know, uh, when I'm not running the business. I have a lot of time just to do this. This is my relaxation. Is trying to save the country. But right now, uh, we are going around door to door to elect um, people for primaries that are constitutional, you know, and that's how you do it. You do it in the primaries, and if they don't work out, you you replace them. So that's what we're doing, and, I've, and we are we're doing it with iPads. It's a beat Lamar campaign in Tennessee, and we don't have a lot of money. And Lamar's got all the money because he's been schmoozing with Obama, and um, so w but we are just grassroots, and we're just all in little bunches all over Tennessee, and we're going door to door, and we've got all the lists of all the primary voters. And they're the ones that are passionate, the primary voters. They're the ones you just get out the information to them and say, "Will you please show up?" And you hit them six times, and you go to the doors. Knocking on doors is how you win. And uh, the only way we're really going to get it back is to win in the primaries. And then the generals are more or less pretty easy compared to the primaries. Um, but it's going to be a long process in getting the country back, and it's going to be district by district, little by little. Uh, but I'm very involved, and um, and I appreciate your help. And we're getting more people involved because of the crap that that was just seen today in the last few days going on with this man has woke a lot of people up. Oh yeah, it has absolutely. Um, every every time a major event happens, more and more people are waking up. If you remember, like the during the Boston bombing, um, there's a world record was hit. If I'm not mistaken, is what I read that the word false flag had been googled. Umpteen million times over the course of uh, a few weeks. Well, they let it happen. They let it happen. There's so many, yeah, yeah. There's so many people looking up just the word false flag at such a great ratio. It's interesting to see about. Wow, you just saw all those sheeple turn into awakened individuals, you know, over, over the course of just uh, you know a few weeks. So, you know, hopefully things like this is uh, just going to get more people uh, steamrolling ahead. You know, just in case the next event pops up, hopefully we can call it and. Uh, you know, also, on top of that, hopefully we can uh, find some resolution and find some, uh, you know, finality and, and, and find some uh, some things that lean or sway the better benefit of the people as a whole. That's what, really what we're, I'm, I'm trying to achieve at this point. Well, you're doing a good job, and I don't want to hold you up, but I just want to say one thing. I can be with, at your assistance if you want to alert me. I, I wish you'd do it on Facebook. I'm real into social networking um, because if you could alert me, I could get the word out to all kind of people. I mean, I'm friends with, like, like you said, you're friends with a lot of high ups. I'm friends with, with a lot of high ups and a lot of even just people that are concerned citizens and voters and grassroots. So, um, how, how do I look you up? I'll answer right now. Okay, I'm Raven Roulette and I'm on Facebook. I think and I actually just added you. Good, because you didn't, because y'all wasn't added yet and I figured you were busy and I just left something I on remember, your page. I remember seeing you left. See if I uh, if I'm popping up on your end, because make sure that works out. You have you and your icon. You have the multicolored race races holding hands. Uh yeah, pretty much unite. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, unite. Yeah, so it says okay. And then I'm on the horse. That's my horse, Lacey. Awesome. 
Okay, so um, just, you know, um, if, if you message me and for some reason I don't get it, see, and I don't, I'm going to tell you something, I'm only on Facebook for one reason, and ever since Obama got elected, I was reaching out to the public, to people, because I saw what he was, and I'm not a political newbie, and I know, I've seen him come, I saw him, I saw for him for, I was scared to death, and so I, I, I don't get on Facebook and talk about the new purse I bought yesterday. I get on Facebook and I get under the skin of politicians and in the NSA and the CIA and there's a lot of good people out there that work for our government, but they need to understand that we're not afraid of them. I'm not. I'm not freaking afraid of nobody. I mean, I, I've got the right kind of fear. Okay, um, I will. I will look down a barrel of a gun while I'm pointing mine at them, because I'm not. I'm not afraid to meet Jesus. Okay, yeah, they better. They better curious. fear me, huh? I. I personally am. Uh, you know, I'm married and everything, but. Uh, there's plenty of uh, single patriots out there looking for a good woman like you. Are you are you taken already? I, I won't disclose that. Um, All right. Uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I the, pro the problem is. Um, well, I'll, I'll just go into that another time. But anyway, we need to just network, and so you just get me. Uh, you know, you can even message me alone if you need to. Okay. Um, on Facebook, keep me in your in your because I got like notes with like tight people, and keep me in you know as one of your people because I can really get the word out. I've been doing this since 2009, and I've got tons and tons of friends that are connected. So just all right, I'm gonna get off the call. I appreciate it, and uh, yeah, stay in touch with me, and uh, we'll definitely make that happen. Just keep an eye out. You know, you'll see the numbers go up. By the way, just for everybody who's paying attention. Keep this number that you've been using to get into this call because this is exactly the one I'm going to have dedicated to all future conversations until further notice. So and, and appreciate if, you chiming in. Oops, you chimed in too late, on. I'm so sorry. I just uh, moved on to the next caller. I apologize. Um, 6779, you're on. Yeah, this is uh, Mike from Alaska. And, uh, Alaska Mike, how's the weather up there? Well, it's. Uh, <laughs> We got two inches of new snow the other day. We're finally starting to go away. Good, good. Um, what can we do for you, Lester? Well, the things I wanted to kind of touch on, the young, the young lady that just got off, um, the state of, state of Arizona legislature did send out a, did do up a, what they, I think they called it a letter of recognition. It was signed by 40 uh, state senators and representatives. Uh, Standing with with Mr. Bundy and against the BLM, and they were heading to the to the ranch uh, uh, beginning tomorrow. They were going to be flying out, and then I guess they were going to have it take that letter to the governor on Monday. And the press, there was supposed to be a press re, uh, press conference on Monday, so I don't know how that's going to work now that this thing is. Somewhat diffused, although you know I've been hearing that BLM is leaving, so this isn't totally over yet. So that, that may be going on. And according to Fox News, uh, and I believe it was Sean Hannity or Red, uh, uh, Greta mentioned yesterday, Washington State did a resolution, and I'm pushing our legislatures up here to do a resolution as well. And I'm also with Citizens Initiative. And we sent out a um, petition to uh, to to a whole bunch of people to get on to get their legislatures in Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, and all the other western states to do resolutions as well. Uh, then that kind of dovetails into uh, citizens initiatives. You were talking about uh, Article Five. The Convention of States, not the Constitutional Convention. Let me, let me correct that. Sorry, thank, thank you for correcting. Yeah, that's no big deal. Uh, we have we we are a grassroots organization. We are one of uh, three major. We got the Compact for America. You got the uh, Convention of States, uh, which is uh, Mike Ferris. We got Citizens Initiative, which is uh, Charles Kaplowitz is our director. And what we are advocating is what Article 5 does say is that the things that we're calling for uh, a convention of states for the purposes of proposing an amendment. We're, we're going on a single issue a single issue amendment. Ours is the countermand amendment, which I think you're really going to like because it, you know, it boils down to is 
if this were to be passed, or when it gets passed, if we're really, we're really pushing it hard, is that if 30 states uh, believe that, uh, let's say EPA 404 Clean Water Act, which has been really been partially used across the nation, uh, is is just to their their state, uh, their state's rights and their in, and the uh, freedom of their individuals and people, that when 30 states or 60 percent of states come uh, uh, make the same law and come up with the same resolution, then that that uh, regulation is no longer is devoid. And it's not nullified, it is actually thrown out. And this is retroactive. So anything in, in anything, a lot of these a lot of these bad laws, a lot of these bad executive orders, a lot of bad judicial decisions could be countermanded. And then along with then the piece to it is that any individual, uh, federal or other that violates that that article would be can be uh, taken to court by either to the feds and the feds don't do it within 90 days and the states can. And hey, if you don't mind hanging on real quick, buddy, uh, I, I, I don't mean to interrupt you. I've got another person that's loose on the ground uh, that just chimed in on the queue. I'm going to keep you on this, but I'm going to also let her chime in as well right now if you don't mind. Go ahead. And uh, Diane, I see it. I got a lot of people with you right now. Uh, I got to slow down and catch it. Hey, hey uh, guys, how are you doing? There you go, girl. How are you doing? Oh, hanging in there. I've been on this thing all day. Um, I got a message, phone call actually, from one of my boys from Oregon, one of the listeners that's there. Uh, he says, uh, we do have a confirm the federal agents have gone to Mesquite and are lodging at the Holiday Inn and the Best Western. It is a confirm. Uh, okay. They have several people around in fatigue, so carrying heavy-duty weapons. There's a possibility that they are regrouping, trying to make the public believe that this is all over when it may not be. Um, boys right now are out there, they're pulling up all the BLM signs, just the roads closed and all that other garbage, and they're going to deliver it to them to give them the message that we know you're still here. <laughs> that's the way I feel, <laughs> that's what Brandon told me, and he was laughing too. Wow. They're not going right. to let this go. They're not going to let this go. That's an interesting development. Very interesting. I made him call me from the ranch. I wanted to hear it directly from him. So, yeah, they're out there. And they're not happy. Now, when you say they're not happy, they're not happy based on the well, illegal actions going on or based on the fact that the militia is still there? Well, the boys, my boys from Oregon are not happy because they're, just, they're really wondering why these people didn't go home and drive back to Vegas. If they came into Vegas to stay, I could probably see that. But going to Mesquite's a little too close to home. Something doesn't smell right. You know what I mean? So it sounds like they're pretty much just, just standing by on standby. My personal feeling is that they are waiting for the public to leave, and they're going to go right back in. I think that's what their intent was all the time. So it sounds we'll like something that they would do. We take that as personal conjecture. We can't fully 100% confirm that, but you can yes, confirm they're still that. in the area. I can um, confirm they're still in the area. Okay. That's what I needed to know. Um, and the boys will be calling me as soon as they deliver the signs to the agents. That's awesome. Can you get footage on something like that? I've asked them to get the phone. I've asked them to take video. Yes. To the start they can. on cell phones. I don't know how well that's going to come out. But. <laughs> as long as it's under a 10 minute. Uh, Real, that'd be great. Okay, I will text him right now. That'd be cool. So I've got a couple of people that'd be willing to rebroadcast that on YouTube for everybody to see. Oh, definitely. I'm sure that he's going to YouTube it and probably put it on Facebook. Awesome. Yeah, actually, if you could give me that link, that'd be the way to go. You've got me uh, direct over here. I'm, uh, I'm open with you on uh, Facebook right now. Yeah, I know. I know. Let me pull up his uh, <laughs> I need my internet keeps going in and out tonight. I don't know why. Yeah, while you're doing that, Di, I'm going to bring in another wireless caller, okay? Go for it, babe. I will be on it to you. All right, 10-4. Thanks, Tom. All right, you're welcome. Wow. 
Why well, was caller 1907 you're up? Uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Dan from Southern Illinois. Hey, Dan. Um, I've just got a quick question because I'm kind of new to this whole militia thing and kind of ticking me off everything I'm hearing. Um, to learn like what all my rights are, like in the process of getting like pulled over for something, short of going to law school, what can I do? Uh, I always, since you're in Illinois, I would lead you towards a couple of things. Um, you know, you mentioned militia. Obviously, you know I'm active. Um, I do recommend our group, IllinoisSonsOfLiberty.com is our website. There's another group on Facebook, Illinois Militia. They're a bunch of good guys. We're kind of, you know, distant cousins, so to speak. Um, yeah. As far as, you know, laws and legalities, you know, there's a... Uh, Various things I can tell you about, but um, there's a, a couple groups out here that have kind of offered to watch our backs over time, um, yeah. and, there, and there's things that I could point you towards. Well, regarding the militia, uh, Illinois Constitution, Article 12, yeah. um, that'll let you know a couple of the legalities. Um, do your re do your research on the Dick Act. I know that sounds pornographic, but it's really called the Dick Act. Okay. Um, and then from, from that point, there's another foundation that's been working uh, with me from afar. I was just recently contacted. I'm going to give you the name of that group here in a few seconds. Um, I actually posted something on that, uh, about them on the internet not too long ago. Let me see if it's still up. I'm trying to remember what the name was. It was, uh, give me one second. Go. They got a, a, a good website. I believe they're uh, Chicago based for the most part. And uh, so they're in the heart of it. Yeah, it, here it is. It's the uh, Heartland H E A R T L A N D dot okay. org, okay. and they've got volumes of law from, uh, if I'm not mistaken, common law, black law, U.S. code, and a variety of other things that uh, they can utilize to help you out in situations. You know, if you're yeah. asking about dr you're asking about driving, and uh, that, that's actually a totally other topic we might bring up someday. Okay. Um, I highly recommend, uh, also, if you can look up Citizens Action Network. Okay. Good friend of mine runs that page. Um, he's actually boots on the ground right now. Um, I have not been to his site recently, but uh, Citizens Action Network actually has uh, copies of the public servant questionnaire up at the top of their website. I highly recommend keeping uh, you know, seven or eight copies in a, in a folder right next to your console while you're driving sometimes. Um, okay. You know, by my belief, specifically, you know, most uh, police officers and uh, people, magistrates and judges and lawyers, things of that nature. Oh, okay, not lawyers, but uh, most of the rest are pretty much federal agents. They are being paid yeah. through federal resources. Um, yeah. This is a federal, you know, servant questionnaire. And you, you have the right, and, and it's all explained there, you have the right to question your questionnaire. If they ask you for ID, well, who are you? You know, I'm the yeah. American people. You're, you're, you're driving by my, by, by my taxes and, you know, us supporting you. Now you need to support yeah. us back. I, I want to know who you are. You're asking for my information. What's your badge number? What's your residence? What's your address? Yeah. Well, why are you asking all that information? Well, just in case you get out of pocket, sir, I'm a very constitutional person. Did you take an oath to uphold the fence? Yeah? yeah. Okay, great. Give me your information, and just in case you get out of pocket, I know who I'm going to put a lien on their bond to for every single infraction of my civil liberties that you uh, occur. You know, two, three, okay. four, uh, two, three, four offenses. Um, you know, and that's two hundred fifty thousand dollars per offense. Your bond only covers one of those. You, you, you want to keep talking, sir? Yeah. I'll gladly give you my license, registration, and insurance, but you need to identify yourself. Just so you know, it's a felony not to give me this information. So that's one. Uh -oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. So uh, I'm going to move on to the next call, brother, unless you have anything else. Well, the, the Illinois militia, they're actually getting a branch down here by Robinson, Illinois. I'm trying to get up with them to start training and you know, all. I think you said you were the sun delivery. Absolutely. Um, I would recommend if you just want to go to the site, um, chime in with your uh, any anybody in the local counties around you. Um, most wow. likely, if there's not if there's not currently a lot of activity in that region, um, most likely you could meet up with somebody at one of the local meet and greets in the surrounding county. Yeah. 
and uh, fill out the. Uh, there's also a form there for a team delegation uh, that'll pop up in uh, administration upper command. They'll kind of have to go over that. It usually takes a week or so. Uh, you might be contacted, but I would highly recommend just chiming in at that website with your locals around you, and uh, more than likely somebody will be more than happy to shake your hand and get to know you. And then at that point, eventually uh, you'll be invited to a full training exercise. I got you. Okay. All righty. Well, thank you. Keep up the good work. Yeah, uh, ten four. I, I also highly recommend uh, once you get in that group, uh, you're going to want to try to get a hold of a, a gentleman that goes by Wolf. So uh, he's in another region, but he's a good resource in Illinois if you ever get a hold of him. Okay. Most of the guys know who he is. Yeah, most of the guys know who he is. Okay. All right, ten four. Right. Um, we move on to the next caller. Thanks, thanks for chiming in, brother. All right, uh, one three seven one. You're in. What can I do for you? Hey, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, man. Hey, uh, I'm looking for the uh, the number for the uh, replays on the on the. Uh, I have two questions. The, Go ahead, uh, man. Extension number for the for the replays. Okay. That's 559-726-1399, and then the extension is what? Uh, pound nine five four pound for the last one. Nine, and then if you listen, yeah, and then if you listen to that one during that. Uh, segment. I actually give the code for the previous one, okay, and okay. so on and so uh, forth. My second question is: Have you guys heard anything about what's going on in Red River? Uh, that came up uh, a couple times yesterday. Uh, there were people actually in that region that are saying, "Hey, man, the same thing is going on out around here." You know, uh, there's other land grabs happening in, in this vicinity as well. Um, we're up to approximately two or three other sites. Um, until we can get those fully 100% confirmed and what's going on out there, um, don't really know you know too much what to say about that. I, obviously, we have a <laughs> rally of quite a few people in this vicinity, so um, you know not to stir the pot or anything, but you know it has come up like wow, you know we, if, if they've created this much change in that sort of area, you know, you know they're being told to leave, but there's still possibility of other uh, law enforcement of other natures in the region waiting for them to leave. Well, why not go to another site, see if they can help out there. And uh, it, kind of, it kind of feels like uh, the government, the feds are kind of trying to spread a spin. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, yeah, you, you know, who knows what to say, man. Um, we know there's uh, still a groups that are heading out there, some that are just chiming in now. Um, as far as, you know, spreading thin, there were apparently some sort of roadblocks in, in the region uh, surrounding uh, you know the inner circle of what we're calling Ground Zero. Um, right. I'm, but, uh, you know, we, I'm, I'm, considering, I'm considering leaving Central Illinois uh, Monday morning for the Bundy Ranch. Um, really? Just yeah. I'm gonna get on my bike and go. I've got some. I've got some patriots along the way that have offered to uh, to help me out with a, a full belly and a tank of gas, and um, I'm just trying to uh, figure out which direction I need to go. You know what I'm saying? Sure, absolutely. Um, are, are you part of the uh, Sons by chance yet, or just an uh, individual? Yes. Yeah, Sons of Liberty, yes. All right, cool. Um, at, at that point, I would actually probably consider talking to Upper Command before you head out. I'm sure he has some, uh, if you know who I'm talking about, uh, he has some things yeah. that he probably wants to go over with you and make some requests. Um, do you mind me asking if you're uh, in Bravo? I'm not. All right, based on your area, but uh, you that shared with us. But uh, are, are you Southern Central? Would you mind me asking? Central. All right. Yeah, I, I definitely, I, I would definitely consider uh, going up to chain of command. Um, top dog is probably available even right now. If you want to let them know what your intentions are, et cetera, et cetera, um, you would probably request, you know, some scouting and some intel from your end. Right. Okay. Um, hey, thanks for thanks for what you're doing, man. Love listening, and I've been I've been listening all the time. Been sitting from the computer and uh, just coming in there, uh, spreading word, brother. Hey, I totally appreciate it, man. And uh, you too. Uh, I know you're part of the Suns. If you ever get a chance to, to get a, get a hold of Wolf, um, you know, let her know I sent you. All right. Right on. All right, you take care, brother. Thanks, brother. Later. All right, you bet. <coughs> Zero zero three five. You're on the queue. 
Hey, Brian, how are you, sir? Doing all right, man. I'm still on my still on my first wind. Yeah, we can hear you, all three five. Okay. Yeah, it's good to hear from the last of Mike and Diane both. Uh, anyway, this Bob is from a chapter in the Gypsy Robert out here in Houston area. I'm uh, director of the Houston area Oak Keepers. Okay. Uh, I'd like to get everybody to understand that uh, who the Oak Keepers are, and they need to find their local chapters or a chapter in their area and join that area, uh, join the Oak Keepers and start communicating right now with the law enforcement officers as well as their sheriff department and find out where in the world their sheriffs stand because this is a situation that they, this is te they're testing the water right now in Nevada. Oh, yeah. And the people really need to find out where their elected officials stand on the issues. This is something that, uh, we, you know, one of, the, one, of the very, well, one of the things we've just found out is our communication skills are very poor. Everything that's going on on the internet, everything else, and all the disinformation that's out there, we've got to figure out a way to, uh, you know, get our communications down a little better. Uh, all right. Are you by chance, uh, you're not out there on the ranch, I know. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm all the way in Chicago, man, just uh, trying to yeah. monitor the situation. Yeah, brother. We, well, we do have Stuart Rhodes and Richard Knapp. Are you familiar with uh, Sheriff Richard Knapp? Absolutely. Uh, I've had him on my other show uh, two years ago, uh, three times in a row. Uh, and Stuart, I just actually talked to you within the last few weeks about making uh, t shirts for Oak Keepers. An outstanding, outstanding. Yeah, Stuart, uh, for those, those that don't know, Stuart Rhodes is the leader of the organization. And Richard Mack is now on the board of directors, so uh, that's going to help us out quite a bit. But uh, I'd like to, uh, I, I just want to interject, get people to go to oathkeepers.org and actually look up our organization and find out who we are. Well, I mean, uh, our, 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 we are primarily made up of law enforcement officers, veterans, military, active, uh, active military, firefighters, EMS, the whole nine yards. And we are people that actually understand the oath of office and what it means when we took that oath of office. But, uh, Brian, that's all I've got for you. I just wanted to, uh, Try to get people out there to uh, find out who in the world we are and what we're doing. For sure, man. I'm, a, I'm actually a huge fan of the uh, Oath Keepers mantra of the orders that you know they will not obey. Um, you know, thing I've heard, but uh, you know, unfortunately, man, you know, I still see a lot of crooked cops out there, and what I'm for is the Oath Keepers to actually stop adhering to the whole uh, you know mentality, even though that they see an officer doing something wrong. There's not enough good officers standing the hell up and saying, you can't do that. you got to quit tasing these people. you got to quit beating these people on a whim. you got to quit kicking in doors without warrants. Uh, I'm all for the ideals behind what the Oath Keepers do, but I'm not really seeing any actions on the inside while they're on duty. If, if they are, videotape it because we've got 200,000 videos of police officers all over the nation going way past their boundaries, beating on me the people uh, like they mean nothing to them if we come in a police state. So if there's that many Oath Keepers, you know, uh, active duties, um, EMTs, etc., you know, if somebody calls 911, an EMT shows up, a fire shows up, and a cop shows up. They all drive in, the police officers first. He's beating the shit out of a pregnant woman on the ground, and they got their tasers out. How come none of these other Oath Keepers stand and say, whoa, 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 we got this, back off, we're being a dick. That's what I want to answer. Well, you know, and I'm, I'm in total, I'm 100% agreement with you because the way we look at things and the way we've got, and what, the way we have to, have to start looking at things is I don't care if there's two good cops there or, or three good cops there and one bad cop, they see the one bad cop doing something and the three don't say anything about it. That makes all four of them just as bad. So, it, you know, it, what they say, four, that's counting the bad cop, but three good cops don't say a thing to them, all of them are bad. I'm 100% agreement. agreement. It's time to, it's time that the people start understanding. It's time to call these people out. Get them on video, say, call them out. But if you see a good cop doing something good, get that out there too. Uh, we're very Absolutely. fortunate in our area. You know, we're very fortunate in the area that I live in, not north of me, because I can tell you right now, we've got some unconstitutional police officers up there. But in the area I live in, We've got a damn good fine police department, and it is a damn fine most people on that police department. Uh, we're just very lucky in this area. 
the North Houston has got that major problems, and uh, you know, and the thing I want to get people to understand too is, especially with the constables and the sheriffs, those are elected positions. If they are unconstitutional, let them know and vote their asses out. Uh, I highly office. agree. I highly agree, office. and more people. I think more people, sir, on top of what you're saying, get them out of office. And one way to do that that's been proven is uh, people that are outstepping their constitutional oath, uh, they need to take their bonds into consideration. And people need to start placing more liens on those bonds appropriately and filing them in the county courts if, if they've got proof, uh, undeniable, uh, verifiable proof with you know more, more than one person verifying that, that if they're doing something wrong. They need to start calling these guys out, and that's one way to go about it. You, you, you put a lien on their bond, if they're not you know, willing to squash this, or B, you know, put up 20%, or C, retire, those are the only options they've got. So uh, we need to start using using that knowledge and using those capabilities. And uh, there's a long list of traders out there, man. There's a long list of red coats working for the wrong people, and not working for the best, best interests of the American people. And uh, you know, hopefully even something like this could be a catalyst for people to, uh, to kind of get those things together. You can prove somebody's done something outside of their capacity. We need to start slamming slamming the book down on them, slamming the Bible and the freaking Constitution down on them. Absolutely. And I'm going to tell you one thing that most people are not aware of, that they better start paying close attention to it. Your local police departments are being federalized. Uh, Many of some of these states have already started to try to federalize the sheriff departments and get them off, get them away from being elected positions, and they're actually trying to turn them into, uh, turn the sheriff department over to the marshal's office, and making them a federal entity. And we've got to put a stop to that, and I mean a stop to it real fast. I, I, uh, I don't know. I, I know I'll ask Mike and Diane, and them's got me on their Facebook. The chapter of Jitsu Walk, I wrote a. Uh, I, I wrote a whole deal on, on what they're trying to do in some states to the sheriff department. Even uh, people got to start standing up. If, if people don't understand, but here's the problem, Brian. Here's the problem. People don't know. I'm gonna how give to you one. I'm gonna give you one more minute, bro. I'm gonna give you another minute, yeah. bro. I got to move on to the next. One. I understand. People don't understand their rights. They don't have a freaking clue uh, what their rights say. They don't even have a freaking clue that there is a note that they need to look at in their state. That if their state has their own Constitution and Bill of Rights. So they can't just go off the Second Amendment or the, 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 the federal Constitution. They have to start knowing what's in their state Constitution as well. Anyway, I'll let you go, brother. It's good talking to you, and I appreciate you taking yeah. the time. Awesome timing in, man. Keep spreading the word. And uh, as I've said a few times before, uh, if other things occur, we're going to start this call right back up in the future. And it's going to be the same phone number, same uh, participant codes, okay? I've got it on speed now. God bless you. Thank you. Take care, brother. <laughs> Awesome, appreciate you, man. All right, wireless caller 5882, you've been waiting for quite a bit. Sorry about your wait. Hey, this is Brian and Walker, Louisiana. Hey, Louisiana, how you doing, man? Doing great, doing great. Thank you for what you're doing. Uh, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, what is our stance? Supposed to be according to where where you're at as far as mm -hmm. everything that you're doing. What is the stance that the militia need to be at as far as you know? I, I know there's people that are running towards Nevada. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's right. Um, let's 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 get down to business. What is our stance supposed to be as far as Taking care of the home front, and and you know if we're not going to go to Nevada, then you know what, what do you think, opinion-wise, military-wise, and, and 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 just the the whole the whole uh, opinionated state of this whole disgusting situation. <laughs> where, yeah, where, where are we? Where are we supposed to? <laughs> yeah, all I can say is, you know, and this is based on what I've gathered. This is only opinion. You know, take it with a grain of salt, man. I am not a commander. Uh, I relieve myself of uh, any 
uh, high position that I once had in the Suns and gave that over to some veterans that had a better handle on some of those situations. But, uh, you know, as far as being the HR recruiter for the Suns, I know that we had a raise that con level. Um, as of right now, we're just in a raise the alert status. Uh, we're recommending, you know, keeping your plug out stuff on you just in case. But I, I keep my stuff on me all the time anyway. Um, <coughs> You know, as far as that, you know, just have have supplies ready, and uh, if you are if, if you are staying home, you know, just stay home, handle your business. You know, we don't think too much is going to change outside of Nevada right now, but always, you know, keep an on alert status. But you never know, man. Um, but as far as anybody heading down there, uh, the ranchers still are reflecting more protesters to come. Um, they did put a call out. The Suns put a call out, I believe, to the militias originally when they needed just some backup, and it's kind of blown up from there. They're still putting a call out to peaceful protesters. So to, how to kind of handle the situation. <clears throat> if you're heading down there, we recommend you come, transform yourself into a peaceful protester. If you just happen to have munitions with you that are proper, properly stored in your uh, trunk, there shouldn't be too much of an issue. But if you come in in your PDUs, hot and heavy, full battle rattle with five guys in the caravan, saying where the feds at, you know, don't do that. that. That's not the way that we operate. We're purely defenseless. Uh, and, and, and we don't we don't come feeding you out and all that stuff. Uh, uh, what's the uh, situation in the bottom at this particular point in time? Uh, all I can confirm is the live footage that they had uh, this morning at, was at nine o'clock their time. They put out a request uh, throughout the evening that they wanted people to meet at that flagpole uh, at nine, and uh, they had a stage set up. They had the sheriff's talk. Sheriffs pretty much uh, removed the PLM, and there was a lot of excitement. That's the Bureau of Land Management, by the way. Um, had them apparently removed. They did return some cattle, uh, from what we've been told. Some were already auctioned off, and some were already slaughtered, unfortunately. So they returned a portion of them. The exact number I do not know. Uh, if I recall correctly, I might be off at around 150. It may have been returned. Um, you know, the rancher still wants people out there to protest. What we last heard was from my last boots on the ground call that came in was uh, there is beyond a shadow of a doubt that uh, there are some soldiers nearby. Sounds like they're on standby. They are getting rid of the BLM. Uh, what we're just kind of hoping now is it just fizzles down. But you know, there are still people headed out there. There still are politicians headed out there. Um, there still are uh, the sheriff and Richard Max people, if I'm not mistaken, are still out there uh, from CISPA. Uh, and you know some of the old keeper guys are either in transit or already there. We're just actually trying to get more boots on the ground at that uh, you know the main area. But you know it's a very spread out desert-like situation where there's not a lot of cell phone coverage. Nobody's saying that the cell phones are down. Uh, although that did happen uh, at some point yesterday, they did go down for a little bit. But uh, I, I don't think they have very good coverage, or we'd be getting a lot more boots on the ground calls right there. You know at the flagpole calling in. There, again, there was some footage. Um, you know, some people uh, did have some live streams, like I said, I saw earlier, but, uh, you know, as far as the actual situation there, it just sounds like a heated situation that did die down a little bit, but uh, other people are still kind of waiting for the, sh the, the other shoe to drop, so to speak. Okay, the, uh, the other qu uh, last question I we really have is uh, the Red River uh, area in Texas or whatnot. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Just curious on what uh, happening there also. Uh, again, we're hoping for them to chime in. A couple of people in that vicinity did chime in over the last couple of days and did state that uh, very similar situations are already occurring or have already been occurring prior to this um, that just aren't getting that much attention. So who's to really say, you know, if this dies down, are people going to maybe sway in that direction? I don't really know. Um, it could happen. Um, if this goes out without a hitch and uh, we've actually made a positive difference here, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully the people that you know Ground Zero can chime in, and if uh, you know some people want to head that way and possibly do the same without a hitch as well, that's going to be up to them. I'm nobody to tell anybody what to do. I'm not in a leadership position. Uh, this started off as just a conference call with the concerned Illinois and Illinois guys, and then uh, we kicked it up a notch and opened up the call to uh, all the militia leaders across the uh, nation. Which a lot of them chimed in. We had easily 20 some odd uh, states chime in, officially from different militias. <laughs> um, um, that all, all were at a raised.com level. A lot of groups 
easily 15, 20, if not more states where at DEFCON 1 per minute here. And uh, as far as I can tell, a third to a half of them have lowered down to two and then three. But some guys are still in race alert, uh, primarily in that region. Okay. Uh, any uh, uh, movement with those militias or whatnot? I mean, is there, they're going, are the militias actually moving in on anything? Other than just sending uh, a few people here or there? Yeah, I'm going to answer this as digitally as possible. Um, you know, there's from, you know, one or two up to potentially 40, 50 possibly people that did say there were sending people out in groups. Uh, we're just hoping that they get the uh, message that they need to show up as peace protesters. Um, there are still people on the way, and uh, based on the footage, there were plenty there that pretty much were, uh, a couple were wearing BDUs, but uh, a good majority obviously went into plain clothes uh, uh, in the peaceful protester mode, and that's what we need right now. Okay. Well, we appreciate, like like we said, we appreciate what y'all are doing with this conference call, and uh, thank you for the time. For sure, man, spread the word and, uh, you know, keep those numbers. Uh, you know, future situations, I think we're going to get this started up again and use this as a open comms line. I won't be able to moderate as I am now if I'm not there, but it'll always be open. And then uh, once I come on, I'll be able to kind of settle it down and, uh, you know, set it into this mode and, and kind of uh, control the situation the best I can. That's great. Thank you, sir. All right, bro. Moving on to the next caller. Thanks for chiming in, man. Um, Thank you. Next caller, 7711. You're in the queue. Hi, how are you? Doing all right. Doing, how are you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. My name's Lori Christian. I'm the owner of a, a Facebook page called Exposing Satanic World Government. I received a message a little while ago, um, and I was told that I needed to call you guys and pass it along. The email. Dated today, 1840 hours from Steve Cloud to Doug Hagen. Are you ready? Uh, hang on a second. I've got a little bit of feedback coming in. Is there a TV on in the background? Yeah, there is. Am I killing that? Yeah. Yeah. No, if you can kick the volume down a couple notches or if you want to try to get okay. into another room. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. This is a... Um, an email dated today, 1840 hours, from Steve Quayle to Doug Hageman. It says, at, eight, at 1750 hours Eastern Standard Time, I was, connect, I was contacted by my source within the Department of Homeland Security regarding the current situation at the Bundy Ranch. To put it bluntly, the people are being hoodwinked into believing that the situation is being resolved. It is not. It is a strategic de-escalation to fool the public. This source stated that the retreat of the BLM agents and the release of the cattle was actually crafted as a potential plan yesterday, Friday 11, April 2014, based on the following. Number one, a military assessment of satellite and drone surveillance imagery of the Patriot Missile. Drones under the control of the U.S. military were in use, taking real-time photographic images of not just the activity at the ranch, but identifying the protesters, any arms, and any supplies they may have been carrying. Mission accomplished. Number two, real-time communication intercepts between Patriots on-site and their off-site support. Number three, active monitoring of internet traffic regarding the coverage of the events at the ranch. And number four, the monitoring of the real-time video from the state. This source stated that a response by the Patriot movement was anticipated, although exceeded their expectations. Although this was a real operation, they also ran it as a test case for future government operations once they saw the response. They were also actively managing the media, in some cases threatening to cut off White House access 21 covering the event. Despite this, the coverage by the alternative media began to create a public relations problem that was not easily managed. Note the lack of acknowledgement by the White House regarding this event. They are intentionally framing it as a state issue, despite the fact that all federal response has been and continues to be from the White House. There is a reason for this, a reason that has not yet been identified in any of the public reports to date. I will explain in further detail in a follow-up report on Sunday after the source of pen is redacted to obtain more specific information about future federal operations. Regardless, according to the source, the government will take back in front of their land as they must to, as they must to fulfill international obligations. 
It was never about grazing rights or anything other than, number one, securing their title to the land, and number two, further demonizing any patriot resistance. It is my understanding, based on the information from this court, that it is a critical task to create a situation that will also advance their agenda of gun control and confiscation. A more detailed report will follow on Sunday, 13 April 2014, with additional and much more specific information about their insight plan for future operations. Yeah, I'm actually uh, on that article right now, and I'm trying to get back down to the source. Uh, originally, Anonymous Florida seems to have posted that and has branched out from there. Mm -hmm. um, trying to get some sort of verification. I mean, I'm reading and I'm hearing what you're saying, okay. but uh, you know, we're taking everything with the grain of salt right now before we go into any other mode. <laughs> Although we highly appreciate hearing that and, and, and getting an up update on that end. Um, Based on what I'm, you know, seeing that came from Anonymous Florida, uh, the exact quote of everything you just said I'm reading right now, and I just asked the person originally posting that what his source is. So I uh, appreciate you chiming in. Not a problem. Good luck, guys. All right, thank you. Six seven seven nine. You're on. Yeah, Brian. This is Mike from Alaska. Yeah, it was good. I know you had that important call. Uh, let me, oh, let me sorry, man. I didn't mean to get you kicked out. I'm sorry about that. It, it, no, no problem, man. Uh, I don't know if you guys were aware, but up here in Alaska, you guys think you've got problems. Um, La the state of Alaska, we got 60% of our state stolen after we meet the Jimmy Carter. Um, and so it was, it, we've, we've been shafted over by EPA. Secretary of Interior, you know, everybody in this, everybody in this, uh, all the alphabet. The two things well, that have to Plus the fact that you can see Russia from the shore, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I think you go to Miami, you can. Can um, you see Russia from your house? Uh, no. Not, not, but I've been to Russia. <laughs> but, I have been to Russia. I was a paramedic working on it. Anyway, um, two things have been happening this year. One was this summer. Up in a uh, little town, a little hamlet called Chicken, and it's really uh, they originally wanted to call it uh, Carmigan, but nobody knew how to spell Carmigan. So they just named Chicken. There is a some uh, gold miners out there. EPA in full battle rattle with weapons, as well as other federal agents, and then sadly our state troopers went out without a warrant, trespassed on the miners' land. Obstinately to get water samples. Uh, the miners really did, uh, really withheld what they could have done. It could have turned ugly real fast because that's called pain jumping. They could have been shot. But they didn't. Our governor has uh, filed, you know, has done a report. He's filing uh, complaints against the EPA and the three world's not going anywhere. The second thing is. There's a place, I don't know if you know where Cold Harbor Bay is, but it's out on, on Bristol Bay. If you watch uh, um, uh, that show about the crack, the crabbing industry on, on uh, Discovery, I mean, you need to come to the show right now. It's on my. Anyway, that's, that's the same area. There's a little village called King Coast, and it's on more on the coast, on the south, south side of Bristol Bay. And of the, of the peninsula. The only way that they can get to Cold, Cold Harbor, which is where the, the airport is, which is a major airport, you can get uh, uh, jet passenger aircraft in there. The only way they can do it is by boat or by air. They've got a small airstrip they can take like pipe of clubs in and out of, and that's it. But if it's, that's only if the weather is good. The only other way of doing it is by, by water. In, in order to get onto the boat, from the dock, you have to go straight up the ladder. And if you've got 10 foot swells, 20 foot swells, going to fishing that boat against that, uh, you can imagine what that's going to like in a healthy situation. If you've got somebody who's injured or sick, or we're trying to get the kids in, or uh, that, uh, we've got, we've had legislators out there that have seen mothers with uh, babies in their arms trying to climb these ladders, it's, it's horrendous. Problem is that in order if you have somebody that becomes ill and needs medical care and needs to be medevaced out to Anchorage, there is only two ways they can do it. Call in the Coast Guard 
and or put them on this boat. There's a road that we've been asking to get built from there uh, to Cold Harbor called the Eisenbeck Road. We go to the Eisenbeck uh, Refuge. Now, unfortunately, that's a federal refuge, and it's there to protect the branch trees and a few caribou. The branch trees are not an endangered species. You see, it's not an endangered species. They are hunted uh, and, and export for food by the Alaska natives. The problem is, the state of Alaska did 300 to 1 land swaps to get a, an emergency road built from King Cove to Cold Harbor, a 10 mile road, which is only used for transporting injured or ill people to Cold Harbor. Because the only other alternative is bringing in uh, the helicopter. We have had 18 people die. Let me repeat that. 18 people have died from lack of medical care because we couldn't get to Cold Harbor. And we've had, we've had choppers come in with footage of it. Uh, those starting guys coming in at 80, 90, 90 mile an hour winds and just keep light at some distance. Uh, and this is, you know, it, it, these, you know, God loves the coast too. Well, that's that. So, so then, uh, Secretary, the Secretary of Interior was asked to get this little bill. He, he, you know, blah, 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 blah. He didn't do anything, didn't do anything, didn't do anything. He left, now duels him. We even, we invite, uh, our, Senator Lisa Mikowski and our and our, and our legislators invited her out, took her out, showed her around, showed her the abilities that are talked to people. She went to school, talked to kids. She listened to kids. The kids were in passion and they need help. And she looked at the kids and, I, and this is a quote. I have listened to you, now I have to listen to the animals. She, she went and she went and talked to the adults and she said the same thing. So nothing is being done. So what has happened since then is that Lisa Murkowski has gone after her, and Jewel basically and Jewel told Lisa Murkowski, the new senator, "Quote, just get over it." Then we had we did a resolution on the floor of the house the other day, and one of our representatives, Kenny Wilson from North Pole, Alaska. He stood up and said, you know, listen, folks, let's, let's, just stop, let's just cut the chase. Let's get a bulldozer and let's just go the road. And what's he going to do? Send Jay Bear after us? And that, that is a real strong, that, that's just a real strong sentiment. I just found out yesterday that the state of Alaska legislature has appropriated funds to build that road to King Cove Cold Harbor. This would be a state dis civil disobedience in the state and flat in the face of death. So the, the situation that has been going on there in in Nevada has actually been a boost in, in the in the arm of our legislators. Our legislators now are really fired up but pissed off. They see what's happened, they can see the, 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 the lot of the light of the tens on people's lives, really. I mean, we, we got sniper uh, guns pointed at unarmed citizens, and we got people being tased and people being thrown to the ground and got dogs going after them. Uh, that, that really has, has really uh, fired things up here. I'm betting that the next civil disobedience you're going to see is up here in the last and we hope that this is, you know, so this is not just happening in Nevada. It's just not happening in Red River, uh, Texas, which is the first time I've heard about it. This is not just happening in Oregon with such a stupid little smelt or whatever. This is nationwide. And we're, we're fighting and we're getting it and we're fighting back. And so that's what's kind of going on here. And I wanted to get to you know that this is, this is, uh, Things are, are escalating because of this, and thankfully. Um, are, are you, by chance, do you have the capability to kind of keep us uh, posted on those situations? If you have other ranchers you could get that are going through this, that could chime in on the call or eventually, or you work on something well, like that for us? That's all Alaska Natives out there. 
But if you want me, I'm on I'm on Facebook. It's Mike Coon, C O O N S. You just give me up there and and and, and, and do it from there. I can deal with it there. Uh, I'm also the regional director for citizens initiatives up here in Alaska. Uh, my response area of responsibility is Hawaii, Alaska, Oregon, Idaho, and Washington. And we're trying to uh, push forward uh, the, the counterman amendment. Uh, and one of the last I didn't get a chance to, uh, I would I would suggest people go to counterman at the next plural, uh, counterman amendment dot U.S. Take a look at it. We got we got a, a link to the actual amendment, the call for the amendment, delegate resolution that would make it a state convention where it'd be one state one vote. Um, we have uh, petition. We have a petition aspect to it, so we can petition the legislators. Uh, we're looking for volunteers. We're looking. We've got uh, bumper stickers on there. You can do that. Uh, you can, you can pull that one up and get bumper stickers for it. There's, we're looking for donations. We're looking for you know help. We're looking for volunteers. You know anything that we can do because this counterman amendment. When you read this counterman amendment, it will blow your mind. And we've got a lot of uh, <coughs> state senators and state representatives nationwide that are are coming on board with this new Uh We actually I can see a couple of zip codes. Now. I'm sorry, area codes matching yours that are here right now. So anybody else from Alaska want to get a hold of Mike Coons and uh, help stop uh, people from grabbing land out in that area. And if you want to stay in touch with us, uh, we'd love to, definitely like to, to hear about what's going on on your end. Uh, you know, this, this shouldn't happen in any state. You know, fortunately enough, this one made the media the most and got enough people rallied up. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a little difficult to uh, get the people up to Alaska, but hopefully, you know, in standing in the position that you're in, you've got the capability to maybe help rally some more people in your city. I wanted to ask you a question since you mentioned Alaska. I used to have contact with someone up there by the name of Schaefer Cox. Does that ring a bell on your end? Yeah, he's, he's in several prisons. Yes. Um, how, how close are you to that uh, that area, like where he was from? Uh, I'm in I'm in Palmer. He, that was in Fair, he was up in Fairbanks. Uh, about uh, 350 miles, uh, driving miles from here to okay. in Fort, Still in federal prison. Yeah, I was, I, I kind of lost touch with that situation. I feel bad that uh, actually was yeah. calling him on his cell phone as he was uh, in that situation, and he never did get a chance to answer. And then uh, they shut down his phone. I was we calling have, him directly. We have, a, we have a lady in uh, Fairbanks. She is Fairbanks. She is the uh, she's running for. Lieutenant Governor of the Constitution uh, Party, uh, Maria Renzo. Uh, she's very active in trying to get him out. Uh, we also have, she also has a, uh, uh, a, a teleconference that she, that she does every Monday at uh, 8 p.m. Alaska time. It's called the Statewide uh, Teleconference. And, it, and fairly often that subject is being brought up. But and and that and that and that statewide these statewide teleconferences on uh, Facebook uh, that is open to national as well. We get a lot of people from New York 48 on there, and there's a lot of subjects that are happening here that are very related to what you guys have in New York 48. And let me let me just end this with end, end, end with this. Uh, there's another thing people wanted to talk. Um, you know, I, I saw, saw some footage on Fox News, the, the people that went and stood before uh, the, that gate and with the feds behind their, their vehicles with their uh, M4s uh, and their battle rattle and their, and their helmets and they had, they had cover and concealment and those people were out with no cover and concealment and the willing to stand and stand firm and then move forward and move on to these guys knowing damn well these guys had already said or with bullhorns that they were they had orders to shoot. Uh, that that took a hell of a lot of bravery and it showed to me two things with the B uh, BLM people. One that they have good fire control, which is good. And two, I bet you they were they were shit in their pants. Because I think they were <laughs> to the death because they were getting, they knew that they they knew A they were in the wrong these people were coming after. 
and he had no choice but to back the hell off. And I'm glad to see that, that the sheriff's department actually made him back off from a legal standpoint, and then he got the cattle back. But I'm afraid that this is not over with by any stretch of imagination, but this is, this is sparking a huge fire, and I think this is what is needed, and we're going to take this nation back, and we're going to get our constitution back, and we're going to, be, and we're going to reinstate, or reaffirm, not reinstate, we're going to completely reaffirm our constitutional rights here in the system. And lastly, I am the United States Air Force retired, a retired tech sergeant, and that oath that I took is still the oath that I took. And never That's what I'd like to hear. Awesome. Well, we appreciate your service, brother. We appreciate uh, appreciate you chiming in today. Um, yeah, uh, good to hear from Alaska. So keep me posted, then. I'll keep you in touch with the corner. Awesome. Appreciate it. All right. Moving on. We got a nine five one four. You've been in the queue for a minute. Good morning. Uh, yes, this is calling from the south. Um, Thanks for holding so long. Huh? No, it's okay. Um, I just wanted to to give some uh, people an alternative to, um, so they can have a little bit more privacy when they want to be able to, to group together and stuff. KeyPartyCommunity.com, uh, I'm part of the studio. That, that particular platform was created specifically because there was so much attack from the progressive left on Facebook and other social media outlets. So they have done their due diligence to, um, to give a place for the conservative Constitutional, whether the Republican or whoever is out there that supports liberty, um, a place to come and congregate. Um, you um, will find a lot of people that they get active in meeting people. Uh, they establish, you know, connections with others. It's a, a, a good resource. They have people that moderate the platform so that um, the uh, trolls cannot get in. If there's anybody that's hanging out and working around. So when you want to share private information uh, and stuff, just know that nothing on Facebook is private. Uh, all oh, we know that. Is, is accessed uh, by the White House and Google and YouTube and all that stuff as well. So it's just enough alternative resource. Uh, not to say that I'm trying to pull anybody away from Facebook, but you know, if you want a more secure place when you need to really talk or chat or share information, it's not going to get out. Um, yeah, it's a very well-run um, community, and uh, I was—I uh, I, I'm, I'm there. I—I I, I know that they do a lot of real positive things. It seems kind of quiet over there because most of the time people go get their information, meet, greet, and then they go out in the community and they're active boots on the ground. You know. So um, the other thing that concerns me is um, I see a lot of testing going on around the United States. There's like you know, a lot of stuff, military exercise that's being done in the inner city and stuff. And I, I see that what's going on in Nevada is just another test ground. They're, they're testing our limits. They want to see how far we will take this. And um, they're going to regroup and come back and do something different the next time to try. Um, so, this, you know, they want to see exactly what we're going to do as American citizens. So that you know they can figure out their strategy, and um, that's why I think it's so good for us to have places where we can go where we can actually um, talk um, outside of what the um, the progressive left is, is attempting to be. Agenda 21 is real; it is very active, and um, I do believe that we have many, many people out there um, that have um, the same agenda that we saw in World War II. Um, we just have a lot more technology and, and the opportunity for people to listen in. So um, I'm not really comfortable saying what state I'm from. I'm sure the people that are on this call, even the trolls that may be listening in, will know where I'm coming from. But um, I just, I have gotten to where the only uh, person that I trust and it with my life is the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, if, if we were to have a World War III, I would hope that I would have myself surrounded by all my pepper friends, you know, and um, my militia friends, because I know at the end of the day, even, even with all my Native American 
uh, plan that um, you know we're going to be much more available to, to handle our own selves when that kind of disaster comes. I'm just uh, concerned that one day we're going to be like those people in Poland that woke up one day and realized that they had been lied to when you know all of the um, concentration camps were finally opened and released after the war was over. You know, and, and I know that we have people that do not have our baby best interest at heart. So, you know, and shout out to um, my friend Paul, who is heavily involved with the No Amnesty. And he's been doing an awful lot on Facebook to uh, get the word out. And get, he get, his pages get shut down, you know, every other day and stuff. And he keeps coming back fighting for uh, American rights and our constitutional rights. Another shout out to... Uh, another uh, patriot in mind, Tim Sweaty Senior, who is out there doing all he can to try to help secure uh, locations for us that are conservative patriots to be able to hang and house their hats so that we can congregate and discuss things in private without um, the uh, George Soros and um, the liberal progressives, you know, attacking us. So thanks for what you're doing as well. Awesome. We appreciate your feedback, young lady, and uh, feel free to sign in again in the future. And definitely thanks for uh, offering a couple more resources for us to use in the future. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, Tom's one. You're back in the queue. What's up, boy? Hey, uh, what's up, dude? I've got a couple things I want to talk about. Uh, first of all, I did end up on uh, one of those hotels. Up is uh, best left. Hey, uh, you, hey, hey, bro, you're coming in. You're redlining a lot. Can you back away from the phone. It's kind of muffling the uh, the speaker. Yeah, uh, so I called into the Best Western Hotel and I asked about a room there, right? And they said they're full. I asked our federal agents as soon as I said that. Instant change of demeanor. This guy says he's reporting me to the police. And he's going to hang up with the So I thought that was pretty weird. And another thing I want to talk about is all these politicians don't come to the Second Amendment, like Eric Holder, aka Fast right. and Furious guy. Uh, he raised right. me. The Department of Justice is wanting like $350 million to uh, improve gun safety. Eric Holder said he wanted to get people that have gun braces and possibly have RFID chips and firearms as well. And it's just, the bottom line is, is there's too much misinformation out there from mainstream media. Uh, even some alternative media outlets are, don't have too long of talking for the Second Amendment. But the uh, main thing, I think, is to, to spread good information to people out there and uh, just keep trying. Don't ever give up on, on our agenda. And fool, man. Awesome. Appreciate you chiming in again. Did you uh, any updates on any CCOM going on out there? Uh, no, not right now. Almost now. Right. Cool. Uh, let me let me know if anybody in the chain gets a hold of you, okay? <clears throat> All right, man. Thanks, boy. Uh, one four seven three. You just popped into the queue. You're free and clear. Well, hi. Is this Brian? Yeah, hey, how are you? Hey, uh, yeah, you just friend requested me. I couldn't get through to you last night and say, but cut you off on a certain amount. But um, I've been pretty much um, on the Internet all day, and not a, and I have to do, I do it both on my phone because I'm running around so much. But I wanted to know, because, of course, you can't get anything off of the news, and I'm getting conflicting things on the Internet. Well, since the, they have backed out, are the militia still staying in place, or are they're not packing up and leaving, are they? Uh, I don't believe anybody's packing up and leaving. Uh, the last info from the ranchers is that they're requesting still more protesters to show up. So I don't believe the ranchers feel it's over, even though the uh, Bureau of Land Management has apparently been uh, alleviated of their duties, so to speak. Um, there's still yeah. stadiums around. There's still definitely sheriffs around. And uh, yeah. we're getting, uh, you know, I'm going to put the, the level of 100% up to 7 as far as uh, National Guards in the vicinity, um, but uh, looks like they're just on standby, hoping, you know, they're Americans too, man. I know a lot of uh, guys that are in that field as far as, you know, the Army and uh, the Reserves, and uh, I, I, I doubt how these guys really want any problems. 
you know, they just want to go home to their families just as well. So as long as, uh, you know, the, our crew boots on the ground doesn't do anything wrong, yeah. there, there shouldn't really be that much of an issue. Although, um, you know, it seems to be uh, a fair consensus that uh, we don't feel that it's quite over quite yet. Yeah. Um, and it seems, seems like there's another boot to drop, but nobody's really aware of uh, what to expect right now. Um, well, we did have a couple I, people confirm that there are similar sites in the region, so uh, they're kind of probably trying to relay, you know, what they want to do next. If anything, it sounds well, like people are going to be staying there for at least a few more days. Okay, well, I give props to the new system here so that everybody's not talking over each other. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of reckless the first night, but we made that work. And then, it, it, you know, honestly, during this course of action, somebody's like, hey, dude, do you, do you know how to use the q and I'm like, the what? This is like the Q&A. You see the blue button over there? I'm like, yeah. Oh, like, well, yeah. Damn. I think, it, I, think a lot of people got, I think a lot of people got angry at each other just because of that. That would start a little yeah. conflict. But, okay, this is great now. I'm, I'm going to really enjoy it now. I can understand it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, thank you for chiming in. Appreciate it. Oh, shit. Sorry, hon. When you say thank you, I think you were leaving, and then you kept talking. I apologize. I did not mean to cut you off. Uh, what is uh, caller 3482? Hey, can you guys hear me? Wireless caller. There you are. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, yeah, it's my second night listening. I listened to you guys last night. I found you through a friend of a friend of a friend, like on Facebook with the, <laughs> the uh, number. And That's the calls. way it's being done, hon. They're know, spreading right? like wildfire. And, um, I worked, uh, worked at a call center overnight, so it was kind of a nice thing uh, for to listen to people off and on. I listened to the phone the first night. I'm listening through YouTube right now, and um, basically, I can't be there out be out there with the um, Elk Bunny Ranch, even though I would like to, because I was born and raised in West Virginia and stick, so that's kind of like my extended family, because they're like cowboys, you know, and I love that kind of atmosphere. Hey, you, you know, I don't mean to interrupt you real quick, but if you don't mind, you're actually listening to it through YouTube right now. Can you give me the uh, can you put up the URL for that somewhere? Yeah, I'll stick it on, um, I found it on your Facebook page now, so um, I'll stick it on my uh, Facebook page, and I've got Twitter and all that, so yeah, I can spread that thing around, it's no problem with Blur. Yeah, actually, I'm trying to, uh, if, if there's any way anybody online can give me the YouTube link, uh, I've got a lot of friends listening on Facebook, if anybody can give me the uh, the YouTube link, uh, that'd be great, I'd like hey, to be able to repost that. Is, that um, I'll go to YouTube, and I'll grab the link off the YouTube, and I'll just put it on your Facebook page, because even though we're not friends or whatever, I can still follow you, and I can still post stuff like, as responses to whatever you post on Facebook, and I'll just try. Brian, and I already put it on your page, dude. <laughs> That's where she's got it from. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, hopefully my uh, profile's still public. Go ahead. Like I said, because I'll, I'll go here and check this out of college, but basically I was just, you know, I was born and raised in the country. I love my country. I love freedom. I love, you know, all this other stuff, and basically I can't be out there, and I'm just kind of like a hands-on kind of girl, and I love, you know, doing stuff like in person, and I can't. So just a long story short, it's really nice to be able to listen to you because we are listening to you and it's always an all night thing. It's not just like a two hour talk show you have, you know, you went pretty much all night with me, which I was. I love it. And, um, and no commercials. I'm, I'm commercial know, free entertainment. <laughs> and um, so anyway, it was nice to listen. It's almost like I can almost be there vicarious by listening to you guys and have people call in and say, you know, who's on the ground and what's going on. So. For me, it's kind of a nice, um, vicarious. I can't be there, but I'm thankful to come and say thank you to you because through you just being there and people calling in, I kind of feel like I'm there, but kind of, you know, I'll, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're involved. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, you guys have a good night, and I'll go ahead and drop that YouTube link on your Facebook page, and I'll just, I'll be here all night working. I work overnight on the weekend, so I'll just be here all night listening, so you guys just keep it up and just, uh, you can be too, and he'll cook up your coffee like your IV. <laughs> I know you were tired last night, I could tell. <laughs> Hey, without giving too much away, you, you say you work at a, some sort of call center? Yeah, I work at a call center overnight, and um, basically <laughs> I would just uh, bring my laptop and it's slow, and I just, I think I've gone to like a lot of uh, Patriot pages and all this, and I think somebody, one of my friends, dropped the link to uh, your uh, conference call, and I thought, well, let me just call and see what it's about, and it was really nice, but then I found the YouTube, I think, just by accident through someone else's um, uh, Facebook posting, and stuff. So I started listening uh, on uh YouTube because while I'm taking phone calls through my headset on the computer, I can't be on the phone, and so it's nice to be able just to listen on YouTube in between phone calls, and that way I don't have to keep the phone up to my ear all night long. So. Well, um, all right. Well, hey, I appreciate you chiming in, and we appreciate the respect. Uh, I'll get some other people to save this phone number. Um, this is pretty much dedicated to what we're trying to do here. It's uh, open line when I'm not on, but after eight central, as often as I can, I'll come in and try to mediate and moderate. So. Try to let people know.
know it officially starts at 8, but I'm going to leave it open so people still can chime in while I'm not around. Okay. Yeah, you guys um, have a good night. I'll keep looking, okay? okay? All right. Keep the number in. Uh, yeah, chime in any time. Thank you. Thanks, honey. Bye. All right. Um, got about 100 some odd people still in the call, so if anybody wants to chime in, I've got an anonymous holder in 773. I, I'm not trying to cut you off, man. Uh, I had you on about seven times. I'm going to keep you in the queue, but I'm just going to let these people go ahead and then I'll pull you in. But uh, if anybody else wants to talk, you got star six uh, right there on your keypad. If you press star six, uh, we can get you back in the queue and uh, you'll be in line and then I can pull you up front. Um, typically, if you wanted to talk to somebody or make a comment on somebody, maybe grab a pen and paper. Um, that way we can kind of accommodate, hey, I wanted to ask that guy a question. Maybe I can get him back on if he's back in the queue. All right, that just put about a dozen people back in the queue. So uh, if you're in the queue right now and you press star six and you're in the queue to talk, just hang on for a second, and I'm going to run through a couple of people. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, limit people to two, three, four, five minutes just so we can keep moving forward. Make sure what you got is, you know, pertinent uh, to what's going on right now. Uh, we had a really weird call from some druids that were sacrificing goats last night uh, in, in favor of the, uh, the cow gods. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that was all about, but uh, we had some weird calls, added a little humor, so, uh, you know, I expect, you know, you guys can talk about anything you want, say what you want to say. I'm trying to be fair to everybody. Now, on this call, or you're on the one? Hey, how you doing? I spoke to you last night. Uh, this is Archangel from the uh, web, uh, from the Amer uh, Facebook page, America Wake Up Before It's Too Late. Um, just a quick question. A uh, lady came on before and read a letter that was supposedly posted online or something that she found. Could you give me uh, some kind of a link to that site? Yeah, uh, I found it after she was reading it. If you actually go to uh, Florida Anonymous on Facebook. Right. Or I'm sorry, Anonymous Florida. They've got like 7,500 likes. Um, if you click that, it was one of their last posts. And uh, we've got somebody that chimed in that's actually close friends with the moderator of that page. They're trying to find out what, what the actual source was of that. Um, you know, it's one of those please make it viral type of posts that came from somebody else. But, you know, a lot of people are spreading a lot of stuff right now that's not 100% correct. And uh, it's freaking a lot of people out. So that's why we started off this call. I actually called my uh, Illinois State Commander uh, earlier, now 36 plus hours ago. Um, and I'm like, ah, what the hell? What do we do? Are we raising DEFCON? What's going on? He's like, Brian, calm down. We did raise DEFCON just one notch. Everybody's on alerted status yet. And, you know, we're not freaking out here. He says, usually we'll keep your bug out stuff on you. And uh, I said, hey, can I invite a couple people to this call? And he's like, yeah, go ahead. And then bam, 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 bam. I put it on Facebook. Other people started sharing it. And that's been bananas. Uh, yesterday we had, uh, I think the number was 2649, 2649 uh, independent phone numbers came in on this call yesterday. Nice, nice. Well, listen, just, just two things real quick. Um, was that uh, letter confirmed or not? Uh, negative. The sun's negative. Wasn't negative. confirmed. Okay. And just the last thing is, last night uh, there was a big posting about the staging area that uh, that the government had their, their 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 whole setup that was just outside of the ranch. Has anybody had eyes on that staging area to see who and what is still there or not there, or they can't get near it? Uh, you know, that's a really good question. Um, I burnt out through one of my phones that I was using as a secondary to contact people. Um, it, it was acting really freaky after about a couple hours. I don't know if I personally blew it up or if that was done intentionally on, you know, from somewhere else, but uh, I, I wish I had that capability. I do have a phone number that um, I, I really want to get a hold of my guy, uh, a personal friend of mine, Mike School, is actually down there, boots on the ground. He had called me when he was running for supplies and has never gotten back to me. Um, I don't have any text from him. Uh, he knows to actually call me direct, uh, hit me up on Facebook, or definitely get in on this conversation. He's got all that data. So I've been a little worried about him, but we've had a, a other couple of people that have chimed in that were still boots on the ground. Um, as far as we know, again, BLM dispersed. Uh, a couple of people have come and gone. We're still floating well over 200 people. Um, we're hearing reports of closer to 1,000, but uh, we're still waiting to hear from actual boots on the ground that are right there in that staging area. Did you see the video that happened today? Yes, I did. Uh, I, I've been with you okay. guys actually all night and today. Today. Okay, yeah. Where the sheriff, the sheriff had mentioned that they were getting everybody out of there, and uh, 
you know, they want to de-escalate the situation, et cetera, et cetera, and they're getting the cows back. So, uh, yeah, the whole thing about it, though, is they had a very, very large military staged area set up with, from what I could see from the pictures, it looked like they had like a little prison camp and everything else set up there. And I'm just wondering if anybody's seen them physically tear it down and have them pull out or, or whether nobody can get near that area at this point. I'm going to still defer myself towards the fact that there might not be the greatest signal in this vicinity due to the fact that over the course of the last three days, we had guys that should have been able to get out of there within 12 hours to 24 hours. People said they were sending people there, but now when they get there, they're not reporting back. That's bothering me a little bit, but I can't mm -hmm. confirm or deny anything until somebody boots on the ground in that staging area actually calls us. Otherwise, it's secondary information, you know what I mean? Gotcha. I, no, I don't want to post up anything that's not... Um, you guys, if you need some place uh, for a lighthouse, in other words, to throw stuff up on the wall or whatever, America, wake up before it's 2, T double O late, uh, at Facebook. We're on here 24 7 at this point, keeping up with everything and just trying to keep people informed and keep people coming that way. Okay? Yeah, you've got a good uh, going on 7,000 likes, man. I'm going to go ahead and be 6713. I thank you very much and uh, have a great night now. All right, may the force be with you, man, and you stay tuned too. And uh, this number is always going to be active as long as we can keep it going. So don't lose the uh, participant code or the number you just called, okay? I'm going to be in the background here on mute. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. All right, okay? appreciate you, man. All right, moving on, we got uh, eight people. Oh, 12, 12 people still in the queue. Uh, 4983, you got a couple minutes. Are you there? 4983? Going once. If you can hear me, here, I'm going to uh, re mute you. And I'm going to unmute you. What was yours? 4983? Or you got a couple seconds? I'm moving on to the next guy. That I've been waiting patiently. All right, last chance. Sorry about You may now ask your question. All right. Hey, Brian. Did you hear yourself on mute? Yeah, I'm I'm unmuted Hello? there. Yeah, um, I'm the one who posted those YouTube links on your uh, Facebook page. Which, um, by the way, if you could accept my friend request, um, <laughs> that'd be really cool. But I posted the link to the original conference from from last night, the YouTube link, and I have the um, YouTube link for the for this current one right now, um, right up there on your Facebook page. So if people want to search for Brian. B R Y A N and free the people, all one word. Go right on Brian's page. There should be the first post, unless he's posted anything else since. And you look at the comments, and you can see the link to to both of those, um, you know, YouTube links for this particular call. And people can take those and share those, and you know, do whatever they want with them. Stick them up Kissinger's butt or what have you. You know, whatever floats people's boat. Uh, sacrifice a goat to it, whatever. Um, there's a few things. Uh, if, if I could interject real quick, bro, I've got uh, six tabs open right now, including the control panel. I'm actually going through my friends list and debating on high school friends that I'm removing to add new people uh, that are currently, uh, you know, trying to come on board with what I'm trying to do out there. You know, if I haven't heard from somebody in a year or so, I'm just going to cut them loose right now, and uh, I'm going to add some real patriots that are trying to move forward, you know, and, and that are awake. That's what I need right now. So, um, it, just hang on. I got literally 35 friend requests just tonight. And uh, I'm just trying to, you know, get rid of some people. I, I, I luckily uh, know a lot of awesome people. And it's kind of hard to debate who I'm really cutting loose and who I'm not. You know what I mean? So yeah. bear with me. I've still got a lot of friend requests. I've already done uh, a few hundred over the uh, last few days. And uh, you know, it's been incredible making all these connections. But, uh, you know, I almost uh, got rid of Chief Kessler to replace him with you, man. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, you know, take your time on that. I just wanted to make sure that you you know that the link you were looking for was right under your nose. Okay, and and I have not even been on my own wall for a minute. I've literally got uh, what is this? We're going on thirty five messages already waiting for me right now. So I'm trying to get accomplish a many tasks right now while we're still talking and yeah. giving everybody their peace. No, but I appreciate you chiming in, Chicago. Uh, again, we will connect. Uh, I promise I'll get on board with that and just uh, 
That's keep, fine. I mean, whenever you right have any, that, whenever you have any questions forward. about the YouTube stream, you know, pull me in. I'm the one to ask because, as far as I know, I'm the only one doing it. And if there's anybody else doing it as well, please speak up because we don't know about it. Yeah, absolutely. If anybody else is rebroadcasting in any way, shape, or form, uh, we know Ninja uh, Media Ninja was doing that for a while too, and a couple others chimed in. Um, some more keepers, uh, individual groups were doing it, but. Uh, all right, cool. Well, I appreciate you again, Chicago. Thanks for saying that. So yeah, it's apparently on my wall, and I didn't even know. Um, hey, can I get a can I get a couple a of can I get a couple of uh, uh, words in, in about something right quick? I don't want to take up all your time, of course, but um, absolutely. I, I Go ahead. Just wanted to comment on a few things people had said. Um, earlier on with the uh, the immigration concerns. Um, there's one really, really simple, easy way to solve all of the immigration problems. Um, give anyone a visa who is willing to, to learn to speak fluent English. That solves the problem because most of these illegals that are, you know, doing what they shouldn't be doing, you know, they speak all it's all the ten words of, of English and they're here and you know we're looking at them like what the hell, you know, speak speak English or get out. No offense to anybody, it's just the way I feel about it. Moving on. Um, all these false flags, um, yeah, I mean, you know, when, when you see people posting, oh, this is a PSYOP, that's a PSYOP, <clears throat> this is disinfo, that's disinfo, well, no, duh, it's a PSYOP. No, duh, it's disinfo, but there, it doesn't mean that there isn't truth in it. You see, what people don't realize is that these so-called would-be elites that do all this crap, like, have you, have you ever um, been online talking to someone who's really, really arrogant and you're making common sense points, and from their perspective, they're looking at you like, you know, you, you've been smoking something. And you're looking at them like, wow, I, you know, it's hard to believe that, that, you know, they've swallowed their own BS. Well, the people that run this freaking world, they are way higher than that level of arrogance. So they don't realize that all of these psyops that they do, they, they're actually doing us more help than harm because they wake so many people up. I mean, whether you're talking about 9-11, Sandy Hook, Boston bombing, this crap that's going on now. Yeah, it's a psyop. As Captain Akbar likes to say, it's a trap, okay? But so what? Because the globalists don't realize that it's waking people up. It's actually going more in our favor than against. But if you could talk to one of these globalists right now, sit him down in a chair face to face and tell him, look, man, all this stuff you're doing, do you realize that you're undermining your own efforts? Do you realize how many people you're waking up? They'd laugh at you and be like, these people wake up? No way. That's not happening. We got it all under control. We own you. We know everything. You don't know anything. So, you know, you. you can get out there and shout to the world, everybody's waking up, and yeah, that's true, but these elites are looking at it laughing like, there's no way that's happening. So we can use the blind spot of their arrogance, and we are. So people who see all this stuff, remain calm about it, because even the worst of it is a greater benefit to us than it is a harm because so many people just you know wake up and that you know that's what we need so even when something is disinfo or whatever or people are getting all excited or someone's trying to pull something that's okay remain calm pull the relevant data out of it and know that even if um, people doing mind games are getting everybody into a fear frenzy that fear frenzy is waking, waking up the sheep because everybody, when they first wake up, is afraid before they're anything else. And you're right. A lot of those people uh, are chiming in, so I'm going to give them a chance to go next. I really appreciate what you're doing out there, man. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you a lot of the floor because I like you a lot, man. But cool. I, I know. That's fine. Time. I just wanted to put that out there so that just people have a Muted. centered. All right. Area code 4983, you're good to go. I'm sorry. Last four digits, 4983. Are you still there? Yeah, sorry about that. I had to get off mute. Go ahead, man. Yeah, this, this is Barad Hart. We, uh, we talked earlier today. Um, <clears throat> I was just calling in because one, I was a little bit late. And two, I, I had run across some things. Uh, there, there's, I don't know if you've seen this, but there's something floating around from the Hagman Report. Yeah, I'm not really getting a chance to watch any uh, mainstream media or get to these YouTube clips. I've got 
literally 30 videos that need to watch in the near future, but I'm just doing this right now. So if you want to yeah, come, I'm, go ahead. I'm, 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 I don't know how it goes. There's, there's too much information to keep track of. Um, yeah, you just, I mean, you've seen what, what I do. Anyway, the, um, the idea the idea that's being uh, talked about in, in his, um, in, at least what I've read, it is just a written thing, but talking about how the, uh, a lot of this is being used as intel and basically they're gauging the entire um, response from the Patriot end of things. You know, I mean, they, I mean, it, it, it's one big dry run. Um, not that this isn't a real thing that's going on, but you know, it's, it's a big training exercise, and they're watching to see capabilities, what people would do, what people are willing to do, you know, and so on. Um, so that not, that was the only thing that I wanted to say was that. Be careful and keep all this in context because this is not a short term event. I, I know, I think I've just graduated to like conflict resolution over the course of the last three days, man. I mean, it feels like a hostage standoff. Obviously, it's not, but it was just so much excitement that's going on over the last three days, just trying to keep on top of things. And we've got other people doing other duties, looking up research. And uh, you sound actually like a pretty good researcher, man. Would you say you're quicker than the average bear on the internet? Uh, no, yes. Absolutely. Um, uh, Are you able to kind of delegate between truth and uh, you know what's just kind of rumor right now, or can you give us any actual determinations of what you've seen over the last you know two hours, whether or not you know based on your most logical, educated you know guesstimation of the current situation, your perception is in, in terms of what uh, uh, we're actually so. Trying to focus on ground zero, everything that's going on uh, down there in Nevada. What, what, what I think is going to come of this is, um, uh, I think that this is obviously not the end. The, the, um, I think that this is a strategic retreat in a sense. Um, uh, I think that there's going to be a more pronounced response from different agencies back in the next time if they do come. Um, and, and, and even if they don't come, the the just just the point that I, I wanted to make is that um, <clears throat> if you look at it for what it was, it was an event that um, touched so many people clearly by what, the response that's been given, um, and out of that, a, a lot of um, a lot of information can be gleaned. Like you said, a lot of psychological information, a lot of information about capabilities and uh, resources, and what you actually have, you know. Uh, on them, you know, what they could mobilize quickly, you know, I mean, if you were, if you were going to do a case study on how the Patriot movement would react to, um, you know, the, the, next, the next big thing, this is it, they, they got everything they wanted to know. Um, not that this has a, been a, a good um, display of, of the network, um, I just wanted to caution people. To, to let them know that, you know, hey, this, this is something that, that you should be aware of. Um, you know, at this point, America realizes no matter what you do, how you do it, when you're communicating, it's pretty much recorded in some way, shape, or form. I guarantee that absolutely. over 50% of America in some way, shape, or form is on some list. Uh, most people are aware, you know, due to me speaking out. And that's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything illegal, man. I'm just kind of speaking out what people I have their turn. And, uh, Holding an opinion, you know, but uh, that's why I'm trying to watch for hotheads and, and edit them out. Um, before it, 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 we had a, a person on the line yesterday, or that would be what four segments ago, that had stated, uh, you know, he kind of wanted to be a martyr. He he wanted to go out in his blaze of glory, et cetera, et cetera. And we had to kind of calm him down, and uh, I hope we persuaded him from heading down there. To be honest, he, he seemed like a cool guy overall, but he definitely was getting a little hot heavy, and we're, we're just hoping. You know, nobody comes in there like that, and that's what the ranchers don't want. And uh, you know, if you're heading down there, feel free to let us know what's going on. You know, send it to somebody you know is down there, and have them give us a call, and you know, keep uh, these hundred people on board. Um, uh, anything I else you wanted to chime in with, though? I'm sorry. Anything else you wanted to chime in with, man? Uh, no, I, I think I think you said it. Um, you're doing a great job. I mean, really, this is alternative media, independent media, right here. It's sifting through. Um, people's extraneous, straight thoughts, because if you look at a lot of what's happened, um, 
a lot of this is frustration that's boiled over um, on both sides, and you know, ultimately, people are really at the mercy of their emotions. And I mean, this, this is essentially a war. You know what's going on? This is a war, and it's not. Hey, um, I, I'm gonna put up a post, man. I, I would like to figure out how to put up a poll right now on uh, Facebook. If you could put it, yeah, I would love to do it. I want to know if people think this is better than the Alex Jones show, or uh, or even remotely close to it. Because uh, this better. is actually, you're right. It is in its own way out the video. Definitely it's, better. Or, you know, it's being broadcast in its own way. There's no segmented information. There are no, uh, you know, there's no agenda here, man. It's everybody getting a chance to kind of speak their mind, and uh, all, all we're hearing is from all kinds of awesome patriots all across the country. A lot of people with good old American heart, man, and that's all. That's that's awesome. You know, I'm. I want to befriend some of these people so I can get to meet and get to know all, all this fabulous crew of people that have just popped up all over Facebook that have chimed in. Like I said, we had 26, 49, something like that was the uh, independent phone numbers yesterday. And uh, just awesome to cross paths with guys like you, man. I, I appreciate you chiming in. Do uh, you want to wrap that up or send you on to the next guy, book? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm done. If, um, if, if you do want to check out my credentials, um, my work, and so my site is WTFRLY.com. My, my goal is just to do exactly what you're doing. Um, cool. I'll, I'll we'll do it a lot better on Facebook. You know, from time to time, I might need some secondary assistance as far as monitoring this page. Um, I don't know you yet, but you sound like you got some good capabilities and you, you know, you're uh, you're effective in your communications, etc. But uh, yeah, you just you me me whenever you have time. You got me on, on the phone just okay. okay, cool. All right, I really appreciate you, man. I'm going to jump to the next guy. I've got uh, eight people in the queue right now. Yep. How are you? Uh, all right, you got the next caller, 7126. You're in. Yes, sir. I was just, um, I've been uh, on Facebook here for the past four days. Uh, <laughs> pretty much organizing a lot of different groups. Okay. I have, I, have, I have a bunch of groups that are out there, and it's kind of got everybody mobilized. I, my, my concern is that one of the ladies I'm talking to, she said to uh, keep the information for you guys so we have factual stuff going out there on Facebook. And I just wanted to uh, kind of get in the loop with that because I am, um, I actually been spending eight hours a day uh, just, just pounding Facebook to organize me. And I just kind right. of, uh, I was just uh, talking with one of these these over there, their uh, Facebook, trying to get the factual stuff that's going out there. They're saying, talk about people shooting and this, that, and everything else. And I was kind of intermediating and saying, no, this isn't happening, and trying to defuse a lot of the bullcrap that's going on. So, if I can get the information from you guys, I mean, that's how I'm going to do it. Because the amount of groups that I have, I'm probably within contact with 430,000 people. And I've been doing it. In the past 24 hours, I had 5,392 responses that they're heading that way. So I don't have enough. I don't know. I don't know what to do with what. So getting that information, keep the information out, uh, I'm willing to do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm in, I'm I in, got I your name here. Still don't really run down there. I, I've got your name and number here. Um, I definitely would appreciate you to keep chiming in. I'm going to watch for you. Um, you know, as the uh, situation alters its course and things of that nature, I'm sure uh, you're going to have even ten boots on the ground and if you're, you know, some sort of communication hub with them. If, if you could help me out, as opposed to being the second-hand uh, confirmation on that, we, we're really hoping to hear from the actual people that are actually there instead of the, without being able to say, well, he said there, she said, you need to kind of hear it directly from their mouth so we can hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. And uh, you know, con confirm what's exactly going on out there. And, and that would be good, yeah. I, you know, the cost stuff is just making things worse. But uh, uh, yeah, I, the other question I have is, um, I'm not in the militia. Of course, I'm just doing this in the military. But um, well, then you're pretty I, much born militia, man. It's just a matter of you getting a hold of people that feel the same way. Maybe exactly. And I guess if someone will ask, I guess I need to get a hold of the chief. Uh, both uh, keepers or something, and, and, and get with them guys. But, uh, hey, I appreciate everything you guys are doing. I mean, I'm doing what I can, even though I'm up here. I can't get down with that, I wish I could, but at least if I can organize everybody on Facebook, I mean, we can get these groups on the ground. So. You know, just, 
just for hoops and giggles, I know you said you're not militia, but you know, I, I recommend that you maybe look at your state's bylaws. You know, ours in Illinois is Article 12 that clearly uh, clearly states what the militia is and what the militia isn't. Are you able-bodied and are you over the age of 18, sir? Oh yeah. Are you yeah, oh, right to bear arms? You're you're already militia. It's not something you join. It's something you oh, became yeah, when you were eighteen. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm already, you know, I'm a military citizen. I'm already a militia member. Yeah. Uh, and they're organized, is, is what I'm saying. But uh, I just have a couple other things real, real fast here. The people that are uh, in Facebook here, their concerns are Colorado, Oklahoma, and Texas, because there's other people in the same predicament. I know you can't fight a four front war. <laughs> well, it's probably going to be bigger than that later on, but. Uh, have you heard anything about uh, these yeah. other uh, All we were told is on the way that some uh, few people have been stopped, a handful of Oklahoma and a handful of uh, Texas had been arrested at some point in, or, or detained, maybe is the proper way to say that. I, I, I don't have any 100% confirmation that anybody was fully arrested. I know some people will let go. Um, and as far as actually being arrested, we're really hoping that somebody can get a hold of somebody that, you know, got arrested and they're out now and let us know how they were treated, let us know what happened, you know. Um, yeah. It's called wide open, so if anybody like that has resources from the guys in Oki or the guys in Texas that were detained, we'd love to hear what they were saying. Uh, we were told that uh, there were some, uh, you know, stopping points, they were pulling people over and running a lot of plates on the scanners that we were uh, listening to. Um, Tom just chiming in that there was all kinds of uh, license plates from out of state, that's mainly what they were running. Uh, you know, we were telling people not to come in hot and heavy, not to come in full battle rattle, just because of the fact that the ranchers only really asked for specifically people protesters. But it was the uh, the son, I believe, sons or the, 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 the next next in line of kin uh, to the rancher were actually, you know, saying, hey, we need backup. We called out to some of the militias, and then it just turned into what it turned into. You know, a lot of people were just showing support. A lot of people are, uh, you know, have the, have the line has been drawn so many times, man. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are hot and heavy and ready to do something. Um, and we understand that, that need and that urgency, but it's just it, nobody really felt that this was the way to go about doing anything. You know, it comes down to who's overstepping their boundaries on his land, you know, who's going to be made responsible and take responsibility for some bad decisions that have been made, and then, you know, let them settle their day in court. You know, what it comes down to if they just stop taking, you know, his stuff and, uh, you know, Stop showing signs of eminent domain coming in from outside powers. You know, the sheriff could have handled this. The states could have handled this. Um, you know, it didn't have to become a federal issue. It's such, you know, is he being removed from his ranch? You know, are you being, uh, you know, convicted typically? You know, that's handled a lot different over here in Chicago. It, you know, real land management ever shows up on the south side. <laughs> I'd like to see if that turns up. <laughs> yeah. But uh, well, anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next person, if you don't mind, bro. Thank you, sir. All right, thanks for your time. Thanks for chiming in, and uh, you know, keep spreading the word, and thanks for being a patriot, man. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hey, uh, 2597, you're back in the queue. Hey, Brian, how you doing? Doing all right, hanging in there. I'm not even on my second one yet, man, so we've got a few hours to go. Uh, easy. Uh, we got Kevin here. I'm with uh, Uncle Sam's Misguided Children. Hey, I remember you guys. Yeah, go ahead. What's up? Well, um, well, I've been listening for uh, for a few hours before I put myself in the queue, uh, and um, we've been, of course, just like everybody else, um, monitoring what's going on in Nevada, and uh, and we decided to come on here just just to find out what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> You know, one gets some real information because you know, like everybody's been saying, there's a lot of disinformation out there. Uncle Sam's has posted several articles uh, uh, about the situation going on out there. You know, based on information that we get. And uh, um, the other thing we you know, I guess, add in there is that uh, you know, uh, the overall thing that I'm kind of hearing is you know, pulling patriots together, and. Um, and that's what uh, Uncle Sam is trying to do ourselves. Also, we created state chapters a few uh, a few months ago. Uh, I myself am the manager for the chapter. Um, 
and we're setting up meet and greets in, in every state, and we're encouraging people from whatever groups and stuff that you're associated with, uh, whether it's uh, over passes or you know um, whoever whoever you are, you know uh, we want to bring everybody together and, uh, and start focusing um, on certain you know on certain events and, and things that are happening, things that we can fight you know fight a battle on, um, both on a political front and uh, on a grassroots front, whatever it might be, and um, <clears throat> we're creating like to create these uh, meet and greets in, in every state now and. I want to encourage everybody that um, if you if you haven't looked up your state chapter for uh, Uncle Sam's Misguided Children, it's really easy. You just you just uh, do your uh, Facebook search USMC, your state, uh, your chapter, and you should be able to find uh, your state chapter for that and um, um, look and see what they've got going on. Uh, um, in Florida, I'm in Florida personally, and we have a meet and greet coming up May 3rd. And uh, down in Orlando, and um, we currently have, I think, approximately about 100 people that have uh, um, confirmed that they were they're going to come out to the event. And I know a lot of these guys personally. So, um, um, some are militia members, some are with overpasses, some are with you know like various groups. And that's what we want to do: is draw everybody together. Uh, it seems like you know for the longest time now, uh, so many. Uh, Facebook pages and this and that one fight, you know, or, or, you know, all everybody's got a good cause and everybody's got something they're passionate about. I like you and passionate about Article Five. Um, I push that a lot on the Florida page for Uncle Sam's, and um, we want to pull all these people together and start focusing our our attention on uh, on certain things so that we can. You, know, you can't fight every battle, but you can pick battles and win those the one at a time. And that's what we're finding. You know, there's a lot of good people chiming in. You know, what more can I do? What more can I do? Um, you know, you've got a broad reach. You've got a, a good group that's forming. You know, uh, in this day and age, there's a lot of groups forming, and a lot of them are leaning in the patriotic realm, which is awesome. A lot of them have chimed in over the course of the last few days. Um, all I all I could say is just keep spreading the word. You know, let them know this phone number is if you can be broadcast in any any way, shape, or form. I personally would like to come in. You know, as often as you want and. Uh, you know, I, I look forward to hearing other people saying, "Hey, I'm with uh, Sam's uh, misguided, you know, so Uncle Sam's misguided children." You know, uh, I represent such and such chapter. You know, whatever I can do to help build that up, to you know, get more patriots on board. It's, yeah, it's not really like an M MC club or anything. What is that exactly? Just, uh, um, well, Uncle Sam's is, is kind of his Facebook page uh, about three or four years ago. Um, we're basically a group of Marines. We're all ex-Marines. Uh, well, there's no ex-Marines. We're all Marines. Um, yeah, I'm just curious. Do you, you guys, uh, uh, guys, uh, what, uh, what's the unit name? Which unit are you talking about? You, you said that what unit were you in, sir? Oh, I was first, uh, my, I myself was first radio battalion, Marine Corps Air Station, playing with Big White. Awesome. Thanks for your help, Ben. Um, yeah, well, what, what did you guys, uh, so you guys started up the group and then you decided when you spread out and kind of start state chapters then? Well, what happened, I think, um, uh, the way, the way we kind of off to the state chapter thing was, uh, you know, we, we, we started a Facebook page and, uh, within a really short period of time, about eight months or so, uh, we had ballooned up to 614,000 members when Facebook shut us down. And, um, so we went through some, we jumped through some hoops with them, we got put back up, and uh, uh, we've been shut down a couple of times. Currently we have uh, two different um, pages on Facebook for the main page. One is uh, Uncle Sam's Misguided Children, and one is Uncle Sam's Misguided Child. Uh, one is up to about 360,000, again the other is around 60,000. Uh, so we, we have a far reach. We uh, one of the reasons that we came on here tonight is we want to talk to you and you know and, and tell you what a good job you're doing. We appreciate this kind of thing because it's getting real information and not you know and that's what we need is real information. And, exactly, uh, exactly. We uh, we are going to post you uh, the number and everything on on our pages. Uh, awesome, I really appreciate that. Not only send me all the uh, patriots you got, man. Uh, I'll make I'll make a room. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> 
we're not only going to do it on our main page, we're going to, we're going to push, it, push it on the state pages also. Uh, oh, that's we're, great. We have, I think, somewhere around 30 of the states set up. I think we have them all set up. We just started a couple of months ago setting up the state chapters. And uh, if there's any marines out there, uh, if you want to admin a page for your state, there's several states out there that uh, we, don't, we don't have admins for yet. And if you're, if you're a marine who uh, is interested in this, um, and you can't find your state page, contact us on the main page, and we'll set up a state chapter, and we'll let you add it. Hey, I, I'm going to throw this out there for you. Man. I, I, I hate to do any plugs, but I think you'd really appreciate this. Have you ever heard of a, a better-known business that does uh, custom T-shirts? Like, Are you familiar with any of those kind of companies? Um, I'm not first. I don't handle that end of it for Uncle Sam's. Uncle Sam's does sell T-shirts. Oh. Okay, uh, there's a cool group I'm that does a lot of custom work. Yeah, there's a cool group that does a lot of custom work, especially for vets. If you've ever heard of Grunt Style by chance, pretty patriotic company. Uh, well, if, if, um, hmm. if you look them up on you Facebook, look, um, you, want look up, you want to look up the uh, USMC Florida chapter? Is that, uh, you mean when you admit it? Just like that. Just search in your Facebook, USMC Florida chapter. Awesome. Yeah, I'll jump in there right if now. If you want, if you can, uh, if you can, there's a, there's a place in there where you can message me or message the page, uh, and I'll get it. If you can send me a link to them, I can pass that on to the people that handle that for us. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I just wanted to give them a plug. They're a little patriotic company. Uh, you guys got a really badass logo, and I'm sure they could make that uh, work out for work out really well for all your different chapters. Um, we're actually looking for vendors and stuff too um, for for some of the kind of apparel uh, you know, that we do and stuff like that too. So if you want to be an Uncle Sam's vendor, we, we do have some very cool patriotic shirts with our logo as well as, you know, Mulan Wade logos and, and uh, um, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's right. that's right. I'll be an outlaw kind of logos, that's right too. Exactly, yeah. They're, uh, that's right up their alley, man. Definitely uh, let them know, man. There's uh, a lot of awesome groups, a lot of veterans groups, a lot of patriotic groups that are going to those guys for, uh, you know, awesome custom gear. It's uh, called Grunt Style. Just throwing that out there. These guys are so patriotic. Um, and they put out a good product. They use uh, American materials. And uh, a lot of vets are working there. Um, I'm going to jump on to the next caller, though. I appreciate you calling in, man, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. We really, I really personally appreciate it. I want to thank you, too. You bet, man. Next caller, you are uh, 9023, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what happened if... Uh you know, that was basically the main topic that came up uh, in the beginning in the first segment and then this started. And uh, that's all we wanted all we wanted to avoid, man. And uh, at this point, you know, some people are celebrating based on the sheriff's announcement at the uh, flag this morning, but uh, as far as we well, can we tell, should, it, you know, we should have stepped in some more gig going until the FBI or whoever that that organization is to get the hell out of it and get in there. You know, that's, just, the, uh, local. that's the Bureau of Land Management. Uh, we did have a boots on the ground chime in the first day that kind of stated that these guys don't uh, exactly look, uh, you know, no, I'm not trying to be racist by any means here, but, you know, if, if somebody is literally, you could tell they're yeah, definitely, right. you know, of, 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 of Eastern Indian nature and his tag says his last name is Johnson most likely he's not using his own name. So I don't trust anybody right off the bat if they call me and say, you know, this is Bob Jones. Okay, no. It's like, you know, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's ridiculous, you know, that man's family has been there since 1800. You know, they fought, they battled storms and everything else. You know, the government needs to make their little nose, go back to Washington, look where Obama's butt work belongs. Ladies and American people alone to get in, all the rest of the cooks, out of Washington. You know, people, there's ways to beat governments besides using the gun. Yes, I am a, I'm a member of the three, let's just put it that way. But, you know, you're the member of the what, what, whoa, 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 you're the member of the what? Uh, willing to, uh, willing to fight for America. Oh, it. okay. All right, simple. Yeah. Yeah, you know. People need to go to their congressmen, senators, whoever, and say, look, this is what's going to happen. You're not telling us. You work for us. We're telling you what to do. You're going to do this. 
this, we're going to start this mess out. You know, Spartan, and impeach Obama. He is, he is not an American citizen. Fine, God commanded it, put him in office. Damn straight. We need to stop begging to these babysitters and start no. telling them, bitch, you I work mean, for I us. I grew up on a farm in North Carolina. I have been there. I don't have hard day to No more of these fucking I, petitioning it's, it's our malevolent babysitters. You know, it's time everybody to can agree tell that, them, hey, uh, this is what we're doing. Get out of our way or help us. You know, that 10 by 10 parcel square land over there on the east. Um, you know, nobody's going to deny that right now. I, I can't think of one person that would. And uh, you're, you're right. You know, there's 350 some odd million of us, and there's only uh, you know quite a, a few thousand of them compared to you know 300 some odd million Americans. So, <laughs> it, well, you know, I heard you know, you know uh, they're going to be moving back in. There. You know, I could, when I heard to the grapevine, friends got friends out there. Yeah, but we have boots on the ground that they claim earlier uh, that there, there is confirmation that. Uh, if there is some National Guard nearby, they are Americans, which is cool. If the guys are just on standby, as far as I can tell, just making sure you nobody know, gets unruly. I know the, B, uh, the Bureau of Land Management has moved on uh, per sheriff's request, but uh, you know, there's, it sounds like they're trying to quell the situation, but you know, everybody's still not fully. Uh, the other shoe hasn't dropped quite yet, but we, we can't verify that there's any real situation right there until somebody times it. I'm going to move on to the next caller. I've got some uh, area codes in that region that I need to get to. Okay, bro. Okay, man. Next question, uh, 8331, yeah? Yes, I have a quick question. Um, I was on the phone last night, Colorado 1, watching the sky, and I, I like the way you're having um, people line up questions. What if there's an emergency and somebody needs to get information from you fast? How do you get through? Uh, we have not perfected that yet, man. This is literally just... The third okay. time I've been at this console in, in my entire life, <laughs> I just got told how to do Q and A five seconds or four seconds ago. Um, and you should have seen the, uh, the utter chaos that was here when there was uh, 261 people and not one person was muted uh, manually. They all had to do with the mobile. Oh, yeah, I, I, mean, I know it was chaotic last night. Yeah, and I just had to to get through. I had to yell, Colorado. <laughs> that's pretty but, much um, right. Yeah, how it but, was working um, for me. So, this is what I'm thinking. This is not a one-time thing for you. So um, maybe if somebody who knows the system can find out. So if we're in the future when something comes up, then it may not be, you know, now in the bottom. Well, you know, all i got to say is last time I clicked the button that my mouse mm -hmm. is waving over right now, 200 people got dropped. So I'm just not going to click this button right now. And I'll try to figure that out when, in, next time I have a second. Yeah. La last segment that I did, I literally, uh, you know, shut down and went to an off conference, befriended some people to add some new friends, and I had to hit the floor, and I was out for seven straight hours, snoring like a baby, and then got up, took a shower, called some people, handled some things, ate some Chinese food, and got right yeah. back on. Yeah. I just thought I'd throw it out there, and I know somebody must know the system and know how to do that. I mean, maybe there's a system like click on something twice, and it you know, get through to you for an emergency or something. I just try uh, to roll I'd like to see that the best I'm doing is writing down, you know, the best I'm doing right now, hon, is just writing down phone numbers. I wish there was like a doorbell, but you, I, I'd yeah. probably get annoyed with that pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay. I'm trying to do the best I can, man. I'm, I'm trying to give everybody no, five are. minutes. No, 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 you're, you're doing excellent. I'm just saying, I'm thinking ahead because I think this is going to be ongoing for you. So. If we're in a situation like we were last night, when we were we trying to get intel. Um, okay, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna start asking people: Is this better than Alex Jones? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I appreciate but, that. But, All right. But, but, yeah, yeah, you are. So, anyway, so that's the end of my question. Now let's move on. All right. Totally appreciate you calling in and uh, keep chiming in. Okay, and keep spreading the word. I really appreciate you. All right. Thanks, Thanks Patriot. Okay. 1453. Oh my goodness, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, hi. Um, how are you? Got some sleep. God bless you. Okay, hey, you're back on. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Um, I just wanted to say, first of all, you're doing a 
an incredible job, Brian, considering you just been thrown into this out of nowhere. That's number one. Number two, I'd like to thank Dave Kelso for putting it up on YouTube and everybody else that's streaming this. We're going hard while we need to. This situation that happened today, there was a whole minute and a half on CNN News, which was just a fluke. This was a thing as a fluke. And I, the kids were flipping this channel, and I grabbed the remote, and it's one and a half minutes. Oh, I see we're having a little bit of violence down in Nevada at the Bundy Ranch. Stay tuned, and we'll keep you updated. That was it. Uh, as wow. far as the letter that the lady read to you and the other gentleman called about, it's in your private message. Um, yeah, yeah, wow. Well. Oh, it is in a minute. You don't even know how many windows I'm looking at right now. Okay, well, uh, I took the whole the link, and all you have to do is open it, and the letter's right there. I don't want to mention any birth names or any old white haggies or cronies or <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, are you candy? Yes, sir. All right, cool. I really appreciate you doing that. Uh, I, I Actually, if you're helping me out. Uh, most of these messages that are out, uh, are people giving me updates? I just can't get to them all if I freaking see them getting them right now. But if you happen to get through like you did and mention that and that you could look at it and then just like you did, that worked out okay. Sorry, you're on hold so long. I don't mind. I, I haven't okay. been to bed yet. You got some sleep for me. I appreciate it. When I'm done with you, I'm going to bed. I'm okay. <laughs> I just want everybody to know I thank everybody who has helped in any aspect on this. But the battle is not over. We are far. This was just a little child run. It was a real deal. But this was just to assess everything. They're going to come back, and they're going to come back harder. We need everybody out there. And, God, we need everybody in so many places out there right now because, you know, we owe China trillions, so Obama is never going to sell out as much federal land as they can and don't give a rat's patootie about anybody else. You know, because they don't want to do the RV, because that means, oh, we're not number one in the world in the monetary IMF. You know, this has all been free planned, free ordained before we were born. Anyway. Yeah, you could, you could not do all of this by mistake. Really. Yeah. Everything that, the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, you know, it's every aspect that you look, something's coming at you right now, and that you cannot do that by mistake. You yeah. cannot do that by mistake. This has been in the plan for eons and eons, and I won't give Satan all the credit because he had a lot of help. He, he suckered in a lot of people. <laughs> you know, and, and I kind of hear you on the whole, you know, uh, yeah. I, I try not to get too biblical about this. I believe there are evil people with bad intentions. But, oh, we right. all have to touch in it. Just, you, you decide which wolf you want to be in charge of you, be in charge of you, the good guy and the bad guy. It, it's easier to be kind and be sweet. It takes less energy. Most of something wastes too much energy to be angry and upset at everybody. Anyway, I love you all. God bless you. God bless all our oath keepers, our patrons, our freedom providers, our EMPs, everybody that's doing whatever they can. I don't care if it's just post this stuff on Facebook. Please try to get your back straight because we've got enough confusion. We don't need any more. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thank it very you. much. And I'm going to bed. Good night. Hey, uh, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. What state were you in there? I'm in Florida. I'm in Alabama, Cuba, Miami, Florida. I'm a Cuban by <laughs> projection in my environment. You know, like Paul said, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Oh, that's hilarious. They do. Boy, you just went through five, five different accents in one sentence. That was awesome. I'm not going to me bloody started, okay? It's not the time. <laughs> All right, right. Thanks a lot. All right, area code uh, 551, you're on the line? Yeah, this is not your conscience. Did you fall asleep on the phone? I'm going to unmute you, or I'm going to remute you and unmute you. Now, you called in yesterday, last uh, four digits, 9187. Wakey, wakey. All right, I'm going to leave you in the queue because I know who you are. You come back in when you can. You're still connected, but hope you didn't fall asleep, and I hope I'm not killing your mates right now. All right, wireless well, caller, 2243, you're up. Hey, this is uh, Justin King. Again, uh, I tracked down the source on that uh, the email. Hey, if you could do me a little favor, bro, uh, this, you're 
blowing up the uh, EQ on this uh, program. Can you pull the phone away from your mouth a little bit for us and just talk to so we can all hear you? Sure. How's that? Way better. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is Justin King. I tracked down the, the, the email that was on uh, Porta Anonymous. Uh, it, uh, came, it came from uh, stephenquell.com. Uh, I guess he's a frequent contributor to Alex Jones and uh, on Coast to Coast. So that, that's where it's at. I sent you in a PM, I sent you the, uh, the link to it. The other question I had is whatever happened. Hey, real quick, real quick. Are you the guy with the drinking buddy? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and uh, the other question I had is well, what about the tribal lands? Uh, where, did that ever establish as a rally point? I uh, kind of slept right through that. Um, not really sure. I, I went to bed right before they met at the flag post and woke up and uh, saw some videos and everything was cool as far as uh, people chiming in. They, they, I'm assuming they're closed on the weekend in some way, shape, or form, meaning the office is closed. I don't recommend just walking in there and say, hey, we're in the militia. We just come and see what you were doing. You know, unless you're totally invited into there. Uh, I highly don't recommend, you know, if that's what we were trying to find. You know, we wanted to use that as a rally point based on the information that we had that they were uh, allowing, quote unquote, you know, refugees, you know, people that didn't want to quite go to ground zero quite yet until we knew more. But uh, it looks like people, as long as they're coming in as peaceful protesters to ground zero, they're, they should be okay. Um, I, we're recommending, again, come as peaceful protesters, transform yourself, take off the BDUs. Take up all the signs of uh, you know violence away, so that these guys you know keep their calm and cool, collected. Uh, right now, supposedly the authority has uh, knocked down the cities and sheriffs, but uh, again, we just need people boots on the ground to keep chiming in. And uh, you know, maybe they've been on hold too long. I don't think they got the greatest signal out there, to be honest. But uh, sorry, I got the battle. Did I answer your question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, but yeah, just trying to give as much feedback as I can based off uh, what's been happening throughout the last few days. But, um, again, we're really trying to get people, if you know anybody who's there, call them, text them, give them this number, tell them the time to freak in so we can give somebody some real updates. We're getting a lot of questions, man, but not enough of people from Boots on the Ground. Uh, we, we had seven people at one point, and nobody's chiming back. It makes me a little leery. I'm not mad. I'm not freaking out yet. You know, they got a lot going on out there, too, so... Might have slipped their mind or whatever the case is. I hope they're cool, but uh, I just say stay tuned, man. I, there's a lot of people in the queue right now. Um, this next number, actually, uh, I'm going to open them up in this call as well. One five two one, you're on the air. Yeah, um, I was just calling. I'm not sure. I heard a couple people mention the, an email. Uh, I called last night about the, the Humvees and. Uh, uh, MRAPs and all that with the Department of Homeland Security. Yeah. Um, so I just got an email, another email from the same friend of mine, and it could be the email that, that you guys were just talking about, but it says, uh, okay. stop me if you if you recognize it. It says, uh, 1700 hours, I was contacted by my source within the Department of Homeland Security. Regarding yeah, that's, the that's the email? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so has that been confirmed, or is that just kind of speculation right now? You know, pretty much everything is kind of speculation in its own way, shape, or form, and unless right. I can get the, the people that's being claimed to be the author on here. Well, it's it's from, I'll tell you, it's the, the letter is actually signed. I don't know if everybody else has the letter signed. Doug Hagman, H-A-G-M-A-N-N. -N. Okay. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, it says it's G -G -G. Doug, D O U G, and then Hagman, H A G M A N N. So I'm assuming that's the author. The, yeah, the author is Doug Hagman, and it's reportedly to Steve Quayle. Um, you can yeah. find it at stevequayle.com under his alert section. Uh, the only thing I know about it is he contributes to Alex Jones, and he's hosted uh, Coast to Coast once or twice. Right, right. Um, if, 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 I guess it all depends on whether or not you believe those sources as to whether or not uh, you, you believe the email. <laughs> I mean, I do. I, I mean, it's, uh, it's 
to speak. So it's kind of a, a game of chess, so to speak, within the military. I mean, it, the way that it's all worded and, and the, you know, the military assessment of the satellite and drone surveillance and all that, that would make sense as to why they shut down. It was a no-flight zone and all that. I mean, it's very possible that they had drones and they got images of the, you know, the Patriot resistance, as they called it. Just trying to see, it, you know, what we as Americans as, as, as Patriots are going to do to, you know, to react to this kind of a situation. And I'm sure they're thinking that if they pull out and say, oh, the BLM, they're, they're done, they're going to get their cattle back and all that, and then everybody settles down and starts moving out, who's to say they're not going to just move back in and do exactly what they did before? thinking that, oh, they're not going to come back, you know what I mean? That's exactly what came up as far as the other shoe dropping, and you still, you know, can't confirm too much of anything out there until we get more of the boots on the ground letting us what's going on from there, and then we get a lot of conjecture, and we saw the video of what happened at the uh, polls this morning at 9, in, uh, 9 a.m. Their, their time at uh, the staging area where the sheriff spoke and said BM, BLM was pulling out and some uh, some cattle would be returned, etc., but other than that, we don't really have that much on confirmation. We've got uh, someone else that has chimed in saying that there's definitely a uh, National Guard at the uh, hotels in the vicinity. Looks like they're just kind of on standby, though. It, as of right now, I don't think we intend on going in unless it gets really weird. But hopefully, you know, if it gets really weird, they've done, everybody's done a real good job this far trying to keep the peace. Um, except for, you know, in the beginning when the BLM got a little uh, out of pocket with tasers and things of that nature, but that's what brought everybody there. You, obviously, nobody got tased again right. <laughs> since then, so uh, I, I think, you know, we're doing, you know, the, the groups are doing something, you know, as far as creating some sort of change. Uh, obviously, the, the protesters aren't being as harassed, although they were uh, you know, pulling over some people on the way that had out-of-state plates. Again, right. there was rumors of some confiscations and some arrests. But uh, we did have confirmation that some people were let go, and then we haven't heard from uh, a couple of guys in Texas. So if anybody wants to chime in from Texas, if you got any updated info on that group that was arrested, have they been released? Uh, I just seen another issue. article on uh, Facebook too that uh, what's up with the, the governors of 14 different states, and I believe Illinois included. Um, they're putting their national guard. Or the, uh, you know, the state's militia on standby, something to do with Obama. I didn't read the whole article. I was just getting ready to read into it when you clicked me on, so I, I didn't need to finish it. But um, again, can't, can't from confirm or deny. We've seen, you know, plenty of that post going on around Facebook throughout the Patriot community. I posted a few times just because I have wishful thinking. Um, okay, yeah. Again, can't confirm or deny. Um, you know, I'm, we're, our group, the Illinois Sons of Liberty, are very you know, constitutionally minded. Uh, right. We're trying to be made prevalent as a non-federalized, unorganized, yet you know, pretty damn organized you know group. Absolutely. So we have to stay within certain boundaries. We don't mind getting the governor's acceptance, but uh, we're not all for this current governor anyway to uh, be anything in the line of our chain of command. You can go ahead and you know command the uh, National Guard. Right. Those are your troops, but um, th th this is the people's troops. Right. Absolutely. All right, man. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, well, it wouldn't let me send you a friend request. It would only let me follow you. So I sent you a friend. Uh, yeah, what I'm trying to do, and I'll do it again later, is uh, you know delete some people that have not chimed in with me around the last year. Again, I, I was letting go of high school friends that haven't even chimed in, other than showing me their hand sandwich. So uh, <laughs> I, I'm trying to get a hold of people that uh, are doing things, movers and shakers, and that's all the people that have been trying to add me. So I'll be going through my followers list, and then, uh, you know, again, removing someone re and replacing them with the real Patriot. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, cool, man. I'll, I'll chime in if I hear anything else. Thanks, buddy. All right, everybody. Um, you know, keep doing what you're doing, and thanks for being a Patriot, man. No problem, buddy. All right. Moving on, next caller, 609. Hello? You're on. Hello, I was invited here. Um, some friends. Everybody's invited. <laughs> well, I don't really know much to tell you. I have a lot of sources, a lot of good sources, and I've been fighting for our country for a long time, and you can call me whatever you want. I hear a lot of people bad mouth the Mexicans. I'm a Mexican, <laughs> and I'm an American. 
So never underestimate the Mexican. They're smart and they're very clever. And we might be your best horse in the fight, but um, I wanted to let you know, I've been telling people that these people in Nevada need to get some word over there that they need to check those cows because if they were returned so easily, they might have put a virus into them to contaminate the cows because I, <clears throat> I used to work and I went to college with a whole bunch of special forces and I am actually a CISA network engineer. And I've worked in government for 20 years. I have lots of military friends, people in government, people in media, people on all over the place. And they call me 24 7. But do you guys remember that time about two years ago where there were seven cases of cannibalism within a 30 day period? And then the story went away. Well, uh, I went to track down the case. And it wasn't back solved, and they don't want to talk to me about it, but I am very active in Florida, very active in Washington, D.C., and I'm still a federal agent, but I am freelance in my own, I'm forensic. Don't under, do not underestimate your government, and they are not in government. I've been telling everybody, and I've got plenty of people riled up. You people will go to battle. I'm on your side. I help people every day. They're not your friends, and they will do anything they can to take you out. And the reason why I call is because if you are a militia, um, I've been talking a lot of our military, and I've been, you know, telling them, hey, who are you going to help the people, or are you going to help them? I'm even getting the police involved because. These people own everything, including those lands, and I know for a fact that they own those lands. All of our lands belong to them, even our houses. If you look at your warranty deed, people, it's in all capital letters, and your signature is not on your warranty deed. It belongs to the state. I'm sorry to tell you. You're still the governor is on that. You're friend. right. Yeah, your name is not on there. Your contract is halfway complete. I know how to get you your house. We just got kicked out of the courtroom by a judge and we were threatened because I called the attorney general and I told them what I knew and now they don't want to talk to me no more. Um, I've talked to a fictitious name in uh, inspector general and they admitted to me that I was right, that why don't they give me my house since I proved it. But you people listen to me. Not even the governor is your friend. They are selling you out right now. I know people in the World Bank, high military people like generals, they're getting ready to set you guys up and they will throw anything at you, including viruses. They can shut down your internet. I used to be trained in over 15 years ago in networking, we can shut down your whole computer system in a shot. As a matter of fact, these people are so powerful, they can beam something at you and make you disappear in the thin air. That's how powerful they are. They're just playing a game with you. They're playing a game with you. I've been helping people for a long, long time, and when I saw what was going on in Nevada, you know, I'm glad that the militia came out. But unfortunately, you all are going to have to convert yourselves into a militia and protect yourselves and, and let them fire the first bullet before you take them out. I'm even telling you, you're going to have to take them out because you are subhuman to them. You are not even alive to them. They do not care about you. They are ready to take over any day now. Okay? Well, the thing that I feel that overall, man, that, that we've got going for us is the fact that those that are elite, that are supposedly, you know, in control, so to speak, mm -hmm. they're never going to come to the battlefield. So what it comes down to is are they going to actually be able to pit badged, you know, uh, Americans against non-badged Americans? And I think when it comes down to it, there's plenty of the good dudes out there that are, you know what side they're on. They don't want to take any legal orders. There's some may. But I think the overall majority, mm -hmm. people know whose side they're on. They're just keeping their mouth Even the quiet. Mexicans that are illegal, they're on your side. Even those Cubans that came from communism, they're on your side. I've been to Occupy Miami. I've been mm -hmm. all over the United States, and they are on your side. You know what? 
believe it or not, people, those illegals that you guys are trying to kick out of your country, you should see what they do to those people. They put them in jail, they drug them, throw them on an airplane with handcuffs to, and on a special plane, they take them to Texas, leave them in there for a couple months, and then they throw them into their country, and they're willing to die for you. Why? Because you gave them a chance, but the government is stealing their money too. They're stealing everything. As a matter of fact, you don't even own your children. If you don't own no, your children, yeah, you don't own your war, children. And we're just the ones that get to raise them. Yeah, it's a big lie that they, and I keep telling people, listen, you should have been fighting a long time ago when you found out that you are a custodial parent. You're not a homeowner, you're a tenant. You're not, anything that you have, they will come back 40 to 50 years later and they will take it right back off of you. But right now they're doing the worst thing ever to you and that is they're trying to kill you with that Obamacare. You know, my doctor, he cried to me the other day and he told me the truth. I could not believe he said, we are supposed to be killing people. And I said, what? He said, we're, we don't understand Obamacare. I said, yes, I do. I read it. They are taking you people out. You have to stand and defend, stand with your militia. I know they're telling you don't put no jackets on and go peacefully. No, you better go with your armament on because they're going to come back. They're either, I think they're going to poison those cows because I know how sneaky they are. And they're going to put them, they're giving them back to him. And maybe within a couple of months, they start milking those cows or using that product for food and people are going to die. That and, stuff uh, about the cannibals, don't, do not believe, that was not no back salt. I even... Just, just hang on a second, honey. Hang on, hang on. Uh, I'm, while you're on that subject, I'm going to give this out. If anybody's got a pen handy, you want to investigate that portion of what she just said any further. Uh, the mm -hmm. cows were actually sent to Euclid Stockyard, Inc. at 14185 Euclid Avenue. And that's in Ontario, California, 91762. That's where the cows were sent. And uh, the okay. phone number there is 597 4818 with area code 909. Just throwing that out there. Everybody wants to track those gentlemen. I've got a few people that are in the queue. If anybody else wants to I just want in, one more thing can, I want to tell you. You can press star really six important. and uh, we'll get to you in a minute. Uh, star six to get in the queue. We've only got a few people in the queue right now, so might as well start building that up again. Star six if you want to chime in. Go ahead, what do you want to finish off with me? Now, I wanted to let you know, I'm listening to the news on the other side of the world. As a matter of fact, it's in the heart of Islam, and I watch it every day through my source. You know, I watch their TV, and what they're saying over there to the, in the media is that our president has betrayed us, and that we're getting ready to go into a civil war, but they got a surprise for us. They are, they are not... This on CNN. They're telling the people on the other side of the world that we're getting ready to go into civil war. They are they, everyone mad at us, and I'm getting my news source from Tunisia. And they're saying they're talking about the Bundy Ranch. They're laughing about it. I, that's why I know they're planning something really, really evil. And they're saying that it's already started. They talked about every single thing that the president lied to us about, that they're not talking about here. So um, just be careful, people. Make every day you cherish it, and that's all I can tell you. I mean, I don't know who you are, sir, but my name is Sheila Herrera. That's my name on Facebook. And okay. I post whatever I find. Okay, I don't know where you got this from. I got it from the other side of the world. That's where I get it. People send it to me from over there. All right. And you guys, I got a watch bunch of back. people that just jumped in the queue, man. Did you want to wrap that up? Okay. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you for chiming in. I just want to get to the other people. We got a lot of people that are no problem. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Awesome. Sorry, we've got a little bit of lock up here. Uh, well, if you guys can hear me, it's like everything is dead for a second. Too many windows open, too many windows open. Danger, danger. All right, bear with me as I uh, let the uh, local, local company figure out if they want to give me some bandwidth or not. All right, there we go. Hack attempt, hack attempt. All right, um, 2373. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I was talking about 
pray for Steve. And I'm just, uh, I don't know if you guys already touched on the subject or not. Um, I've seen reports of, uh, within as recent as an hour ago of uh, the local militiamen down there being arrested. You know anything about this? So waiting for people to chime in from ground zero, man. Everything else is conjecture right now. Um, you know, there have been all kinds of things that have been said, and then people call back and they're like, no. You know, gunshots fired, no. Uh, mass arrests, no. Um, as far as the PLM leaving, based on what we've seen, yes. Um, as far as National Guard being nearby, we actually had a boots on the ground that could, uh, a couple of people chimed in to confirm that. Um, yeah. But they're not in ground zero at the moment. Um, so far, it sounds like they're on standby. Looks like uh, states and sheriff are taking it over. I'm sure there's some variants of, uh, you know, some sort of federal agents still around, but I, I, I don't think their numbers are as high as they were uh, the last few days. Um, did you see the uh, 9 o'clock meeting at the uh, flagpole yet? No. All right, so they all, uh, some people chimed in and said, hey, they just put out a uh, press release that for everybody to meet at the flagpole 9 a.m. their time uh, this morning. Well, man, I'm really losing it here. So yesterday morning, it's Sunday now where I'm at. So anyways, <laughs> that was uh, when the sheriff came on and explained, hey, look, the BLM is going to leave. We're going to take over from here kind of thing. Uh, we're going to have some cows return. Um, it was really good to see. Um, well, that, although the people were cheering. Things. Yeah, although the people were cheering, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Nobody really feels like this is truly over quite yet. Um, there's a lot of suspicion. Um, they normally don't give up so fast, you know. And uh, this could have turned into a Ruby. Excuse me, I got to take up. This could have turned into a Ruby Ridge. Uh, luckily, it didn't. Um, you know, people all stood down and seemed to behave themselves. If anybody's still heading up, we're telling them to come in as peaceful protesters. That's what the the locals want. They don't want any more trouble. There's actually some footage of uh, you know local businesses and stores that are really kind of freaked out right now because they hear all these militia people are showing up, you know, and feds are showing up and yada yada yada. Obviously nobody really wants uh, you know, a big old crazy standoff and, you know, that escalate into something even deeper that we all know we want to avoid then. So, um, you know, as of right now, uh, the conversation that happened earlier, early yesterday was the fact that uh, there were some active duties calling in and chiming in saying, hey, you know, although there is movement, the movement is not, you know, really all towards you guys. Um, there was, you know, some, some helicopters that were seemed to be heading in that direction, but uh, we definitely got that squashed right away. And uh, at this point, uh, there was a no-fly zone. I think it's still active, so they just don't want, you know, outside people, you know, coming in. Uh, it'd be nice if somebody could drop off supplies. I've got uh, four or five different people that said that they could make that happen, but uh, luckily a lot of people came prepared, so they don't need that quite yet. Um, and obviously there is no fly zone anyway, so they really couldn't without possibility of probably getting shot down. But, um, you know, that's pretty much where we're at right now, man. Um, we're still waiting for food something to chime in. You know anybody that's there? Oh, uh, yeah, I got a friend on Facebook that uh, does a lot of updates. Um, she was saying that, uh, that the BLM, pretty much they they just went back to their staging area. Uh, they're, they're still pretty, I mean, they're still in the area. They're... Uh, Leave is about 10 minutes away. So, I mean, they're still there. They're just not there, there. Gotcha. That's pretty much what we're hearing. So, all right, man. Um, anything else you wanted to chime in? I'm going to cut off to the next person. No, that was it. Thanks. Thanks for chiming in, bro. Hey, CCOM1, what's going on, buddy? You still there, man? Okay, you chimed in. I'm going to leave you open and move on to another call. Uh, 2373, you're clear. Yes, indeed. 8739, you are up. Are you in there? Hey, how you doing? In Pennsylvania. There we go. In Pennsylvania. Hey, what's up, PA? How you doing? Uh, question for you guys. Is there any possibility that you guys can get, like, uh, one page telling? Uh, right now, I think everybody's getting a lot of miscommunication with everything going on. Um, I know everything that we have going on here in Pennsylvania, what we do is we have a coalition page. Um, mm -hmm. We have about five or six different 
uh, patriotic groups from around Pennsylvania into one page. Um, we actually call the Pennsylvania Coalition page. Right now, we're on the verge of uh, getting Kathleen Kane on the Attorney General impeached. Um, but everybody gets, you know, the words mixed up, saying this is happening and that's happening. Is there any way that we can kind of subject everything on maybe like two or three Facebook pages or email chains or something like that, just so there's no miscommunication on what's really going on? Right. Um, you know, that's like McDonald's saying, hey, man, if you want to try some really quick fries, uh, try out ours and Burger King. Um, you know, I'm trying to kind of keep people here. If they want to go elsewhere, that's cool. Um, uh, as far as, you know, updates and such, we're trying to get those live as they come in so it doesn't sound like conjecture. We want actual boots on the ground that are going to speak for it. Um, and there were, many have chimed in throughout the last few days, but uh, as of right now, nothing outside of uh, one caller that had uh, pulled us in a little bit uh, about the National Guard definitely being in the area. But uh, outside of that, we're really trying to get people that are down at Ground Zero still to chime in. We had like, you know, seven or more people that were in that vicinity that we lost touch with for whatever reason. You know, the cell signal is not that great. It's out there. But uh, you know, whatever's going on, I'm sure like some of them to chime in. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where we're at right now, man. Cool. Thanks, man. And if you guys need anything, you know, up here in Pennsylvania, if you know, in DC, Pennsylvania, we have you guys. Yeah, back. PA. Yeah. Uh, what I would recommend is we're, we're going to be keeping this line open. Uh, basically, whenever it ends, which is always keep to be announced to be it, um, once the conversation actually stops being recorded as a live conference, people are still able to call in and give comms to each other if anybody else is on the line. But uh, I'm going to be picking it back up at uh, 8 Central every so often. And that uh, way I can kind of mediate the call and uh, you know, make sure everybody gets the chance to say what they got to say, just like you just did. Does that work? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, man. You guys are doing a great job. Awesome. Appreciate you, man. We know 2615. Hello? Hey, you're on. Oh, you hear me? Yes, yeah, sir. We can absolutely hear you. Uh, if you don't mind turning on that, uh, hey, Cowboy, do you mind turning on that TV in the background? Yeah, yeah, I, like I told you, I got quiet system. Hold on a minute. You know who this is. Long time no hear. Uh, hang how are you doing, hang on, let me kill one more. Let me kill one more. You heard that. You heard that. I, I'm, I'm linked to the West Coast and the, where you're at. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a military brat. My, my dad passed away about a little over three years ago, he was uh, retired uh, United States Air Force. So, uh, and my brother was active duty, and they was both they both served in Nam. And uh, don't trust him. Uh, I, I believe they're to playing tossed. You think so? Oh, come on! You can keep the doctor. You can keep the plan. <laughs> I mean, y'all can come back now. You hear? Yeah, I'm right. real fast too, because I'm a hill too, man. I, I I'm I'm a small rancher. I've been I've been uh, forced out many times. I, I had horses, I had pigs, goats, and chickens, and all that. Generators did it all. Somebody come in and clean me out. Uh, this ain't no joke, people. I mean, you, you all you realize what you just did, bro. I, I, this has not been said. Do you, you realize what you just did? I think you just made. You can keep your plan like a, a mantra of the 2000s when somebody's actually bullshitting you. <laughs> That's oh hilarious. man, you wouldn't believe. There's you something. Can people, hey, you can keep your plan. Oh, you can. <laughs> as long as you choose to plan, I give you. Yeah, right. Yeah, I ain't afraid of them. I've been a military brat all my life, man. I know how they flip coins. They'll get on there, act like the kings, and then why they they got you distracted? They go clean out like like up there in Chicago. I used to drive truck too. You stay at the red light too long, it's too late. It's over. Yeah. You you can never let your guard down. Always keep your friends close. Keep your to your enemies even closer. They they monitor everything. I mean they got the technology, man. Where you get on satellites and you can count almost uh, every every truckle on the face. Okay? Those drones and stuff are no joke. I live four miles from Wright Patterson Air Force Base, and I see stuff at 3 o'clock in the morning that blows your mind. If you ain't scared, you need to get scared. 
Bring them on these two. As be you. But don't let you guard them. And you don't ever attack. You attack, you'll trip over your own feet. You got it. You got to stand together or you will hang by yourself. And everybody ain't going to get it all right. And ain't nobody going to get it all wrong, either. Don't ever discredit anybody just because they're not credible. You get what I'm saying? They got the information from somewhere. Maybe they just not know how to display it out there. Um, it's like you can... Well, it's like them, them cattle, man. Them cattle are scared to death, man. When, when we ranched the stuff, I, I was too too lenient with my animals, okay? I got, I, I named them, I walked to them, you know. He partied with them, passed out in the barn with them. But there's nothing wrong with the old-fashioned ranch, okay? They know what they're doing. He knows how to quarantine. Don't think he trusts them. Okay, he's not, he's not done. He's obviously been fighting the government for 20 years. Okay, but I put the word out out west because Pastor Tony, he was out there on, on you know boots on the ground, and uh, he's going. I, I believe he's going back out there tomorrow to check on it because he lives so close. And uh, I, I I typed to him, so I'm sure they got it because they've been laughing at me too because I'm Mr. Typo. <laughs> but uh, yeah, never, never, never let your dog never. Always keep one eye on them. them. Always keep one eye on them, one ear on them. Listen to everything. That's why some people they want they want to call me a raving lunatic. Okay, I, I've been studying this stuff for over 15 years over a video game I bought because I went online. Put my passcodes in. That's why I built my system. I, I was telling you, I actually built it for gaming. Right? Well. When I went online, I don't like playing online because long story short, you get five people on there and they got to go to work or something. You're on that level, you can't go on. So that's pretty much why I don't go on there. I thought, well, you know, this is a cool game. I don't know how to play it. So, you know, you get online. If you don't like it, then you get off that circuit. You know what I'm saying? Well, I had to put a passcode, a military passcode. Right? I don't know what the military passcode I'm like, you know, I typed my passcode in there and kept typing my passcode. Error, error, error. I'm like, man, well, you yeah. know. I didn't like playing online anyway, so I went back to play. Well, then my game crashed. So I went back to Walmart to go buy another one. They pulled them all off the shelf. That's weird. That's the kind of technology that they use. Yeah, um, yeah. I've, I've actually told other people that they have uh, digital television and uh, you know, your Xbox 2 icon with hey, the camera on it or whatever the hell they're playing. They, I don't do video games anymore, but you know, they've got they've wireless got, receivers. They've got cameras yeah, they, on them that can monitor the room. Oh, you can use yeah, it as they, a security they, device. They got a pellet gun that they can shoot a bug on your windshield. You will never know. They'll hear, hear everything in your car, monitor everywhere you go. They do it with cell phones. I'm telling you, man, they've got these little drones. These little drones are called micro drones. They're about the size of a ski and they got syringes on them. Why is that syringe on the end of them? Yeah, drunk yeah, man. I've heard a lot about that. You know, I've, I've seen it on a, on, on Facebook. Uh, without getting too much into other conjecture, conspiracy theory, I'm trying to kind of keep the focus on what's going on at Ground Zero. Um, I got a couple of people that are waiting in line, brother. I'm gonna no, no, no. Through. I understand. That's why I said that real quick. Just don't let your guard down. I mean, they could be on you, and you not even know. You know, the, at this point, I really got nothing to hide. The worst they could get me on as a misdemeanor if I drink no, a carry no, breathalyzer. I'm not, I'm not even worried about that. There's more of us than them. Go watch the ant movie. What they say? It, it's easier to kill a million of them than it is to try to control them. <clears throat> yeah, but then again, there's yeah. 300 million of us and a few thousand of them. So we'll move on to the next caller. Go for your time in it. All right, we've got uh, 7292. Uh, yeah, I believe you're on. Are you on? Let's try that again. 2243, you still there? I'm here. All right. All right. Thanks for being close. Did you want to chime in anything while I got you in your seat? Uh, no, I'm good. All right, then cool. 7292, you're back on. Yes. Um, first, I would like to say um, God bless the Bundys. I hope everything is okay over there. I've been listening on and off. Um, it's just a tragedy that these family has to go through this. It's sad. And 
um, I just remember Obama when he did a press conference. I don't remember nothing else, but I remember this one because I don't follow him. But he was like, we need to prepare for a civil unrest. And I feel this is what he was talking about. Because this is not going to just stop. My personal opinion is not going to stop with the Bundy match. It's going to be everywhere. They're yeah. really in everybody. That's why we're trying to, you know, build the conversation. You know, we can get more leaders on board. You know, they've got this squad making calls, this squad sending letters, this squad uh, putting pressure on another group to, you know, cut cut it out. You know, that's what seems right, to be right I'm now. from Ohio. I'm from Ohio. I'm okay. We just lost the call. I'm going to dial back in and reconnect. Sorry about that. Skype apparently uh, bombed out there. Just uh, give me a second. And I will reconnect us. Glad I didn't fall asleep yet. <laughs> To do, I'm just going to retrieve that number back. One moment, please. I will get us right back in where we need to be. Taking the number and I'm putting that into Skype because that's what I'm using to play this through. One moment. This service is provided in high definition by free conference call HD.com. Please enter your access code followed by the pound. This menu. Access code accepted. There are 74 participants in this conference. This conference is being recorded. Q&A session started. Okay, I think I hit the wrong one. <laughs> How the heck did I do that? Hold on, let's try this again. <laughs> Ah, oh, almost one in the morning. Wouldn't be surprised if I misdialed. I'm tired. I've only got like, God, like two hours of sleep. <laughs> I was up all yesterday and doing this stuff last night into the morning. Hell, Brian got more sleep than I did. Okay, let's try this again, because I doubt Amazing Grace is um, <laughs> Brian's line there. This service is provided in high definition by free conference call HD.com. Please enter your access code followed by the pound. This menu... Access code accepted. There are 74 participants in this conference. This conference is being recorded. Q&A session started. There we go. And when we win this battle, it's going to be another battle we got to fight, and I'm going to continue to pray for them, too. All right. You are actually now officially singer number one from Ohio. Next thank time you, you call me back, I want you to introduce yourself like that. And I'm just going to open the line and let you go ahead and uh, pick the next song that you want to sing. Singer number one? Okay, maybe I did originally get the right thing. 
It was just unexpected cognitive dissonance there. That was weird. What's your last name, Brian Wack? Uh, well, it's Polish, and I'm not going to go there, but uh, I can give you the first part. It's uh, B-R-Y-A-N, and then a space. Uh -huh. I just got punked people, by Brian. Brian, free the people. I'm on it as soon as I hang up. I'll, I'll probably come back once tonight, and I just got to get my other daughter to bed. I am. All right. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Moving on. 1468. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, can you hear? Yeah. Can you hear? No, I can hear you much better now. Thanks. It's uh, one four six eight. You got the two. All right. Uh, I have more of just a question. More than I just wanted to know how can I follow you? Because I think you're a really good moderator. I think you try to keep people on topic. To a certain degree, I mean, a lot of people just go off topic because that's the way they are. But I just want to follow you on Facebook. I just want to know how I can do that. We'll do. Uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm just an average gentleman. I stuck in a conference call and it's turned into this. Uh, you can you know, I can grind the B R Y A N, and then uh, a space, and then free the people, all one word. Okay. And uh, I should pop up. I've got a uh, Native American uh, circle across up there. It says unity at the bottom. <laughs> it's just taking me to the free people site. You're on Facebook, right? <clears throat> you might not have, you know, fellow associates, so to speak. Uh, and they've been cracking down on me the last uh, 36 hours for it. Um, <laughs> of course they are. I should type up. Uh, you could try. Right, I, got I, got I got it. I got it. Oh, I got it. I got it. I know you got know, too many friends and you don't want to put it on your face. I understand that. But I just want to congratulate you on doing a pretty good job moderating this and trying to just look for the true facts, not like hearsay. That kind of stuff. That's all I'm going to say. Exactly what we were trying to get to. Yep, you're a good guy. I like you. Yeah, I am. Thanks for your time. Hey, uh, what did you think of that lady singing a moment ago? Oh, she was awesome. Way better than I could right? You could feel <laughs> some spirit, some yeah. spirit rising in me. That's right. Um, and then I'm going to ask you another question. Is this better than Alex okay. going? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of him. I, I don't think he has the objectivity and, you know, it's like, you got to weed out the new unsolved and shit toppers, you know? Yeah, exactly. Don't want to do that. Just post anything that anybody posts. Like, oh, well, look, there's no proof of that. It's hearsay. Why are you right. posting that? A minute ago, you know, uh, well, actually, 24 hours ago, he was shaking his head and sweating and freaking out. Oh, uh, shots fired, shots fired. You know, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. There were no shots fired, but one person reported that. Who knows who that? You know, I had a friend of mine, I had a friend of mine, sorry, not to touch up. I had a friend of mine post something that was like, you know, just audio of. You know, actually, it was an iPhone video of an iPhone video of, uh, of the person talking, saying, "Oh, yeah, they said they're going to shoot us." I'm like, "Well, where's the video? That that's not proof." Uh, anybody can call and say that. Yeah. It's like, "Oh, yeah, they got yeah. nuclear bombs." You know, you can make up whatever you want. It's like, tell me, give me the proof. Give me something that I can believe. You know, it's like, and especially be at him. You know, he's a high-profile guy. Some jack so have a certain responsibility. Yeah, some jack bag posted up. Uh, it was the like Chinooks. And they happen to be on ground that looked kind of desert, you know, which is really easy to find on online. Okay. And then they posted yeah. up that they're, you know, bringing in all these helicopters and troops, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop telling yeah. people. Yeah. That and people run people. with that stuff, you know? People yeah. who don't fact check things and just go, oh my God, this is happening, they freak out and start sharing it. It's like, no, people, stop. Yeah. You know, look yeah. at it. Yeah. You know, do your homework. I urge more and more people to. True. Yep. Yeah. I urge you more know, and more like people. you're doing it. Because you're like, let's get right. boots on the ground. Let's people there. Let's hear what they're saying. I don't care what somebody in Pennsylvania is telling me. Shut the hell up. You're not there. No. Right. I mean, I, I care what people have to say, but it's just I'm just trying to, you know, uh, accommodate and let people know, hey, this isn't necessarily factual information. If you saw it on Facebook, we need to get that straight right off the bat. You know, exactly. So all these other posts that are coming up, look at the us, look at them all as know? conjecture, exactly, find the source, yeah. that's what it's all about, and that's, that's you've got a lot of real researchers, 
Are you a researcher, sir, would you say? You try to yeah, find I, I, I do my own homework. You know, I don't just agree with something because somebody posted a crime or whoever. It's like, no, go to the source, find the actual thing. It's like one article saying, well, he said he owned this some states and families. It's like, well, no, the text said that, but the video didn't say that. Show me where he said that. You know, it's like people just kind of grab onto the headline and go, ooh, this is sensational. Look at this, this is crazy. Right. You know, it's like that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be sensational. It's not necessarily factual. They want you to stop and read their thing and get the hit on their site. You know, it's like, uh, it's actually nice. But anyway, I'm glad other people like me, myself, are out there, and I appreciate it. Thank you for looking out. Thank you for chiming in. You sound like an awesome guy. Actually, I can see your name from your caller ID, bro, and I'm not. I would recommend if you know if you're paying attention and you're listening you're, and you're getting stories and uh, you're able to get down to the source and you know uh, confirm or deny anything, feel free to chime in. I'll be watching for you. Okay, yeah, I'm following you. If you want to add me, you can. Uh, <laughs> All right, thanks. Sir. Awesome. Yeah, I, I've got a lot of deleting to do. Uh, like, you know, I understand. Like I said, I, said, I, I, said, I will, don't listen. Don't add me over a high school for I didn't know for 20 years. Please don't. You know, oh, there's a couple of watch. Know. I'll watch and comment. I don't need to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Ten four percent. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Back to you. Seven two six five. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The question that I was reading about oh, Mexico thing is starting to happen with Andrew down there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, I don't know if you guys have something, but. I know the bush out there, they're going to need like, stuff, but so some kind of like donation thing set up. So you keep a couple more bush going, so it's a piece of steel back off permanently. Uh, you're cutting in and out here, but uh, can you find something more secure? Jump on the roof, climb upstairs? Yeah, one second. You step out there. <laughs> And we, I do agree, you know, as far as helping get some of these guys' supplies and such, it's important they need it. You know, uh, we don't know how long they plan on coming out. And we, we know most of the proper types that showed up uh, were at least bringing three to four a week's worth of stuff plus extra. So as of right now, they should be cool. Uh, we did hear that the water was cut off at one point. We don't know if it's back on, but there was actually a, a couple people, at the EMT guy that chimed in that said he actually had some buddies that brought a water truck which stored uh, a thousand uh, some odd gallons. So they should be yeah, honest. Um, there, there was a call for night vision goggles, and uh, now that it's uh, in, you know getting into the morning there, or I'm sorry, the late evening there, um, I'm 1 a.m. Central, but uh, you know, the guys are a couple hours behind, so anyway, yeah, it's, it's dark. So it's dark, too. and they could use they, they could use some uh, night vision, is what they mentioned. So hopefully, some of the other Second Amendment proper type groups that headed out there to show support as uh, peaceful protesters might have brought some extra gear with them, so they can utilize that just to kind of keep the uh, area secure for themselves. But it uh, looks up right now, like I said, yeah, BLM disappeared. Um, they're nearby, but they're not there. Um, yeah. There's other groups that, that uh, supposedly the National Guard's in the vicinity, but hasn't showed up as of right now. All we do know is that the sheriffs did make a presence. They're the ones who squashed it out. There were some stadies around and probably a couple federal guys. But uh, as of right now, it looks like the stadies and the sheriffs got control of the situation. They, uh, the BLM decides to move over to like a nearby state and try and take that on interest cattle. I mean, they're going to need these, like, let's say these people came out and they quit their jobs, you know what I mean, to go out there. Right. And they're going to need supplies to keep going. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're definitely trying to monitor that. Uh, again, we need to talk to Boots on the ground. So if you know anybody, anybody listening, there's uh, going on 90 people on the call right now. If anybody knows anybody who's actually down there, get a hold of them, get them on this call. We need some. You know, some more of these resources. Uh, you know, anybody who's, anybody just, who's got something that they can verify, we need them to chime in and press star six, and now uh, we can put them in the queue to talk. Anybody's got any actual information, press star six. Go ahead, buddy. Anything else you want to wrap up with? No, that's the only thing. I just want to, uh, cause they're going to be out there, you know, more more in the short term, more like medium to long term, because they feel and won't back down. I mean, they're right. going to need some some sort of supplies coming in. You know what I mean? We're trying to keep an eye on that. I think the next move is to safely say that uh, if this goes into Monday, we're going to start crowdfunding and getting the supply lines together. Okay. I just want to make sure that something's like, something like that would be going on because. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, 
sorry, I just realized what your uh, area code was. Are you by chance uh, one of the Sons of Liberty or no? Uh, I'm, where's that located? Is that like the suburbs of Chicago or? It's all of Illinois, sir. Uh, I don't think I'm, I'm joining that page yet. All right, so uh, if you actually go on all gun owner together, I got. Okay, uh, yeah, actually, I know who uh, administers that page. We went to high school yeah, there. Carl, um, Carl Zarya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good friend of mine. Yeah, I'm pretty um, good friends with him. Hey, tell him, uh, tell him I miss him. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you actually jump to the Illinois Sons of Liberty dot com, uh, that's the website that we used to communicate. You can actually chime in through Facebook, so you can get updated live feeds. Um, you know, once you start seeing. Some more guys, you know, in the room. Feel free to chime in. Find your uh, county and at least, you know, talk to somebody if you find uh, you want to go to a meet and greet. They'd appreciate that. You know, you meet a couple of guys, shake some hands, see that they're okay, and uh, they really want to, you know, they're offering uh, you know free training of all kinds and a lot of survival stuff in this day and age. It's kind of important just to have that in your back pocket. All right, sounds good. That's about it for me. Catch one though. Uh, that's long term. They're going to need that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, definitely tell Carl I said, hey, okay? All right. Thanks, bro. Have a good one. Me too. 7544, you're up. Hello? Hello? Hey. Uh, my name is Mike Rowley, and uh, I'm one of the chief Kessler gentlemen. I'm not only the engineers, I'm the commander, I was the commander. Um, prior to today, uh, the, um, of the state of Kentucky, I was fired by the so-called new commander of the boots on the ground, 3%, um, that's operating out of uh, Georgia, his name is Christopher, and, and I don't know what's going on, I've talked to Chief Mooch many, many, many times on the phone and by text messaging, and I have not heard from him in, well, I definitely haven't heard from him in at least three days, and um, the last message I got, he, he, he came on Facebook today on his personal page, or on his, on his, on his Chief Kessel page, not a personal page. He came on and he posted, everybody needs to roll, they're coming in after dark. I turned around and I immediately, because I hadn't talked to him and I wanted to know what the heck was going on, I immediately started writing to him and, and said, hey, what's going on? You're going 1,700 miles away, but I'll roll. He wrote back, started to reply back to me, and as soon as it popped up, they shut his page down. And he literally shut his page down. And then the page was down for about 45 minutes. It came back up with this same gentleman, Christopher, and I, and I went back on it. He hadn't blocked me yet. I went back on it and said, okay, where's Chief Kessler? Blah, blah, blah. And the next thing you know, they deleted that, and I was blocked. And then, I'm talking on my son's phone now. My phone is going down. My computer has been attacked today. I don't know what's going on, but if anybody can, you know, I, I bugged out a few hours ago just to be on the safe side, but I had to come back just to get some stuff done. Well, I'm sitting at home right now waiting for him to bust my door down. But if this is all true, I really, really, really need to know this. You know, what's going on? And that's exactly kind of what we're doing. Uh, the day prior to yesterday, we had uh, a lot of boots on the ground chime in over time. Uh, that turned into a, a nine-hour call. <laughs> um, and it, it, again, this started off as just a small conference call with a couple of buddies that said, let's open it up, spread the word, and it turned into this. It's been insanity. It's been awesome. And uh, I'm definitely being motivated to keep doing this uh, for other situations as far as, you know, what's exactly going on at Crowd Zero right now. Uh, nobody's chimed in in the last few hours. i, I got to admit, I'm kind of getting a little worried. Um, no, I just, you know, I just like, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, cell phone coverage isn't the greatest. Um, I unfortunately don't have uh, a secondary phone right now to keep calling, keeping my communication open. I got this main one if I go. Uh, so I gotta kind of keep on lining what they chime in on the conversation. I was out for about 15 minutes yesterday when the phone one burnt out, and uh, I was getting those Facebook messages of how chaotic that conversation was. And then, luckily, when I came back, uh, somebody helped me out and told me, hey, why don't you press the uh, QA session? So I pressed that button. And it's gone smoothly ever since, but uh, you know, I, I've never even used this software up until a few days ago, man. So I'm just trying to do the best I can. And uh, again, it started off as a conference call, and we opened the doors, and here we are today, hoping uh, 
you know, more of the people, you know, that are on the team that were headed there that said they'd be in touch with us. You know, there's people that day and yesterday that said, hey, I'm heading there. I'll get back to you when I'm there. And no, nobody's getting a hold of me in Europe outside of a couple of callers, um, you know, that are chiming yeah. in other states. I had some pretty good live feed earlier in the day, and I mean, I know for a fact that it was live, and uh, then I lost it, and everything just started, you know, and then obviously everything switched over to mainstream media, because I've got a trigger that um, I'm putting up in my house for a little while, and he does massive research and puts out a lot of good information, and, uh, <laughs> but the bottom line is something really strange is going on, and um, I don't know what to say, but he didn't even watch it happen, and I'm being literally thrown under the bus by this so-called new general that took over Mark Kessler's website, so I just want to let everybody know, I wouldn't mean, be so quick to listen to anything that he has to say unless you hear it from Kessler himself, and don't trust the posts that, that are being posted on Kessler's page, because all you got to do is go back in two weeks, two weeks, three weeks, and you'll see you nothing against Chief Kessler, I'm just as bad as he is, we both spell like crap, and we both have terrible grammar. Go check the grammar now. It's perfect. All right? All you got to do is, yeah, it's, they've taken it over. And then and I was telling you about the gentleman I have in my basement right now who, who is a truther. His website's Freedom Fighter 2127. And they've been messing with him hard all day also. And the gentleman came back and, and um, deleted him off the page. And I said, hey, I live with Mike. I know this to be true. He was talking with Kessler when the page was shut down. I mean, it happened while we were talking. <laughs> and not to mention, I have a whole bunch of emails from, you know, where me and, not emails, but text messages, just where me and Chief Kessler talk. So the, this gentleman that's on his site is not, and I repeat, is not Chief Kessler. And I really wanted to get that out. And I hope one of Chief Kessler's boys hears this. I am one I'm of pretty guys. sure that uh, yesterday, uh, it's interesting that you're saying that right now, and it's starting to bring some light to my current situation. Uh, Kessler and I have talked uh, a little bit over the, uh, you know, last, you know, since he kind of found his uh, space in the media. Um, he recently actually did hit me up saying that he was listening to the call. I'm like, well, what's the last four digits to your number so I can put you in the queue and people want to talk to me, you know? And uh, he wouldn't do it. And uh, I couldn't believe, you know, before the same guy that I've spoken with in the past is not you know, being as cool as he normally would be in now. And uh, now it's making sense what you're saying. Most likely I was talking to this gentleman and it wasn't even Kessler that was listening to the call. And uh, that, that would explain why he didn't come forward because obviously it wouldn't sound like you know. Well, it's not like you have to do that. Yeah, you, got, you know, we gotta, you know, we got to keep offset. We all know about that. So, but the bottom line is when something like this is happening and, you know, we, all of a sudden there's general in charge and that just happened a few days ago. You know, I questioned that right off the bat. What? You know, you know, but I didn't say it. And then I started just doing research and, and just, like I said, you know, I can't put it all together, but I know something's not right. And I know that Chief Kessler, I know that Chief Kessler did not relieve me. <laughs> he would have picked up the phone and or text message and, you know, you, you, you leave. But, <laughs> That's what took place today. I was I was relieved off of the site by that so-called new general. His name is Chris. I can't remember his last name. I could pull him up. But yeah, there's something really strange going on, and I don't want to freak anybody out. But, you know, if something is going on, I, and I can't tell you what, but I wish I could. But he did post the message, and I want everybody to hear this. I have multiple witnesses that know this to be true. He was posting a message telling everybody, and this was today, this was approximately, I'd say, right around 4.30 today. He posted it, he said, y'all need to get rolling, and then right below that, he turned around, what's going to happen, it's going down after dark. That, and then that's the posting that I started questioning. I said, hey, Mark, is this you? And I put question mark, I said, is this real question mark? And then I put something down below which I can't really recall right now and the next thing I know bam I was removed and removed from you know this is you know the wrong interesting uh, well and I've been dealing with uh, this so, you know, <laughs> I mean, hey uh, like you by chance did you have direct access in any other way shape or form to get a hold of Kessler then? I do not except for the way we were doing it before and that's, uh, that's down now, I, I do know one of his, you know, he, he, he doesn't like to use cell phones, and he will use um, Skype, you know, the Skype phones more than anything else. But I don't know what type of service he's got out there. 
And I have to be honest, I mean, I did make a mistake about a week ago on the 5th when I noticed he was missing. I sent him a message, I sent him a text message, I said, well, you know, hey, what's going on? You're supposed to be in Kentucky for the gun shoot this weekend, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he wrote me back, and I, and I didn't catch it, I'll be honest, I made a mistake. He wrote me back, I've been real busy, buddy, sorry, she's smoking hot. And I just thought, what? I didn't, it didn't dawn on me, that was, that was his, he was telling me, move, move out, you know. Come on to Nevada, but it, I didn't catch it. And you know, I can't say much, you know, about that. But he wouldn't fire me over something like that. You know, I, I just I don't right. see that happen. You know, so yeah, but, I, I'm really determined to. I'm really determined to get in touch with Tesla. So you being one of the, the closer people to him, uh, if you can keep doing what you're doing, and uh, eventually, hopefully, uh, you can break through. And if you have got any more updates or anything like that, please chime in by all means. Um, oh no, on the other side. Yeah, absolutely, I will. I mean, I'll stay, you know, as long as, you're, as long as you're there, I'll keep the phone on it as long as I can. But, yeah, I would love to hear back from somebody and tell me, hey, Mike, you know, you are fired and you're full of shit. Or, hey, Mike, yeah, you know, uh-oh, something's wrong here. <laughs> you know, and, and I can't uh, answer it. i got to be honest, you know, but I know him better than this. <laughs> and this is not the chief tester that I know. Uh, I'm going to do this. If you're going to stick on for a while, I'm going to uh, let anybody who wants to press star six and chime in right now, if any of Kessler's people, happen to be on the line that have any report on what's going on with him, feel free to chime in here in the very near future. Press us to star six if anybody wants to start doing a little research, uh, you know, find out maybe what Tesla might be involved in recently that kept him away from uh, the spotlight. That'd be great. But uh, I appreciate you chiming in, man. And uh, again, if you find out anything, please call back in. Yeah, the other thing I'd just like to ma mention, you know, I, I do believe he's pretty well dug in, and, 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 and you all heard the reports of the standoff, I'm 99% positive that was boots on the ground personnel, but I could be wrong. I mean, it was others too, but but uh, Chief Kessler and Pete Santelli have, have a pretty good history with each other, and just, just giving a heads up on that. But, yeah, and I know he's a huge fan of Stuart Willis and Richard Mack as well. Right, right. Well, Richard Mack, I, I, I'm surprised that I didn't see him, but anyway, <laughs> um, I'll yeah, be hanging around. I'll I got, be sure, but yeah, the last few messages I got from him were just like really kind of downgrading, uh, you know, Sheriff Richard Mack and Stuart Rose. He obviously does not like them at all, and uh, just flat out called them pussies a few times. So, excuse my friends for any of the ladies that were just listening to that. You didn't hear that, but uh, <laughs> that, that's somebody else's words. I just happen to be quoting, but uh, I'm going to move on to the next caller. Anybody else wants to chime in, press star six. Uh, we still got 80 some odd people on the call. So, uh, and that's uh, also being uh, rebroadcasted four or five other places right now. So, pretty cool, man. Um, thanks for chiming in, all right? Hey, thank you. See you later, Skater. All right, 0080, oh, you are on. Yeah, um, I'm out here in Nevada. I just got back out of the little over the camping uh, earlier today. I was about ready to head out there tomorrow. Um, yep. And you know, all I'm trying to do is give a status update of uh, what they need, what we know, everything else like that. Uh, they're having problems at nighttime. Uh, they could really use some night vision. It sounds like it gets dark out there quickly. I know you probably may not have access to that equipment. It's pretty uh, expensive. You know, if there's anybody around nearby that might be a manufacturer slash distributor, then let them know that, hey, there's a bunch of people at this location that you'd probably sell out overnight. Because, uh, you know, it looks like they have some sort of funding, if, you know, of the people that are going to be there. And we're going to start uh, probably a crowdsource crowd, uh, crowdfunding uh, in the near future if this goes on much longer than the weekend. Um, and other people will also be able to bring supplies, send supplies. There wasn't enough fly zone. We actually had a couple of aviators and pilots that uh, were offering their services to actually drop anything that they needed as well. So since you are headed out, there, um, it's really hard to say exactly what I need but at this point. But I'm sure, you know, food, water, and supplies. You know, if you were camping out in the desert, what would you need? Um, yeah. You had a better idea than a local. Because if you would ask me, I, you know, would have brought a variety of bug sprays and such. You know, so. Uh, <laughs> whatever is more frequent out in your region, you know, that they need to worry about. But you guys got scorpions out there? Uh, there's a couple of them, not too bad. I was out on the other side of the valley doing some uh, uh, doing some firing today. It popped off about a thousand rounds or so. But um, all sunburned. Nice. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, over at least on the other side of the valley, the biggest problem we were having today was uh, flies. 
don't know where the hell those flies came from, but um, yeah, it's 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 okay. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out. Like I said, I've been out of touch, and then I just got back in today, and so uh, could be drones, man. It could be little drones. <laughs> well, I was killing them. You know, there were flies everywhere. If if anybody can confirm that you've actually seen a mosquito drone that wasn't on Facebook, please feel free to press star six and chime in. I'd love to hear from you. You know, it's, it's kind of what I'm getting with the conjecture and and, and you know false false positives. Uh, <laughs> When you see someone on Facebook, yeah, okay, there, there's some sort of prototype out there. Yeah, somebody took a picture of a mosquito drone, but I assure you, the bugs landing on you right now, 99.9% .9 positive that they're not uh, injecting you with anything. Yeah. No, like I said, so I was just trying to, I mean, it seemed like a pretty good resource that someone had sent to me. And I've been out of people outside, and I was just, like I said, I'm just trying to get a status update. Because the one I'm reading, it sounds like everything went smooth. But now I wonder, listening to this, has everything gone? And uh, my as of that, right now, we can't verify any, you know, issues, trouble. All we know is the footage that we saw is confirmable. You know, the sheriff that said BL, uh, BLM Bureau of Land Management is out, and uh, looks like the states and sheriffs have taken over. Uh, there were some people that had called in that mentioned arrests from people from, uh, sorry, Oklahoma and Texas. Some were let go. Some, at that point, so were still in custody, but. Uh, you know, they could be cut loose at this point. We're not sure. Um, we're still looking for people from boots on the ground. We had literally almost a dozen people that said that they were going to head there or chime in or that were already there. Uh, not a lot of people getting back to us tonight, although we had, you know, almost 2,600 people on the call yesterday. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's that's all. Like I said, I'm just trying to get a status update. And my plan was to originally get out there uh, Monday. But, but um, yeah, if there's still people out there standing by, I know what's going on, then uh, take a drive out there and see see what I can sure, see. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully uh, you as well, if you can try to chime in and let us know what's going on when you get there. You know, let some of the other people know, hey, this conference call is still going on, you know, for the last few days, uh, most more on than off. Um, again, I, I'm going to be shutting it down in a few hours, but, uh, you know, while I'm gone, there's no monitor and, the open call, and then uh, when I come back on, you know, it's around 8 p.m. Central, uh, and I can moderate and you know get the get everything going appropriately. But uh, all right, I got a couple of callers that just chimed in. If anybody else has anything to say, uh, knows anybody with boots on the ground, has actual confirmable pictures or video or intel, uh, we're actually also using the uh, Twitter uh, Twitter line. Where that go? Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, both before orders. So pound both before orders if you're on Twitter. That's where we're trying to get people to attach any you know, live video, live footage, uh, actual pictures with date stamps. You know, if you're showing us a fleet of uh, MRAPs and it doesn't have, you know, today's date on it, it doesn't mean too much to us. It's just uh, conjecture. So I'm going to move on to the next caller. Again, anybody else wants to sign in, you can press star six. There's uh, over 75 people on this call and it's being broadcasted at four other areas, uh, also on YouTube. And, uh, Looks like comes one in hold for the here in the second place. Eight seven eight two, you're on. Hey, how's it going? Uh, listen, I just wanted to uh, pass on a little bit of information. Boots on the ground. Um, actually, I got this number from a friend of mine. I don't know if you're listening right now, but uh, um, I do have a couple guys. Uh, one one uh, militia man from Oregon, another guy from Idaho. Uh, members of the former ASM. Um, right now, they are. Scouring the area um, outside of the Bundy Ranch, um, they are doing somewhat of a uh, uh, a, a patrol, more or less, making sure that the feds haven't backing up the areas. They're going to uh, local hotels and, and you know driving around the local strip down there. I don't know really what the uh, area looks like. I am not there, um, but from what they told me, um, initially there was some a bit of disorganization when the initial uh, stand down order came through. Uh, which did create a potential hostile um, situation when they were driving. Um, at one point, he said that uh, he was under the impression that they would, in fact, have to lock and load. Um, there was definitely a fear in the air, so to speak. I mean, it, you know, these guys are trained Marines and, and militiamen, but, um, you know, nonetheless, you know, going up against the machine like the federal government the way that they did today, um, you know, my hat's off to them, their bravery. Um, but they, they were able to get through this without uh, any shots fired. Uh, they had a very clear head. Um, 
you know, uh, I, I got to say, we really showed some responsibility and respect for the area today. Um, reports of people acting, uh, you know, out of conduct and, um, you know, provoking officers to arrest them, from what I've been told, that is not, that is not true. Uh, for the most part, everybody was very respectful and they did stand their ground, um, you know, in a respectful manner. They're not out trying to cause problems or anything like that. Um, but as I said, uh, roughly 10 minutes ago, I got off the phone with my contact on the ground. They are going through the area. It does seem like the feds have pulled back. Um, there's no sign of them at this time in the area. However, and, uh, and, I, and I do make this however big, um, do not consider this like a game over, everybody, please. Do not do that. Um, we need reinforcements. Now, I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I can't be there. I'm 2,000 miles away in Alabama. Um, however, you know, if you're able to be there financially, if you're in the area, um, please get on out there because some people have been there for over a week. They do have lives and families and jobs to get back to. Um, although it seems as though things are calming down and, and everything's good, um, it, it's not, you know, uh, 100% that this thing can't flare back up, but, uh, flare back up for whatever reason. Um, so, you know, if you're in the area, please go out there and show your support. Um, if you could bring any supplies, food, water, anything like that, you guys, please um, get on out there and do that. And I'm sure that uh, those efforts would be appreciated. That's all I got, guys. Thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah, my last uh, boots on the ground that was out there was heading out for supplies and uh, did not get back to me from that point. So I'm assuming you may be having issues with your signal or who knows at this point. But I do appreciate you chiming in, and that's really awesome. Um, okay. Feel free if you've got that gentleman, uh, whoever you were talking to 10 or such minutes ago, if uh, they want to go ahead and chime in directly, I'm sure some people would have some questions. I'll tell you what, I will uh, contact him right now. I'll text him uh, the number and the uh, number to get in. All right, I really appreciate that. No problem. Moving on, next caller. Uh, sorry, I had comms on hold. Comms. Comms, you're back on. Okay, comms to us. Oh, okay. Are you there? All right, 2243, you're still in the code, but I'm going to have to change you out for 4413. All right. Hi. Hello? Yeah, I've actually got a, a couple people in on the call right now. Are you there? Yes, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, 4413, go ahead. Yes, how are you doing? Good evening. Good night, buddy. What can I do for you? A lot of information came across, obviously, I've been listening for a while. Uh, there's a couple of things with respect to this. I've been studying and going back all the way through history and what's going on and what's developing. Uh, this is not, uh, obviously not a surprise. What's going on right now? Uh, all the executive orders that have been passed that we have actually been entertained with other things going around and we're going to in our in our families and work. Uh, if we start looking at the executive orders that throughout the same environment, I'm sorry, not just him, but also for the W. Bush and Bill Clinton, all this has been going on behind that stage, and it's leading up to what's going on right now. Uh, land confiscation, water, I mean, all these are executive orders. They're doing them intentionally. And this is going and exposed by, I don't know if you're a follower, but they're inclusive. Some people have actually been inclusive. And then obviously prior to that was John F. Kennedy. So saying that, saying, saying all that, this is not a surprise. It shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. And and she was this correct uh, with regards to her comments or her statement. Everything has been documented. Everything's out there for the military. Out there is the coming around the common core, uh, the new world order, all of this is being perpetuated against them. And it's funny because as we see, they're pinning the angry against everyone. And if, when we start looking at color or skin, money, when it comes to money, it doesn't discriminate anyone. Anybody needs it. So, what do we have to emphasize? You know, we have to look at all the executives, everything from the recent from the next visit to the New York State and the false flag. And all these five flags are done intentionally for one reason. 
see how we react. And we are being studied as we speak, and we have to take that into consideration. We can't just uh, not, we have to turn any stone and research. And that's what I've been doing for the past five years. Mm -hmm. And I hope that we all, in, in some capacity, are able to start understanding what's going on in the individuals behind it. And the individuals behind it are the lost child, the lost the same one that started the civil war, the same family members of the same ones that are now that we're doing. And it hasn't been changed, and so we acknowledge that. Is when we're gonna, is when we're gonna actually wake up. Until then, we're gonna continue being where we're at right now. Oh, I appreciate you chiming in, man. Are you a former military budget? Uh, no, I don't have a lot of friends in the military. I have a uh, uh, my brother's a cop in Miami, Florida, and he's okay. also going to a lot of uh, military, uh, what they consider uh, martial arts. Uh, that's one of the things that, uh, that information and feedback that I've been getting. From them, uh, I have a friend of mine at home at the city, he's also giving feedback and he's just like to get the chance to march it out. This is nothing new. This is expected. This is why you get the Department of Homeland Security purchase for almost mm -hmm. you know, three billion rounds of ammo. It's not a secret. It's out there. Even, even uh, at the time, at the time of the question, it stepped down. Uh, I think I wish you get stuff down, but she will not, she will not actually give you a city that they are participating uh, all the time. There. And this is not, you know, stupid, it's been there, following what we haven't been looking. And you know, I think that it's all awesome. I mean, we should be held accountable, and it's all that, and it's all that to be so complacent. And I think that we started, I actually realized in the form of it, and what's really bad. We'll just continue right now, where we're at right now, and that's really right now we're in a where we are. And it's sort of, and it gives us intention. We are in a situation that, 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 that volatile. And, and it's, in, in it, yes, it's a scary situation. It's real, it's real scary, and it's a really emotional. But, uh, this is done intentionally, and, and, and even, even the easiest thing is to look what they're doing in the corporate, with the children, you the children off the family. You know, we don't own children anymore. I mean, this is done in the court by the of the Shaper. But these things have been systematically done intentionally so we can fight against each other. And we can't fight each other. We have to think of the people. And one of the things that I, I really respect in this and acknowledge is how you, how you should put and the way you actually get pulled out and you, in the way you're saying we should come all as one. And we need definitely, you know, because the voice, you know, we got to see that and there is one voice. The more, the more we stand together, the, the more the chance we have to And there's also the science, and I don't even know if anybody's ever heard of her actual study. With respect to what she will have said, they just came out on Fox News a couple of days in, in, in respect to the new military equipment that's coming out. And this is nothing, you know, they want Fox News. And they ran for like a day, a day and a half. And then they just stopped running. And what she, what the lady said probably about an hour and a half, she's correct. The United States military has a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of firepower that we have not actually taken the time to study. And the very few that have studied it, you know, the majority of the individuals think that we're just crazy. And we say, well, quick link. I mean, this is top three studies. And we, we don't. We just don't acknowledge half this stuff because we're always busy in there, you know, that are entertaining. It's just a stand shame that, 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 that we're going to fall because we're complacent. And that's, I mean, I mean, this battle started from 1961, from the Civil War, up all the way to the other. So I just want to even be a link and start looking at the families that are behind all this. The rocks are, the rocks are, the very sick of the dirt souls, the bushes. The, I mean, Obama was took this up to the puppet. This, this is not Obama, this is like the people behind the massacre. And look at the people that are, great, that, that are moving the agenda, and the executive, and the people behind the executive orders. The people behind the United Nations, the people behind the United Nations. I mean, I mean, for God's sake, Taliban. Taliban is so used to the technology to Iran. They, they changed the got away with it, did you keep? Excuse me? And got away with it. Yes. I mean, this is the thing that we should learn in the American people. Okay? People understand that, that they changed two Taliban to nuclear technology and materials to Iran. 
What the hell are we doing that to our enemy? We just, I mean, I thought they traveled with our enemy. Why are we doing that? Why is Ben Gabi? What's Ben Gabi? We've been telling you. All right, man, I'm going to try to keep this on top of you. We just covered a lot of subjects. Um, I have no problem letting anybody speak their mind, man. You sound like an awesome guy. You're very well educated. And uh, do you want me to ask you how old are you, bro? I'm 39. I'm 39 years old. Um, oh, we're the so, same age, man. Yeah, please. I'm from Florida, and also that gentleman from Alaska, the top spot. I was in Alaska, yeah. three and a half. I was there during that trial, and I know, and I know. And uh, unfortunately, after this uh, trial was set up, there's uh, it was in the kangaroo court. Everybody in Alaska knows that it was a kangaroo court. And, uh, and are, you, are you talking about uh, Mr. Cox? Correct. And we know that, and, and we know, I was an anchor from time when this was going on. And he used to use kangaroo. It was a fraud. It was a fraudulent court, and everybody knows it. The people within Alaska are legislators, are congressmen, are senators, they sold the out. And so people start realizing that they sold us out. And they continue to sell us out and they continue to and that's again, I can't like Harry Reid. Mm-hmm. For God, for God's sake, why is this guy from, from Nevada being going back and being reelected? I mean, right. I mean these are my copies from Alaska. I mean, for God's sake, Don Young from Alaska. I mean, we keep, it doesn't matter if it's Republican or Democrat. We've been sold out. We, as a, we as a people, are sold out. We are sheep. They sold us out. They sold our property out. We don't own anything. We don't own our vehicles. We do not own our property. Our, our soul will change within six months. We're going to realize how people are going to go crazy because they're going to realize how, how they're going to steal the soul will change. All right, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to wrap this up. I've got three people. In line. Uh, before, we, before, you, before you do that, anybody wants to chime in next, press uh, star six and you'll be able to be the next in line. Actually, yeah, two more people that you'll be third in line. If you want to chime in right now, star six, go ahead. With you. In, uh, in conclusion, we definitely have to stay with the buttons. We have to stay off with the, with the, with the ranches in Texas. We already saw what happened in Colorado with the horses. We have to stick with the buddy, and this is a fight. We cannot, we cannot sit back and make fun. We, as a society, we, the people of the United States of America, under the Constitution, by our 4,776, we have to fight. Anyway, God bless America, God bless our Constitution and the struggle. And I uh, wish everybody the best of luck. Yeah, you're an awesome guy, man. Thanks for chiming in. I appreciate everything you just said. It was a lot. Uh, you sound very well educated and, and uh, articulate, man. I appreciate you chiming in. No problem. You take care. Thanks. You should be a public speaker someday, okay? Go for that. I'll be you need to be a politician, I think. But. Just open up a YouTube channel. Yeah. That's public speaking. Anonymous caller. Anonymous caller. Yes, this is anonymous. Just kidding. Just me. Anonymous caller. There you are. Go ahead. I heard you laughing. We're in. Uh, no, this that that was a uh, two two four three laughing. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you like my uh, anonymous impression? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. All right, man. Um, looks like they're not chiming in. Anonymous, I'm gonna give you one more shot. You're still in the queue. Think up or forever hold your peace. You lost your chance. Three, two, going once. Wireless caller six seven eleven. What's going on? Uh, yes. This is Janice Williams. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Janice. How are you? Hey, uh, I'm calling from North Alabama, and I'd like to simplify things and make a statement. This is okay. all about, listen, the globalists want to destroy our constitutional republic, and they want to create a world government, and they're running out of patience, and they want it now. They, they want to destroy our sovereignty. Look, I'm 65 years old. I've studied about this global movement for almost 30 years. I, I don't know everything about it. But Agenda 21, we have got to stand up. We have got to, to educate people to what's going on with Agenda 21, all of these things. Because I believe that they plan to take us over, that they plan to actually, you know, try to take us over physically or, you know, cause a confrontation like at the Bundy Ranch. You know, and I'm just so thankful that the militias and the protesters were peaceful and that nobody fired a shot at them. 
But if they fire a shot at us, then the war is on. I'm, I love the Constitution. I love to be free. And I'll tell you, these globalists, these people are insane. That's what they are. And the, the problem is they've got these, their men in the state government, the people they're buying off. You know, like these people in Nevada, you know, that they're buying off. That's the problem. And, you know, Terry Reid and, and most, I think most of the people in Congress have been bought off by these globalists. These international bankers and these big corporations like Monsanto and Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan Chase, they run our government. And it's time that the American people stand up and they, they say, no more, we will take no more. And I hope that we will never have to have a physical confrontation with them. But here's the thing. They're not going to back down. They are not going to give up. They want their new world order, and they want it now. And we've got to stop them. Um, we've got what we need to do is to keep our cool, to use our brains, and try to wake as many of the military and police up as we can. And I believe a lot of the military are waking up. And hopefully a lot of the police. This is serious. This is their... This is for our very lives. Because if you read the globalist writings, like I have, they plan to get rid of most of most humans on the earth. They plan to eliminate most humans. They write about it like it's nothing, you know, just to kill a bunch of people. And you know, the tyrants in the past have done that. What, 265 million? What, in like the last century? Not in, not in wars, but the people. They have slaughtered the people in China and the Nazis and the, and the, and the Soviet Union. Now, we've got to wake up. We've got to wake these people up. That is our mission, <laughs> to wake Americans up before it's too late. And I'd love, to have, a rest of, I'd love to have a show of my own. <laughs> I'd love yeah. to work. Oh, yeah, that's what I'd like to do. <laughs> Starting no, in the end, you're getting emotional, man. I, I don't blame you at all. It's just been an awful situation for everybody, and uh, we all we all want people re resolution. We, don't, we want you know life to continue in some ways the way it is, but we need definitely some things to change for the better uh, in the favor of the American people. And uh, well, you know, hopefully, I'm for hopefully, peaceful change. You know, I, I, like I said, I don't want a war, but it looks like they're just they're just trying to cause. Uh, you know, to come against them physically. But hey, the militias are smart. Hey, they're smarter than the globalists. See, here, let me tell you the weaknesses of the globalists. The globalists, I don't care how, if they're Ivy Leaguers, they have no common sense. And they lack patience. Those, they play their hand too quickly. They're and arrogant. That, those are their weaknesses, so remember that. But let me tell you what. If, if this continues, see, tyranny is not going to stop. See, tyranny grows. Unless it's, unless it's uh, put down, it grows. And let me tell you what, liberty is worth fighting for. Right now we're fighting in the info war. We're getting the information out. But if we have to fight physically, if they come against us physically, they've had it. Hey, there are hunters in Alabama, hunters all over the country. Hey, you know hunters are really snipers, you know? And we don't want a physical war, but if it comes down to it, we're going to take our country back one way or the other. Let me put it that way. Hey, I'm serious about this. I want to be free. And uh, I write on Facebook, Janice Williams, if anybody wants to look for me. J A N O C E Williams. Thanks for saying that. Uh... I'm serious about this. Look, it's coming to a head. I've watched it for almost 30 years. It's coming to a head. We will either choose liberty or tyranny. Ma'am, where'd you go? Hello? Not good. Uh, Tom, you just chimed in. Sorry, I think you cut you out of line. What, what were you saying, sir? Tom's alone, are you on? I'm going to try to keep you in the queue, buddy. Uh, wireless caller, 3813. What? Yeah, you're on, buddy. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, I'm uh, I'm from Arizona. My name's Nick. Uh, I've been kind of following the story on and off. 
And uh, I got to completely agree with what the uh, last woman said with her statements. You know, it's either going to end up being tyranny or freedom. And I, for one, am not going to just let our government do this because it's against all of our constitutional rights. There's, there's a reason why it was set up, and there's a reason why it's supposed to be enforced, but it seems like a lot throughout the years that it hasn't. But I, uh, I completely agree with what the uh, previous uh, woman has said, um, and I completely agree. And one of, the, one of the things I wanted to ask is, where do you draw the line in the sand and say, this isn't right, this isn't, this isn't, you know, the way of our life? You know what I'm saying? Oh, great. Confucius say, I don't know, man, I don't have much answers. Um, I mean, I, I mean, in the aspect did, of, you know? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to tell you off, but what I mean is, right. like, in the aspect of, when, when we say enough is enough, you know, we've been pushed to the ground numerous times, you know, somewhat kind of gotten back up and just brushed it off our shoulders like it never happened. Yeah, really, it is a serious question. You're right. I mean, where do you draw the line? When you finally, you know, stand up, you know, at and, point, and many people are trying to do that, but we need to do that to a practical degree to where you're not really uh, stirring the pot, you know. Um, there's plenty of rocks we can do it. We just need to get more people on the same page so that more people are affecting change you know, for the better in the best interest of the American people. We know, just like she said, there's many tyrants amongst us and there's many infiltrators amongst us not working for our best interest in one. You know, the last few callers have mentioned that. And, uh, you know, that's really who we have to be left on. We need to call upon the sheepdog of this nation and uh, we need to you know, have them keep an extra eye out. And sooner or later, we need to find a way to get these people out of office. Uh, you know, I'm all for putting the liens on the bonds. If you're doing something illegal, they don't belong where they are. That's one of the quickest ways to shut them up. And uh, you, need, you need to file that, you know, in the county courthouses and bring that to court. That's the viable way to do things. You know, a, lot of people, a lot of people know about that, but if they look into it, 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 it is working in many places. Um, you know, besides that, you know, going to, resorting to violence should be the last defense. That, that's Correct. How I, I, I completely it. agree. You know, and other people are like, no, be proactive, but then you're right. If it, you know, first they poke a the finger, then they may be in the ribs. You know, then they, uh, you know, punch you up. Your conference you know, recording has stopped. You still there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hold on, guys. You got to reopen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can hear me. Yeah, yeah I can hear me. The conference wall is open. Uh, uh, this this is Tom's wall. I'm just trying to get a hold of you for the last hour and a half. Or I don't know what in the hell is wrong with the, my phone or if it's on the end. But I've been checked. Every single time I signed in, I was sitting there screaming on my phone, trying to get a hold of you. That's weird, man. I kept bringing you in the phone multiple times, but uh, to no to no avail. All right. Well, anyway, I, I got a hold of California too. Uh, he said he was. This conference is being recorded. He said he was uh, mobilizing soon, and uh, he was. Uh, it's probably not related, but there was uh, aircraft moving from into the northeast of his location. So, there's my song. Hello. Yes. Yes. Chris. I hear you. Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, I apologize, man. My phone just died out. Time's going to tell me to still there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still. Can you, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I have to move out a couple of people. Uh, so I don't know what to do. Go ahead, man. I'm sorry. I got cut loose. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was in contact with California, too, about an hour and a half ago. Uh, 
one thing he said is that he there was aircraft movement in the northeast, but that's probably not related. Uh, he also said he was getting ready to mobilize uh, either tonight or tomorrow, and that he'd be posted up any more information after that. But I don't know if there's technical difficulties going on on your end of the web, but I've been having troubles with that all day. Uh, I've been trying to talk, and my, I guess my phone is coming through. I'm trying to keep you chimed in on this call. As of, as of right now, I'm keeping you as an active speaker. You know, keep keeping us posted. Uh, I just needed somebody out, and I apologize. I'll meet you back in. Uh, Why this call? Uh, call 3813. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh, no, you're perfectly fine. Um, you know, any information that we can get, you know, on the spot, I don't mind at all being muted. Um, but as far as in regards to our sovereignty as we, the people of the United States, there has to be a point where we do have to stand up to the acts that are being presented towards us, especially right now. Um, you know, the way that I'm thinking it is that this is just a test. You know, the real thing is has yet to come. And I hope that everyone will be prepared for that because it's not going to be anything pretty. It's going to be nonetheless, you know, going dating back to our, our civil war. And as unfortunate as it sounds, in some cases, that could be the only way. But you have to really ask yourself, if this were to create that reenacting of it, the military would have to ask themselves this. And all the soldiers under the command of the generals, you know, whoever, am I going to fight under this crowd of people that can potentially be my family member? And that's where I believe that it's going to be no. So that's all I have really to say. Um, thank you for, you know, chiming me in. Appreciate it. I'm going to try and uh, follow this as much as I can. Um, a buddy of mine, uh, we want to really get out there to you know, Nevada and you know show our support and help in any way we can. Although work, you know, kind of gets in the way of that. We understand. Uh, I think there's enough people out, out there that have made a difference, and uh, there are still people headed out there. So, you know, if anybody's headed out that way, yeah, supplies are most likely needed. I would recommend water, and then bring extra water, and then bring more water. Um, it's going to be warm out there tomorrow, if, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I appreciate you chiming in. If anybody else wants to chime in, uh, we got one more, people, uh, one more person in the queue, and we could use a few more. Do you have anything else you want to end off with, brother? Uh, no, thank you very much for putting me through, though. I appreciate it. Sure. Hey, uh, one last question. Is this better than Alex Jones? Um, I have to say, yeah. He's uh, pretty sporadic on a lot of the things that he says. Um, you know, although I do listen to uh, excuse me, I do listen to him uh, not as frequently as probably others, but from what I've seen, this is way better. Awesome. Yeah, I, I'm not really trying to put uh, Alex Jones down. Uh, Alex actually was partially responsible for me in my early stages of uh, you know waking up. He does bring a lot of um, uh, bring a lot of things to light and brings a lot of things out in the open forum, but. Uh, you know, some things are really based on conjecture. I, I think it gets a little too emotional to start rallying up the people. That, you know, you've got it takes one wound that man, and he's definitely, uh, you know, the match head. And uh, he, he, you know, I, I like how he's brought a lot of people to their, you know, the awakening position. But I, I just feel that after a while, it's, uh, even though he can use them occasionally as a resource, that people usually develop and turn into their own researchers. Hopefully, if they're still moving, you know, forward in their uh, you know, it, it, as far as waking up, as they move deeper down the rabbit hole, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do agree. Um, one thing I also wanted to add in is I think that it's quite funny how you're not hearing any sort of uh, news reports about any local militias or, you know, throughout the states being at the Bundy Ranch. I, I think it's kind of odd how they're kind of shadowing over that and not reporting that. Uh, you know, some, you're right, mainstream hasn't done too much. Or what we hear, uh, Hannity was live and then Fox reported and a couple other things chimed in, like, oh, they're having fun down there at the, uh, the Pony Ranch in Nevada, or whatever, you know, they're saying on the news. I don't watch TV, so, um, but I, I know there's only a little bits and pieces in other states. Uh, but yeah, not much at all. So if anybody does get any clips from the media, uh, definitely hashtag them to uh, hashtag Oath Before Orders. 
Um, they're using on Twitter right now to try to link anything regarding this subject that's factual, confirmable information, like uh, boots on the ground, pictures and video, things like that. Um, but yeah, hashtag oath before orders has been going out, and uh, we're going to be using that throughout. At least I know I'll be using that. Uh, some of the administrators chimed in that one uh, a couple of different oh, sites. Yeah. So oh, I'm not chiming in. Yeah. I've got yeah, yeah. Uh, comes one. Go ahead. Uh -oh. Yeah, um, we need to set up a second line of communication because I don't know when my uh, mic is, or I don't know when my uh, communication is going to cut out on the phone again. And uh, South Point Two did say that he was waiting on uh, areas to go to. He said he was uh, going in there as a punishment. So, what areas would you uh, recommend for that, or just go up to the ranch as of now? Uh, I would like someone to go to ground zero, you know, tell them to come in, not hot and heavy, as you know. Um, he's just a peaceful protester that showed up, heard there was a call for action, and, and here he is. You know. well, he doesn't come in like a hothead, bring some extra supplies. I'm sure he'll be welcome uh, for the most part, uh, hopefully the sheriff boys. I, I was told that, the, you know, the stadies were, um, they, they weren't really stopping people. They were there as more of a security. Um, but that was the last uh, notation that I got. Uh, uh, all of us, huh? and definitely tell him to chime in uh, when he has boots on the ground. I, you know, although he's going to come through you probably up front, you know, make sure he gets in on the call so we can get live report. Okay. All right. Thanks, bro. I'm going to keep you in the comms line. Uh, oh, six three, you're on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the guy that was talking before, uh, no, when enough is enough. Hey, bro, if, uh, if, you could, if, if you could put me just back up from the phone a little bit, you're redlining quite a bit. Um, you're at about right. 15, and we need you at a 10, and I'm totally cool. Keep going, bro. Better? Yeah, way better. Basically, you know, when enough is enough is when you just can't take it no more. You know, you're tired of the tyranny. You're tired of the police state that we're in, the militarized police state. You know, and you just can't take it no more, and you know it's time to stand up and fight. You know, I hate to say that because, you know, I I honestly would prefer a peaceful revolution, but if they make a peaceful revolution impossible, uh, a violent revolution is inevitable. So, uh, that means I had a question for you. Uh, I'm in Southern Illinois. I know you were Sons of Liberty. Uh, I was wondering if you had a battalion in Southern Illinois. Um, I'm, I'm aware of a variety of groups in Illinois. I specifically have, uh, you know, stuck with this group specifically throughout since I woke up, pretty much. And uh, you know, they've done really well as far as you know. I'm in the northern western region. Um, as far as your county at our website, you know, they've got everything delegated down into different battalions by county. And then uh, if there's a chain of command set up, they get in touch with you. Um, I would highly recommend just jump to the site, you know, fill out the team designation form if you're looking forward to it. Usually they'll contact you within a few weeks at the most. And then, uh, you know, take it from there. I always suggest going to the meet and greets, you know, make sure everybody in your area is cool. I can speak for my area for the most part. Uh, met a lot of cool people. We've had a couple of groups come across and we don't let them you know, get very far in any group. You know, come off as a sound-minded average citizen that's just trying to do the right thing. Um, you know, you're more than welcome to come through. Uh, we don't turn anybody around as long as you're not, uh, you know, a, a kid toucher, a murderer, a burglar, a crackhead, or you know, anything like that. No, 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 no. Uh, other than that, all races, creeds, kinds are welcome, and we actually uh, totally uh, are trying to reach out to different ethnicities and backgrounds. As long as you're American, you're already in. You know what I'm saying? You, you're a, you're, you're yeah. part of militia. If you look at Article 12 of the uh, Illinois State Constitution, as soon as you turn it into an adult, you were pretty much uh, militia men. And uh, it's just up to you to kind of join hands with other like minded individuals that uh, are concerned. And uh, well, what's, you know, they're what's the website? Uh, IllinoisSonsOfLiberty.com will take you to a sub site that they just set up. Uh, you can link in right through Facebook, actually, so you get live feeds uh, if need be. We're not trying to be, you know, doing anything in the park. We're, we're as transparent as possible. It's a bunch of everyday Joes. We've got a variety of different branches. Uh, some active duty do chime in. Some um, veterans, you know, are definitely on board. I think we run about a 70% uh, veteran ratio.
ratio right now. Uh, you know, and uh, all I've met is just, you know, good guys that love their country that are just trying to do the right thing. I don't really care much else as long as, you know, if I'm in the bunker with you and you've got my back, that's what it comes down to. Um, but we don't want that to happen, but we're training for defensive, you know, positions. Um, you know, our, our job is to uh, you know, prevent uh, any sort of uh, infiltration to our state. If the governor were to call on us, we've got a large amount of men, most of them very well trained, that are willing to stand up. Um, if, you know, if need be, you know, repel insurrection, uh, prevent invasion as far as, you know, repelling insurrection. That means the people, if the people go banana shits and, uh, you know, start rioting. Obviously, we don't want that to happen. You know, uh, apparently, you know, the National Guard would probably take over on that. But if it was any sort of invasion, just like any other militia, they should support their local sheriffs right away and, you know, get themselves deputized if, if possible and, and move that route if the governor is not willing to get on board. So, uh, you know, that's kind of what I've worked on. Um, luckily, my uh, county sheriff for the page is uh, on board with the Oath Keepers. Um, and, you know, hopefully uh, those guys stick to the uh, constitutional oath that they gave, and uh, hopefully uh, our divisions are uh, on call in case whoever needed, they know uh, we've offered. You know, a lot of locals now know who we are, and uh, as far as law enforcement, and they're, you know, as long as we're not doing anything illegal, uh, all we're really doing is trying to volunteer to help out and make sure uh, people don't get hurt. And, and if, if people need to get hurt, um, you're most likely to learn who's on this thing. Yeah, I hear you. All right. That's about it. Thank you. Yep, 10 4, good buddy. I uh, got four people in the queue. 4704, oh, you're up. Hey, I was just curious, brother. Glad to see you back, Rick. And uh, is uh, anybody on the boots on the ground to confirm what's going on in this deep? Mesquite, tell me a little bit more about what you know about Mesquite. Um, supposedly that's where the Fed went to re re themselves and the law enforcement did. Um, We did have a person that was boots on the ground that did call him, excuse me, call him earlier to say that. But we also have reports that it's pretty calm there. Um, that's just coming from the people uh, at the ranch, apparently, uh, specifically the, uh, the man that owns the land. Um, so he's saying it's calm. Got other people that you know are saying there's still many people headed there. Apparently, National Guard is in, in the distant area, uh, approximately 10 miles away. But as of now, you know they're not doing anything. They're staying down, most likely on standby. And uh, the sheriffs and uh, Cities are uh, actually in control of the area right now. But uh, it doesn't seem like there's any problems. At least we've got Americans looking out for Americans. That's the thing that I was concerned about. There was a report that uh, some of these uh, you know, land management fellows, you know, and, and again, I, I got nothing against the Middle Eastern, but the person that did call and said that, you know, there's a high average of Middle Eastern descent with people born, you know, maybe also Russian, um, that just look, you know, like. I have a lot of just, but yeah, I understand. <laughs> just didn't, didn't belong there, man. And, uh, you know, I, I, again, I, I've got plenty of friends of all kinds of ethnicity, so I'm not trying to pick on anybody. This is just secondary information. And uh, what, what offended him the most was instead of the name being, you know, Mukatella Hasmatim, obviously that's a big name tag. They just gave him Johnson. So, you know, it just made him suspicious to him. Um, someone who was obviously foreign, not speaking back, that, you know, said Johnson on there. He's like, obviously, uh, you know, they didn't even have time to get these guys dressed up and, and make real name tags for these guys. Um, right. Which, which led to more suspicions that they were probably contracted out. Um, you know, they needed more boots on the ground. Well, let's hire somebody. What are we going to hire? That's going to help the American people in confiscate land, you know, which, which it should have been, uh, if anything, more of a sheriff, statey. Uh, they should have went in first, probably, just to kind of assess the situation. But instead, you know, BLM showed a lot of uh, a lot of like that and stuff. Oh yeah, and uh, you know, they were definitely acting out of pocket. So you know, if there was a call for help, and uh, some, some other Americans showed up, and it kind of turned into a militia thing. You know, his sons uh, reached out to the militias, and this is what, this is what has happened. And uh, obviously, uh, we're all through America. I don't get it. Yeah, you know, a couple people wanted to escalate, you know, uh, it seems like the overall consensus, which makes sense, you know, just not right now. This is not the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, no, I have a feeling this is just for further, for future attacks from the government. 
yeah, I have said that in a couple other segments that this does very much feel like it's kind of a test. I don't think they intended for that to happen, but now that you've got, you know, so many different state like groups involved, it probably, you know, as far as I know, man, to be perfectly honest, in some way, shape, or form, I'm sure there's some legalities and some bureaucratic locations somewhere that would say malicious crossing state lines it was actually a problem. So what I'm trying to tell people is if you're coming in as a peaceful protester, put your peaceful protesters hat on. Don't actually come on to your I'm from the militia, blah, 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 blah. So what exactly? If you're in the matter right now, if you're just a peaceful protester. I happen to have, you know, militias in the trunk, but I'm spilling them legally, you know, with legal caliber, et cetera, et cetera. Then you're just, you know, a citizen who's authorized to the, you know, although I understand, yes, we have the Second Amendment, everybody's authorized, but they're still going to pick on you if you're not properly, uh, you know, carrying your credentials, uh, right to carry, stuff like that. And if you're from Chicago and you're a felon, I don't recommend you drive on down there because they're going to do that background check and boom, you're from felon. What do you do? You're a felon from Chicago. What do you do with the gun? You're talking to that kid bye bye birdie, you know. Who knows who they're sending to Quantico? I'm not, I don't want to, you know, act like that's really happening, but, you know, we, we definitely need some more reports. If anybody knows anybody's been arrested, things of that nature, we need them to try to chime in. We've got uh, 60 people on the call. Our peak was uh, 400 something at one time yesterday, or actually this morning. Yeah, yeah yesterday morning. And we had 20, we were even at 2,600 independent, uh, 2,600 independent members come in uh, yesterday morning. I don't have the records for today yet. All right, brother, I'll let you get on to the next call. Thank you. All right, 10-4, thanks for chiming in. Anybody else of the 60 some odd colleagues that are in here? Anybody else wants to chime in? Just press star six, and I'll get you in the queue. Um, Tom's one, are you unmuted? Uh, Tom's one here, can you read me? Yeah, yeah, so uh, I assume uh, the let me get the, uh, let me get the address of the Rose Hotel. The address of? The address of the, uh, or the address of the both of those hotels where uh, they reported to be staying at. Uh, if there was a guy that did talk to from the ground, they were uh, surveying the area locally, um, you know, looking at certain parameters and just going driving around the distance, you know, making sure uh, there wasn't a lot of uh, traffic in the military and uh, I can't actually specify. If you're still on the call, the gentleman that talked to the boots on the ground that was doing some info, uh, locally, you know, get back on the line. I've got six people in the queue right now. I'm going to keep you on, Tom's one. Uh, if anybody reports that, can you meet yourself out right now and then uh, we'll see if anybody else chimes in. Well, here the Hayes group says that, or he says that he's still trying to boots on the ground. Um, if they need it, they won't worry. The hotel is a big area to surveil and uh, make sure. Keep an eye on who's going in, who's coming out of those areas as well. So. No, I, I, uh, I hope the next, that person actually does chime back in and give us a definite uh, location um, on where they were. Uh, I recall 10 miles away, but I'm not positive in that direction. And, um, you mentioned a hotel, so if anybody could, uh, you know, use the same term that they use at my work, which is GTS, which is Google that shit. Um, I'll take Google that shit. All right, uh, 4704, you all good? 4704, uh, I had you in the queue, but I'm going to meet you up. All right. Um, that working. Anyways, all right, next question, 3243. 3243, I think you're in the queue. Speak up or forever hold the peace. All right, 707, you're in the queue. Hey, Brian, going on. Yeah. You're uh, from Alabama, huh? No, no, why? Uh, no, I'm not, actually. Uh, I spent some time around Talladega National Forest for a while, about a few years back, but uh, no, I never actually uh, was a resident. Oh, okay. I thought you said earlier you were from Alabama. Um, I'm looking um, for people to meet up and organize with here in Alabama. Uh, 
Oh, I apologize. I, sometimes I wish I was in and in uh, Serena up there. Uh, I'm like where I'm at up in uh, the suburbs of Illinois. It's the only uh, state that illegalized Agenda 21, so. They, um, but yeah, Talladega National Forest is a, a huge favorite of mine. All right, well, I want to read something that was sent to me. Go ahead. See if I can find it real quick because I'm burying it on Facebook. <clears throat> Let's see. I got uh, three people in the queue, 67, 11, and 3933. I'll be right with you with this man. All right. I was told to make it viral, and this is what it says. At 1750 hours Eastern, Eastern time, I was contacted by my source. In there, John Source Matt. within the Department of Homeland Security <laughs> regarding the current situation at the Bundy Ranch. To put it bluntly, the people are being hoodwinked into believing that the situation is being resolved. It is not. It is a strategic de-escalation to fool the public. This source stated that the retreat of the BLM agents and the release of the cattle was actually crafted as a potential plan yesterday, Friday, 11 April 2014, based on the following. One, a military assessment of satellite and drone surveillance, imagery of the Patriot resistance, Drones under the control of the U.S. military were in use, taking real-time photographic images of not just the activity at the ranch, but identifying the protesters and any arms, any supplies they might have or be carrying. Mission accomplished. Two, real-time communication intercepts between Patriots on-site and their off-site support. Three, active monitoring of Internet traffic regarding the coverage of events at ranch. Four, the monitoring of real-time video from the scene. This source stated that a response by the Patriot movement was anticipated, although exceeded their expectations. Let me scroll a second here. Although this was a real operation, they also ran this as a test case for future government operations once they saw the response. They were also actively managing the media, in some cases is threatening to cut off White House access to anyone covering the event. Despite this, the coverage by the alternative media began to create a public relations problem that was not easily managed. Note the lack of acknowledgement by the White House regarding this event. They are intentionally framing it as a, as a state issue, despite the fact that all federal response has been and continues to be from the White House. There is a reason for this, a reason that has not been identified in any of the public reports to date. I will explain in further details in a follow-up report on Sunday. Let's see where it was. After, the, after this source attends redacted to obtain more specific information about future federal operations. Regardless, according to this source, government will take back their land as they must to fulfill international obligations. It was never about grazing rights or anything other than, one, securing clear title to the land, and two, further demonizing any patriotic resistance. It is in my understanding, based on the information from this source, that it is a critical task to create a situation that will also advance their agenda of gun control and confiscation. A more detailed report will follow on Sunday, 13 April 2014, with additional and much more specific information about their inside plans and future operations. Please make this viral. Yeah, uh, obviously you're probably on Facebook as well. Yes, I am. If you give me a flavor, then I don't know if we've connected yet, but uh, if you go ahead and find me up there, some more sickles that you have to reposted. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Brian with a Y. We are Y A N, and then if we type in space, and then all one word, three to people. It should pop up. Duzak. Yeah, it's a rough one. I don't know. It's been a curse since kindergarten. Like that. I mean, I'm from Chicago, so I get it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll send you a friend request. Yep, it might come up as a follow only. I'm going to be going back through my follows right now. Uh, Unable to send a friend request. This person has reached the friend request limit. Right, right. Yeah, that just happened. Uh, but, uh, I'll message you. 
Does it allow you to follow too as well? Yeah, I'm, I'm following you now. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to go through my follows and I'm going to delete some people and as many of the people that have added me over the last few days and uh, just kind of recycle out the group of people. Okay. I'm going to message you this. And then I can't send you a friend request. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you me also with a message. Something else. Hopefully I can do this. Let's see. You know what? If you want to, go ahead and move on to the next caller. And I'll go ahead and take care of this. And I'll also send you the link to my page so you can friend request me. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, again, I'm going to have to cycle through a lot of people and then I'll go ahead and get you from it. All right, sounds good. Thank you for signing the book. Sounds good. All right. Not yet. Yeah, comes in. Is that you? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he said he had a pair of boots on the ground. I went ahead, I uh, found those out there. He's going ahead and pulled through. Uh, I'm waiting on his email back. I also already notified him that uh, the police over there comment on this line to be uh, Dave Rose and Christian Williams. I appreciate that. You definitely could uh, use that hashtag. Uh, look for full orders if you've got any uh, live footage, actual pictures, timestamps, it's great. Things of that nature it really helps out. Um, also, on top of that, I've got uh, three more people in the queue. I'm going to keep doing the queue counts. Keep chiming in whenever uh, you've got some more Facebook. Okay. Thanks, Chris. We're on. Uh, all right. Somebody else just chime in? Comms? Yeah, all right, who's that speaking right now? Sorry, I, I had uh, this is well. 007. Oh, hey, 007. Anything else you wanted to uh, say? Well, I've got you in the queue. I, I cannot use the control panel. So, I got you on. I might as well uh, take advantage. No, of I sent you the link for my Facebook page. Um, I run a 70 group network of Liberty groups on Facebook that I created. So I I get everything. I get everything. I'm an admin in all 70 groups, and it probably totals 25, 30,000 people. And then I'm connected to tons of other Liberty groups. Know all the admins in other networks. So uh, we're definitely connected. I appreciate that message. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ron Paul. Ron Paul helped me build it. I, 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 like literacy, or that's what motivated you? That's what motivated me. He should okay. be our president. Uh, he definitely was the people's choice. Um, it, it's sad how things turned out, I'll be honest. But he'd be on a completely different path right now had he been elected. And, uh, you know, guys like many of the people that have tried in and some of the gals, too, um, I definitely think that he would have, you know, allowed constitutionalists such as us to move forward. You know, in politics as well, and uh, we'd be on a completely different stream in my eye. We've got a right, well, caller. What I would like to do is invite anybody to join. It's our largest group. It's called Making Friends Through Liberty. 
and I'm inviting anybody to join the group. So, I uh, I'm already chimed in with you, bro. If you want to go ahead and try to join it, I don't know if you're too loaded on groups, but you're definitely too loaded on friends. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get to that. I promise. I, I will here uh, after the call. I'm trying to delete people as we go, but uh, every time I actually remove a friend, it scrolls all the way back up to the top, and I have to scroll all the way back down through approximately 5,000 people to get to the ones that I don't really communicate with. As soon as I uh, remove them, it scrolls all the way back to the top, and I'm talking 25 scrolls. So. Um, I'll get to it as I can, man. I gotta kind of monitor the call though. So I'm gonna move on to the next guy, and I appreciate you chiming in. But right, you know, definitely uh, keep keep up the good work. Man. Yeah, I, I love patriots like you, man. You're with kindred spirits, and uh, you know, keep doing what you do. Peace. Wireless caller sixty-seven eleven. You're on one. Oh uh, yes, uh, just real quickly, this is Janet Williams, and I wonder if I could get a copy of that report. Is there any way that um, I know he says his group is what making friends with liberty. Correct. Um, I, I wonder if um, I would like to have a copy of that report as soon as I could. Is there any way? Well, I'll try to find um, it. But well, what I would probably recommend also as well, uh, if the playback number for this portion of the call is uh, 559-726-1399. But the audio one, key for this trans, yeah, 1399. So the and, first... Uh, Okay, one three nine nine. The first digits are the same. Correct. Five five nine. Okay, uh, seven two six. Okay, I just want to say one more thing. Okay, this is a hold great. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. On. I, obviously, the coffee is coursing through the this one. Uh, pound nine nine one four zero pound. Uh, is actually the audio key to uh, hear this this actual segment, which uh, how that works pound. is you know I we stop pound. yeah a pound, pound. nine. Nine one four zero pound. Nine one four zero. Okay, just real quickly, let me say this is a great show, and you're actually militia, right? Are you? Everybody is. Everybody, well, is. everybody is. By state law in well, Illinois, when you turn eighteen, you're automatically militia, well, and that just happened. Okay. To get in touch. Well, I love the I love the militia, and no, I I'm associated with the Alabama Constitutional Militia, and I'm trying to get this out. I'm posting this all over Facebook, you know, to get them to listen to this program. I think it's just a great program. Okay, thank you. No, no, that's awesome. Uh, just to give you some history, how, how long have you been on the call? Huh? Pardon? Because uh, uh, this actually started a, a couple of days ago. It was just a couple of guys got on the call that were concerned about what was going on, and we decided uh, to just go ahead and open it up and invite a whole bunch of people. And uh, obviously, you know, you, you found this online as well, so thanks for being a patron. Uh, thanks for chiming in. Yeah. I, I don't have a computer, but I'm... I found it on Facebook. I get on Facebook on my phone. Like I said, I write on Facebook, Janice Williams, J-A-N-I-C-E. And um, uh, it's so good because you've got militia, militia members calling in. You've got military. It, it's just different from the Alex Jones show. I like both shows. But it's just a different topic. See, we need the militia. This is good. You know, we can get together, you know, and, and, and talk about what's happening. And I think it's just great. Right. I started listening to that the first night. Oh yeah. So yeah. So I'll try. Um, I'll try to. You know, I'll try these numbers and I'll try to get in touch with his group because I'd like to. You know, post that on Facebook if it's okay. I'd have to ask him. But he he is posting it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's a couple live feeds of this as well. If you uh, had to get away from your phone uh, at some point, and anybody else who wants to watch it on YouTube. Uh, it's posted on my page right now. Uh, we're rebroadcasting it on YouTube, but uh, yeah, keep sharing it. You know, keep keep chiming in, and uh, you know, we appreciate when the gals get their, you know, get their time to get out of the whole the uh, feel that's going on right now, and kind of let the ladies chime in too to help. It's a very good program, and um, I, I believe we'll get our country back. We'll, we'll go back to the Constitution. Like I said, one way or another, um, I figured this was a test. They were testing us to see how much resistance they had. Mm -hmm. They locked their and they were a little bit surprised that they had that much, but actually they got more than that. All the people weren't there, so let's just keep on doing what we're doing, and, and let's let's hold on to our liberties and, and our, yeah, state like, uh, our to our country, uh, our national liberty, and we will not be a part of the new world order. Thank you. No, you're fine, man. Um, yeah, a lot of people were saying, you know, that nothing would escalate, and uh, 
basically both sides are back down, and as of right now, that's kind of what we think is happening. Although there are still some in the area, um, you know, we're just kind of hoping at this point more people kind of just go home in the Palmer. I'm sorry, Lancer ends up, you know, uh, getting some of his property and some of his uh, uh, things back, and uh, you know, worst case settle this in court. That's probably where it should have ended anyway. Um, you know, I obviously don't want nobody wants his land to be taken. We realize it's a lot more than cows, and we realize it's a lot more than tortoises. Um, you know, obviously, we can't make this all go away, but we need you know, some uh, constitutional people to kind of keep stepping in that actually have a thing uh, you know, to make sure stuff like this doesn't happen anymore. And uh, you know, it's great that the people lined up behind uh, behind these guys, but uh, you know, let's see where it goes from here. Hopefully, uh, it still doesn't escalate. That's what we need those boots on the ground. So, if anybody knows anybody who's out there. Gosh, give them these numbers and have them uh, chime in on the call, please. I'm going to go with the next caller, okay? Okay, thank you. Huh? Thanks for chiming in. Hey, uh, 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 are you go ahead, come contact with the drone? I'm sorry? Are you still in contact with the drone guy? Yeah. Uh, have you heard the word out of him? Yeah, I could get a little in arrow comms if he's taking care of that. Um, I don't have my burn away phone anymore. Um, I want to be able to text you his number. Um, I might have to drop from the call for a minute to do that. So, uh, is it uh, imperative? Hold on. Uh, um, the 602 number. She's one of them. Yeah, that was actually uh, Gadsden's Air Force. Gadsden Air Force. I'm right in touch with them right now. You want me to contact them or are you just going to use? Uh, if I had to burn away right now, I would, man, but I don't. Um, it is the burn away burned out. Come again. All right. 7357, you're on the call. I'm, I'm sorry. Hang on one second. Uh, 7357, hang on the line. Uh, comes in. Uh, again, I, uh, I don't have a burn away to be able to do that. I'd have to drop from the call in order to text you. Don't want to say it on the air real quick, but it was uh, the guys in the Air Force. If, if, uh, if we can still find them via the information that we gave out a couple times earlier, I'd, I'd appreciate that. Uh, I know they're findable uh, on Google as well. Uh, guys in the Air Force. Um, all right, 7357, you're back on. Hi, Brian. My name is Anna Lisa, and I just wanted to say hello. And um, our local militia here is monitoring, or taking turns monitoring the call. Um, just to keep abreast of the situation. So it's my turn, and I wanted to say you're doing a great job, and I'm enjoying the show greatly. You know, it's kind of funny, and I appreciate you chiming in. Um, this, this is not it actually even syndicated. This all just kind of uh, the mushrooms found it from a uh, simple conference call. Uh, I called my commander concerned, hey, you know, what's going on? Uh, we, we got to talking and we invited a couple other people to call and then uh, we released this on a couple of the uh, well-regulated sites and uh, everybody's been sharing it from there. So, you know, thanks for chiming in. That's, but, uh, that's I'm just awesome. a guy that, that's awesome. I'm just a guy that was on a conference call a couple of days ago and it's turned into this. Uh, I'm really excited. Resource. It's been a yeah. great resource for, for our, our Louisiana militia and as well as the Southern Coalition militia. So, thank you very much. Hey, well, it's glad for taking advantage of it. And it's cool how you guys are taking turns, jumping in, and uh, you know, keep, keep sending them here. And uh, hopefully, we can get some more boots on the ground in full. And, you know, you guys keep your eyes out, too. You know, all y'all that are out there, man. Um, you know, we've got many states that have come forward, many uh, Second Amendment type groups, all kinds of leaders from all kinds of different. Uh, underground media, um, other patriotic groups that have chimed in and say, hey, we're listening, we're going to be broadcasting. So all you guys, you know, there's more going on than just around here right now. And, and as we exactly. said uh, a couple of conversations ago, there's a good chance of a sleight of hand happening right now. We need to focus on exactly what's going on on TV. 
and the Indian Indian because so, our eyes are yeah. focused, uh, our eyes and ears are focused in Nevada, so it's, uh, it's a great time for our thing to go on elsewhere. Yeah, I'm sorry, what state do you represent right now exactly? North Carolina. Okay, and see, cool, I see the first chicken that's actually in the right from, uh, right from here, right? Um, all right, well, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, keep chiming in, let us know if anything's going on, and then see okay? Okay, thanks, Brian. Yeah, thanks. Uh, anybody else wants to jump in on the call? I've only got two spots that are full right now, and there's probably more behind them. So if anybody wants to press card six, the call will be able to get your call in the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, 5287, you're up. Hey, Brian. Um, I'm just sitting here going through all the different fine, um, Bundy Ranch uh, sites on Facebook, and this one was 52 minutes ago, and it says, just brought to our attention that a Nevadian was elected as BLM chief this week. This doesn't sit well with me something as, as it seems. And that is from Las Vegas CBS Local dot com. And let me get you his name. That really don't sit well with me either. Okay, so the guy that uh, has been running this whole show is pretty much as a new trying to do guys and we don't have any uh who is it? It says a natural resource manager who grew, grew up in Elko has been named director of the BLM. The U.S. Senate voted 71 to 28 on Tuesday to, to confirm the appointment of Neil Corns, K-O-R-N-Z-E. He was raised in the Elko and is former senior advisor to Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. He joined the BLM in 2011 and has been leading the agency as principal deputy director for the past year. And it says that they oversee 48 million acres in Nevada. Interesting. Uh, did you get a chance to uh, find me on Facebook while you've been listening? Oh, I, I offended you yesterday. I was in your request yesterday. Hey, can you uh, send me a link to what you're just reading? That'd be mighty advice to you. Definitely. Yeah, definitely uh, highlight the source. Comes one, go ahead. Oh, you said, uh, that's damn near half the state. What's that? Sorry, comes one, what was half the state? Oh, man, he cut out again. All right, honey, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next call. Definitely read on that article you just read. I definitely want to do some more reading. A lot of people are putting fingers at Harry Reid right now, and uh, I think we need to get down to the bottom of that. Well, especially for a Nevada native to be running this and nobody really know about it, it's kind of hard, man. Yeah, I think we all definitely need to know more about his intentions and who this guy, how he tied the head uh, to Reid, and uh, you know, try to figure out what's going on here behind the scenes that we're not off. Again, there's a sleight of hand. They're pointing us in one direction. We need to start looking in other areas, you know, to see what's missing here. Well, I'm going to send you that ring and see what I can dig up on this guy. Thank you very much, and uh, feel free to chime in. I'll be watching for your call today. Thank you, Brian, and God bless. Thank you. I'm sorry, 3243, you're up. Uh, this is uh, Kevin Middleton, uh, Tennessee Frontier. Uh, Full Monty. There we go. Uh, more stuff, sorry, U.S. Army. I just got to say, I've been uh, part of the movement for a long time, been with a while, and uh, you know, normally, whenever you have situations like this, or you try to coordinate anything, you've got too much of the alpha dog or alpha male, you know, big dog. I'm in charge. But over the past few nights, I have seen such honor among everybody to swallow their pride and come together. And even with hardly any news coverage, and um, you know, there's there's not been nobody step forward but we the people. There's not been no movie star come forward, no rock star, country singer, nobody came forward but we the people. We're the only ones making this stand, and that's how it's going to have to be for us to take the country back. It's up to us. We can't sit around and wait for a hero or rely on government, it's up to us to turn everything back the way it's supposed to be. And uh, I just got to say, y'all are doing a great job. And Tennessee, uh, for Tennessee, y'all got our support. And, uh, and we'll do what we can. I appreciate that. Uh, so when will you uh, actually 
Uh, went in in 91, uh, did eight years, came back out, went to National Guard, Tennessee. Uh, was that it? Found that in the early mid 40s? Yeah, I'm 41. Um, I appreciate you chiming in, man. I'm just kind of curious about you. It sounds like you've got a good head on your shoulders. Um, you know, hopefully, if you have any reach out there, uh, definitely let them know. Um, you know, uh, I hate to say special occasions. This, again, this isn't even a radio show, man. This is just a conference call that started, and uh, I kind of just been relaying and getting information and trying to, you know, network people together, and it's worked out really freaking well. So I'm just going to keep continuing to do it. Um, hell, if I could work it out that I'm getting paid for this, I do it all the time, to be honest. But, uh, you know, uh, you know, just keep chiming in, man. Uh, we're going to keep going live as long as I can. When I came uh, at 8 Central PM for the rest of uh, what's going on at the ranch, but uh, you know, future issues, we got to want to get it started up, and uh, most likely it'll be the same exact course that used to get in here just now. Okay. All right. Thanks for chiming in, brother. I've uh, got five people in the queue. Anybody else wants to chime in? It'll be about a 10 minute wait, 15 minute wait on some of you guys, but uh. Got some people that have been holding. I need to get to. anonymous caller. You're up. Hey, uh, just wondering here. We're local to Las Vegas. Uh, wondering what other, you know, kind of support you guys are going to need for the upcoming week. Um, kind of get whatever reports we can. Uh, I keep getting mixed reports that BLM uh, has left the area, but they're not not leaving altogether. Do you, you know, do you guys know what kind of support you're going to need here in the upcoming week? Uh, I, I really wish we knew, man. Uh, obviously, uh, waters going to be an issue, food may be an issue later on. Uh, a lot of key, people came up ready to camp out for three or four days, but uh, others brought extra supplies, so they should be very well located, but I, I'm sure supplies are being um, <clears throat> straight from boots on the ground. We did get a request for some sort of night vision. Um, anybody's got access to that, if there's any dealers or distributors in that vicinity, I highly recommend trying to contact them and let them know that you know, they send a salesman down there with, uh, with equipment. People will be definitely cutting checks to him right now. Um, oh. they, they've got any resources like that, they definitely could use them. They know they're being monitored, everybody's been behaving. Uh, as, as, far as, as, um, as far as obtaining night vision, we might be able to put that together. Do you know who to be passing that kind of equipment along to? Uh, yeah, actually, for sure, actually, not to fully say on the air. Uh, no, no, no problem at all. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll find somebody on the ground uh, in the upcoming week here. Uh, there's a gentleman by the name of Brian, and not me, there's another Brian that is a liaison for the, uh, for the ranchers to the militia. He's been uh, dedicated. He set up the chain of command. Um, they've got comms lines going down, down there, but uh, he has not chimed in very much at all, uh, at least in the last uh, 12, 13 hours. Okay. And, uh, but uh, we would definitely like him to. I don't know if he was on the call while he finally got some sleep, but... Uh, which is trying to get okay. people that are boots on the ground. Um, definitely, you know, water was on the list. Uh, I'm sure batteries are probably on the list once it gets dark. Everybody's got to, you know, keep seeing what they're doing for flashlights and things like that. Probably be uh, useful. Uh, Very good. And do, do, you, do you know uh, for the upcoming week, are they trying to to uh, to keep uh, further rifles from coming out? Are they still trying to limit it to handguns, or uh, you know, in terms of that kind of support for the boots on the ground? Uh, do, do you guys have any uh, instructions on that? Um, not necessarily. We, we heard of some complications may have been happening, so we're telling people just to kind of go in as uh, peaceful protesters as the ranch has requested. Um, and if they do have, you know, happen to have defensive firearms with them of the uh, legal caliber and they're uh, being transported, uh, you know, through the local laws, you know, from point A to point B as well. Um, but they should be okay. You know, if you're coming in hot and heavy, pull that rattle or in the EDUs with your AR 15 loaded in the back seat. And uh, your mom got working on it's probably going to give you a little bit of a hassle. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but certainly, uh, certainly there to try and hold the peace for you guys. Uh, the, the last yeah, question yeah. is: um, it looks like you're doing my knee at the knee. You said you're definitely within the area. What's your uh, point of distance between there and where you're at right now? And, uh, uh, it's going to be uh, about an hour out. Uh, we're coming from the Las Vegas Valley. Going to be bringing out a group um, probably on Monday. Um, you know, we're just trying to figure out, you know, nobody, uh, as far as militia and, and boots on the ground, nobody's pulling out anytime soon until we know BLM is cleared, right? Uh, there are people that plan on staying and we're trying to maybe, if anything, recycle more people there so that the ones that didn't intend on staying that long can go and, you know, the place is still secure. It's just, you know, we're trying to make sure uh, we're not sending any hotheads from the place, so to speak, and everybody keeps 
not as right. of not the team that moved it, except for that first initial uh, movement of BLM and uh, the protesters, and there's only maybe 40 protesters, 50 protesters. They got a little out of pocket, but uh, you know, there was a couple of uh, staging that we heard. Um, a couple of people got shot, but it was very obvious that those protesters um, you know, like maybe not protested appropriately before, but they were definitely agitating the DC, so to speak. Um, okay. You know, when, you, when you're kicking dirt at dogs, you know, uh, you know, you got your finger in the uh, in an officer's face, et cetera, et cetera. You know, things get a little tense, things get a little hot, and that, that was the outcome. Absolutely. Like the more militia, more militia type that have a cool head, that have training, that have the background showed up, um, it seems to actually cause the situation. We're trying to push for more media, more underground media, because if the regular media is not going there, I don't care. I, anybody with a camera is automatically kind of becomes a of our media in some way, shape, or form. Uh, we have to be on you, you, you need to get yourself a radio show, Mr. Brian, because you're the best source of information at the, the current time, so it's, it's certainly helpful. We appreciate you uh, continuing to do this. And, uh, you know, thanks for the, thanks for the uh, letting us know what you guys need. We'll, uh, we'll certainly bring whatever we can in the upcoming week. I'll let you get to other callers, Brian. I appreciate it. Hey, real quick, I, I don't do the uh, Twitter thing, but if you get any uh, boots on the ground information once you're down there, you're using hashtag oath before orders. Um, I don't know okay. if you know how to tweet or if you find anybody that does, but if you've got live uh, footage, Pictures with timestamps, you know, actual confirmed data. Call us in and let us know. You're uploading something to uh, have that post before orders. So that's what we're all watching. watching. I've got time for that right now. We'll, we'll do. We'll, we'll certainly uh, whatever information we can. We'll pass it on. Also from a uh, from a source I can't disclose uh, uh, within the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Uh, they they have been placed on standby. Uh, the the bundies have put enough pressure on them. They're there on behalf of. Uh, Clark County and not BLM. Uh, they've been put on standby to respond if uh, any further action continues. If, uh, you can get back to your resource. We've actually had uh, some active that called in and some retired that were still in contact with uh, you know, major generals and things like that. But uh, you know they're putting pressure on down just to stand the hell down. If if if, if these group balls back off, most likely these guys will back off. We just need to stop with the confrontation and they need to stop with. Uh, you know, any further yeah. encroachment on this property, that's all they want. Yeah, yeah that's, what we're you know, that's, certainly, that's certainly what we need to, to get the results to. I appreciate you doing this. <laughs> all right, thanks, brother. Uh, time in any time, okay? Will do. Thank you, sir. You bet. Uh, 6711, you're up. Oh, yes. Uh, this is Janice again. Janice Williams. Uh, this hey, is Ms. important. Uh, I'll just take a minute. Um, I wanted to call you and give me the number to get the recording. Of you know the previous you know few minutes um, yeah. and the access code wasn't correct. Now the number is what five nine seven two six one three nine nine. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, you have to press pound and then nine one four zero and then well, pound it again. Oh, pound again. Nine one four zero and then pound again. Yeah. Oh, you start you. Start, First, you do pound, and then nine one four zero, and the pound. Yes. Oh well, I didn't do that. I'll try that again. But uh, just real quickly, uh, if if the guy is on who read that report that his friend gave him from DHS, I wonder if he would send me a friend request on Facebook, Janice Williams, J A N I C E, and also if he would invite me to his group, friends. What is it? Friends through Liberty. I would really appreciate it. Okay, I'll let you go. Thank you. Uh, well, we appreciate you chiming in again, and uh, hopefully he got that message. Uh, I don't think he hung up, but uh, yeah, hopefully he got that. And when you can, I wish you, you would send me a friend request when you're able to. Right. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I've got, uh, here I can tell you live, 76 people that are trying to add me right now. So <laughs> let me go ahead and delete 76 people. Someday. And, uh, I'll get to them. I promise. Uh, I'll get to you. And it's going to take some time. I'm, I'm really uh, periodically throughout the, the, this portion of the call, I've been uh, going through my yeah. list and really debating. Okay. Well, I haven't heard from this person in a while, and really got 200 friends, and you know, say a little prayer and unfriend them and add somebody else. So I'm getting through to it. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's a great show. And awesome. I'll be, I'll be All right. I appreciate you. Yeah. Keep telling other people we're here. Okay. Thank you. All right, moving on to the next 
caller uh, got a wireless in the queue. 5287, you're up. Yeah, I'm just going to let you know what it says on here about that Neil Florence guy. Um, it's on uh, High Country News. Um, Obama picked this guy to be the head, and he has a master's in international relations. He went to London School of Economics and Political Science. He's actually the uh, son of... He's the son of a geologist who discovered major gold deposits near his town right there. Um, yeah, he's got the Master's in Economics and Political Science, and then he went to work for Reed. He was a policy advisor from 2003 to 2011, and he worked on public lands, water, renewable energy, etc., and he's only 34 years old. It seems like if you have all, you know, uh, uh, Master's in interna International Relations, Economics and Political Science, I think you'd get bored eight years on some public lands and water, and then now you're the, the I don't know, it just don't make a lot of sense. That seemed kind of fishy. Never really thought of it that way. And fully appreciate the information. Um, did you uh, get a chance to join me on Facebook by chance so uh, you can relay that information, whatever your source is as well? <laughs> uh, I messaged you that link, but you're you're full again. You can't have a request right now. No, uh, I, yeah, I just deleted three more people and then bam, three more got put in. So I'm I'm trying. <laughs> you just need to start another page, Brian. Say the people too. <laughs> you, you know, I was actually thinking of starting some sort of fan page, but uh, you know, I don't want to, you know, do my own or anything. I had a, a previous people experiment a while back, but uh, we'll see what I can turn this into. No, nah, well, what you're doing is amazing, man, for real. Awesome, I'm glad you appreciate it. Are, did you, are you also an Alex Jones fan at all? Uh, no, no. I watch so some of it, but I, I, I watch some of it, but I know that they, they can say, some truth and some fake, and I know they're always trying to get our mind off of what's going on, so, you know, I'm kind of cool. funny. Well, I'm glad you appreciate it, and you know, feel free to chime in if you get any more good data, and uh, you know, if you keep listening, it's really cool, and you know, we, have, we throw a question out there, and somebody has the time to you know, go through a little research and then chime in like you just did, that's awesome. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, man, thanks. Uh, Mesquite Belief Farm EMS radio is even more expensive right now on this. Uh, uh, Mesquite. Morse code, huh? Yep. If anybody uh, here on the line is really good at Morse code, uh, feel free to download what was it, scanner radio uh, as an yeah, application. Yeah, so I would have to what, uh, are you on the local? Is that the local EMT you said? Is that local EMT? Yeah, it's uh, Mesquite Police Fire EMS. All right, so if anybody knows a little bit of stuff, some more code. I've learned it and lost it and learned it and lost it so many times over in my life. Uh, if anybody's maybe hand operator that's got that down pat, can uh, jump over to uh, scan a radio as an application on your iPhone or regular phone if you, if you have that capability. And then uh, jump over to a uh, Mesquite EM, yeah, EMF line. And uh, if you can give us any feedback, feel free to chime back in later. And uh, let us know if you. If you'd like to ask a question, please press 1 to your request has been received. Hey, 007, you're back. I'm back. I want everybody to understand that the group's name is Making Friends Through Liberty, not uh, by Liberty or from Liberty or anything like that. I've got a lot of people joining, though. So, oh, yeah, it's great. i got another admin on there, and he's all for it, ready to welcome everybody in. I've got another group called Brothers and Sisters of Liberty. It's about 1,400 strong, so. Well, hopefully that flies over to 2,000 by the end of the night, man. So, I have uh, groups so in every state. <laughs> go ahead and give those two again. So everybody here online, if they're on Facebook, go ahead and give this guy a shout-out. He uh, chimed in a couple times, and he's doing good things out there, getting people <clears> that work together. Obviously, a supporter of what we're doing over here. So give you two sites again, bro, and uh, 
There's Making Friends Through Liberty and Brothers and Sisters of Liberty. Awesome. So come connect with us. Let's get this awesome. thing going. You, we need uh -huh. patriots. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Thanks a lot, man. Be good. I'll be talking to you soon, too. Sounds good. All right. All right. Uh, 2406, you're up, and I got three more people behind you. Um, <coughs> I, got, I, got, I got a question, man. Are there still meeting people out there? I mean, the, the uh, BLM backed out. And, uh, uh, BLM we actually did back down. We were actually going to head out in the morning. We were going to head out in the morning, but we don't know if they're still needing people or what. Uh, the ranchers actually still put out a request this morning. They are asking for more people, protesters. Not necessarily most of what they want people protesters. I'd say the way to uh, handle that appropriately is, you know, come in as a transform yourself into a peaceful protester. If you just happen to have, you know, uh, legal munitions with you in the trunk, you know, put away safely, and you know, you get through the police line, you should be okay. Um, right. We all, you know, we all have our concealed carry, uh, all that fun stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, and definitely come in legal on all aspects. Yeah, it's just that way, you know, nobody's going to get in trouble. That's right. what we're trying to avoid. That was now we're going to bring some, some supplies too. Uh, you know, if there's anything specific they need, on, we were talking about batteries and water. Uh, anything else you can think of? Um, probably glow sticks would work out better than wasting batteries. You know, um, you know, any form of illumination. You know, lamps. I, I, I wouldn't deny that most likely there's a chance if y'all got your hands on generators. Probably want to bring a couple out there. Just, just turn it into a little bit of a camp out. People are planning on staying there a few days. This might go into weeks. We don't know. But, uh, you know, it, it, it was kind of bothering me, to be honest, still, and I don't want to cause any, you know, causality for worry, but, you know, there are some boots on the ground that said they would have chimed in by now that haven't. So I'm, I can't tell if they just don't have a signal. Um, it's funny to a signal sometimes if that goes down. We're not saying that the comms are down, but uh, either that or they're just wrapped up in other stuff. But it was expected at least almost a dozen people to chime in, and we've only heard from uh, two and, uh, you know, a couple of locals. And then uh, not really hearing from people that are right there on the inside right now. So uh, if you've got anybody who's listening right now and knows anybody who's actually there right now, we've only had a few chime in. We'd definitely like uh, an update, you know, from the flag post uh, area. Anybody who's literally talked to the uh, rancher or his wife in the last, uh, you know, 10 to 12 hours or so. Um, anything else you wanted to chime in with us? Uh, now, the ones you talked to, do they say everything pretty good static or what? Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing everything's calm for right now. Um, the same person that reported that did report, though, also that uh, she did a scout. She did see some National Guard at a hotel nearby that were kind of um, looked like they you know, trying to get things together. But as of right, it sounds like they're just on standby in case uh, anything escalates to ground zero. Um, BLM did leave, but uh, states and sheriffs uh, got it under control for right now. And, uh, it at least somewhat, it was somewhat at ease, just the fact that at least Americans are looking out for Americans. And, we had some weirdos, uh, apparently, that were working. That's, uh, we don't think that they might have been contracted. We don't know. But, you know, yeah. people stay in these, these guys definitely look for, uh, you know, they're wearing name tags like Johnson and Smith. You know, they're not giving out first names at the point. They weren't talking. Um, there weren't any warning shots or anything like that. So, so far, everything seems to be all right. But I'll admit, a lot of us are kind of waiting. All right, well, this can't be the end. We just know that. You know, the other yeah. side's going to drop, and we don't know exactly what to expect. But uh, as long as everybody's being cool and people protesters are heading out there, it's okay if they've got, uh, you know, legal munitions to defend themselves. But, uh, you know, you know, there was a call for the, uh, you know, militias and such. But uh, you know, as of right now, just, you know, come in cool and collected, and, and uh, definitely supplies are helpful. You know, just think if you were camping out for a week with uh, 2,000 people, what would you bring? That's pretty much where they're at. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, so are they still asking for militia, or just just people protesting? Well, that's what I'm trying to say. I mean, uh, you, you can be one. Like, you know, if I was to go there right now, I'm obviously, you know, in a variety of horizons. But you know, I'm not coming in. I'm not going to wear my uh, my bully hat. You know, I'm not going to come in with BDUs. I always wear boots, so you can't get those off me. But uh, other, than, you know, uh, you know, just come in, lay low as a peaceful protest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the user the pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, if the kids are coming in there with their Davy Crockett hats and mom's got four paint on and dad's in their, you know, just the pigs in an RV, you know, they get harassed. Right. <laughs> all right, man. Well, that's pretty much all I was wondering. If, uh, you know, still be worth the drive out there. So. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, it was common colorful, collected, and uh, please, by all means, we asked everybody that was sending somebody there, for the love of God, give us a call. It better off, you give us a call when you just before you make your communication, and if you're heading there, that way you can chime in so we know you're there. That's what's bugging us the most. All these people, yeah, I'm heading there, and they're not getting back to so us. That's kind of the, you know. Uh, all right, man. Like I said, we're going to have more to uh, let you know as soon as I get to. Well, and when you get down there, definitely get more people. It says code in the number. No, please chime in. You need to hear from, you know, two, three, four people instead of just one guy. You know, if, if four people are saying the same thing, boots on the ground, then, then we've really got confirmation of something. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Keep doing what you doing. Huh? You may now ask your question. Hey, All Brian. Right, uh, 1018. What's up? Hey, um, this is Dave again, obviously. Um, I just want to let you know, um, don't worry about the uh, Facebook fan page or Twitter. I'll take care of it for you. I'll set you up a fan page, uh, set you up as admin on that, and I'll have all the content from the fan page automatically stream into Twitter. Um, it'll be an automated process, so I'll hook that up. Don't worry about it. Is that Chicago one? What's going on, man? You are just a godsend. I really appreciate it. You know, I definitely want to shake your hand. Uh, I, 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 I well, you know, if you're brave enough, campus. if you're brave enough to trek to the northwest side, we can do that. I'll buy you a beer, yeah, some coffee, yeah, or whatever, you know. I'm gonna bring my wife and a couple of friends, man. If you're in Boys Town, I gotta admit, a little scared of Boys Town. I'm not South in Boys Town. Town. I'm on the northwest side. <laughs> I'm, I'm. Do, do you know where uh, Harwood Heights is? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I, about ten minutes away. Like I said, I, I rarely go on that side of 294 to be honest, but uh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll make something happen. Yeah, I live in I live in a very nice area. You know, there's nothing squirrely going on, uh, <laughs> so it's cool. You know, there, you know where the you know where the Burgundy restaurant is. I uh, can't say I do. Man. It's a really awesome restaurant. We'll head up there for you know some coffee, maybe some beer, some gyros, whatever. You know, we'll sit down and shoot the shit. What do you think? Absolutely, I'm totally down for that. Um, when I get some downtime, you know what? You know where Irving Park Road is? Probably one. Hold on, I'm thinking to check in, bro. Uh, go ahead, what was your question? You know where Irving Park Road is? Yeah, I'm not very far from that. The Burgundy Restaurant is on Irving Park Road, um, a few miles um, east of Norwich. Got it. So that's that's where I'm thinking, cause you know that's within a convenient uh, distance for me to take a nice little trek on my bike. You know I don't drive, and I like to you know ride my bike around. So be uh, another good excuse to you know get out into the into the fresh air and you know take a nice little journey up over there and sit down with you for you know some coffee and gyros how'd find, or whatever. How'd you find any fresh air in Chicago, man? <laughs> Are you kidding? You live in the same place I do. Don't haven't you looked around, and seen how damn green it is all the time? Chicago's a forest. Yeah, there's there's a haze bubble all over around Chicago as you're coming in from the suburbs. It's kind of gross. Well, more towards the ground level. Most of the trees tend to take <laughs> care of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just rising you, man. No, yeah, of course we're gonna make something happen. I promise. Um, Sound like a cool cat, a lot of cool capabilities. You obviously support me, so I support you right back. You're also local. You seem like a cool cat. We're definitely gonna make something happen. Yeah. I, oh, by the way, if you if you go on YouTube, on um, the channel is called Pondscape. Um, I have a pond in my backyard, a pond in the basement, a ton of tanks. Um, I raise fish and sell them to the local uh, pet stores and stuff around here. It's pretty fun. So, seeing as a lot of a lot of people are are living out there in the wilderness anyway, and nature buffs, uh, they might. They might think it's cool to, you know, see what I got going on with, uh, you know, the the wildlife, and in some cases not so wildlife, uh, over here. And I got some videos of trekking through the woods and all kinds of cool stuff. So people into fish, nature, that sort of thing, um, they might enjoy some some of my my videos on there as well. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely cross paths, man. Uh, give me more than a week, less than two weeks. How's that sound? That's all good. You know, take what take what every time you need. Um, and unless a you know a, a drone that loses control of its guidance system happens to crash into my house, um, I'm gonna be here. Awesome. All right. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, Unlikely. Caller, uh, Muted. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> hey Chris. Um, 
Regarding uh, the Morse code bit, um, I just had thought about this. I'm sure it's already come across the net. Um, as far as information goes, I'm not sure if uh, they're really keen on that. I would be if I was out there. I would kind of want to know what uh, they're saying over their comms. So I'm not sure if people have the uh, capabilities of the trucking systems with their scanners, but I would definitely want to kind of pick up on what they're talking about. And no, I am, which I am sporting the speed uh, scanner right now. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, that's how comms was. He's actually uh, watching the, uh, uh, sorry, the, the, the radio is basically there's a scanner radio application he's using on his phone. He's able to record what's going on in Mesquite right now through the uh, EMT. So, yeah, we definitely uh, chime in on that. The, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a couple of other comments actually went down using scanner radio uh, once more people started chiming into what's going on out there. So, uh, as of right now, they've got it. I'm sorry, it was uh, fire and EMF, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right, comes one? I'm going to deliver. Ah, well, that's what he's on there right now. He's even having some high difficulties. Um, he's able to actually call in on this conversation and he can be live whenever he wants to be. Um, but yeah, uh, if you've got that capability, caller uh, on the line right now, 3813. If uh, you've got another secondary phone that's online, that can download uh, scanner radio. And then uh, you can go to uh, the data and then look up. In the search bar, you can look up Ms. Keith, and that's the, uh, the most local uh, that's me getting live right now, anyways. Yeah, he's definitely monitoring that. Um, yeah, I, I got a copy on that, um, but as far as like locally in the area, because as far as uh, in the last report that I can understand, that there was uh, a full patrol. Um, I'm not sure if that was regarding on uh, the BLM side or if that was regarding on uh, our side, um, but as far as Tracking and monitoring their um, their conversation. Um, there is the capability. Uh, there's a hand radio um, that has really good distance. Um, it's not able to intercept their comms as far as uh, you're able to talk to them, but you're able to receive what frequency they're on, and it will pick up as far as it'll scan through the net, and the first thing to pop up, it can you can save it to your system. So if anyone has that capability, I'd highly recommend it as far as um, getting information uh, right then and there. Because without a doubt, I wouldn't doubt that they are monitoring what's going on at the Bundy Ranch right now through icons or any sort of cheaper radio. Absolutely. And if anybody else has that capability, I can remember there are uh, quite a few operators from VHF and, and all kinds of uh, you know, computer uh, wizards out there, anybody that can get their ears into any of the common they're using out there. Uh, New Ground Zero, definitely chime in, press star six on your phone. If you're running that live right now, I'm going to put you on the comms team and uh, you can stay in touch with comms one. You know, he's having some technical difficulties on and off to keep chiming in when he can. But uh, if anybody else has that capability to monitor those lines, that really help us out uh, just to keep us updated at least what's going on in that end because we're not getting a lot of feedback like we should be from boots on the ground. We've gotten a little bit throughout the days. Um, only two people, three people, I'm sorry, chimed in today. But we haven't heard from them for quite a while, so and, um, we're really trying to catch uh, anybody who's boots on the ground outside of the original dozen that we've got a hold of that we're heading there and whatnot. But uh, definitely chime in, press star six now if you're uh, in that vicinity or at that vicinity. We need to hear from you. Uh, anybody who can uh, confirm anything, that'd be great. Chime in, press star six. I've got two people in the queue right now, so I'm going to move on. 3813, you did. Yes, sir. Um, I just got to add one more thing in there. Um, if there are uh, peaceful protesters that are heading out, um, I would recommend that you look for that uh, that scanner radio. It has trunking. Um, just look, ask a uh, sales associate at any electric store that has it, um, and just ask if it has trunking because the trunking capability will be able to pick up frequencies of any kind. I'm going here. They are pulling up the Nevada State Highway Patrol. is pulling all the people out of state place right now. All right, so we got a confirmation of a pullover. Hey, if, if anybody's taking notes on that line that's listening to that uh, EM, uh, EMF frequency, uh, definitely uh, 
take some notes, man. Maybe we can uh, identify these license places and call them in, and uh, we can keep a running list going. So people that are getting pulled over, we could use somebody that maybe can, uh, you know, any uh, post keepers that have access to uh, be able to check the place from there, and we can at least figure out who's getting pulled over and harassed, and hopefully be able to check on them later. Maybe we could use that technology in the near future. Anybody else want to chime in for a star six? I'm going to jump on to the next caller, right? So, Thank you, Chris. And uh, by the way, my name is Brian. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, B R Y A N space Free the People, uh, all one word. And uh, you'll find me on Facebook if you want to follow up. Um, I'm going to try to add as many of you as I can and get rid of some of the old in with the new kind of thing. But I got a wireless caller, 5462. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, the ranchers don't fully feel it is, and uh, based on whatever news press or whatever else you're hearing, yeah, BLM has left. You know, sheriffs are still there, and uh, stadies are still there, and uh, apparently National Guard maybe is still around the corner, about 10 miles away. Um, you know, we don't really want to stand up, but hey, if the rancher is asking still for support and peaceful protesters uh, and anybody wants to go out there, they can go right ahead. Uh, as of right now, it doesn't sound like a call to action uh, as it was up front when they were asking for militias to show up, but you know, if any militias want to show up as peaceful protesters, I don't see any on the next.
capabilities and resources and education enough to uh, find an alternative route. And uh, many of us have kind of lost faith in the voting system, though. But uh, you know, we're highly recommending if we find people that are going outside of their boundaries, you can definitely put a you know lean on their bond and call them out for uh, going outside their constitutional oath and uh, you know interrupting people's civil rights and uh, a variety of other you know treason and other uh, as are things these politicians are doing right now, and that's what we need to do. Um, I'm going to bring up at the end the uh, Constitutional Convention of the State that says we work on. You know, that can open a Pandora's box of what if the right people chime in, and the right people are in the right place at the right time, and everything's pretty much, uh, you know, set in stone before they open Pandora's box, and there's not a lot of wiggle room. You know, as long as everything works out in much people's favor, that's what we're kind of hoping for. We know that. You know, once it comes to literally uh, adding or amending to or anything, you know, to being able to actually open up the Constitution and alter it, you know, the wrong people are still in charge. That's going to go really bad. That's what you said right now. Exactly. But in some way, shape, or form, although, you know, I don't think there needs to be a lot of changes, but if it's that, you know, on top of that, with the Second Amendment, for example, you know, we need to make that a little bit clear. You know, if you have a belly button and you're a legal citizen of this country, you have the right to bear arms period, no matter what, no matter what anybody says. Of uh, you know, a majority of calibers, you know, if, if if the enemy's got something of a higher caliber, we should pretty much be able to have that. I'm not saying we should work our way up to the nukes or anything where there's a nuke in every backyard, but you know, hey man, we can't send ourselves um, to the same American. And, and I would even, you know, you're 100% correct, man. But you know, I'd say that there's actually some tyrants that uh, I don't call them brothers anymore, man. Um, call them out for what they are. They're, they're tyrants. They're inhuman, and uh, you know, they're, they're definitely coming at us from all angles right now. You know, food, water, air, our resources, all of it, and. Uh, you know, it's time, it's time for a call to action in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't have to be a violent call to action. I think we're better than that. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, nobody forces anybody's hand to go that route. That, that's what we can only, uh, you know, be trained and ready for. But at the same time, you know, that's the last freaking course of action. Pandora's box is open. It's not closed, but thank you. Well, you know, when it comes to that constitutional convention, like I said, if everything's set in stone before they open that box, and then you know, close it quickly so that it works in the favor of the American people, everything should be okay. But that's got to be very closely monitored and the right people, again, need to be in the right place at the right time. Uh, as of right now, we've got a lot of the wrong people in the, in the right place at the, at the right time. Does that make sense? Anything you got in closing? I got another 30 seconds for you, though. Now I got to move on to another question. I guess in closing, the last question I could, you know, if you're coming in tomorrow, maybe it's still not a good idea to harm the general. Hey, you know, it's no concary state, so, uh, you know, if, if, as long as it's from point A to point B, being home is ground zero. Uh, they're carrying within the laws of those states. I don't see any harm in them bringing a weapon for a, a potentially hazardous situation that would come under some sense of the And, uh, you know, even though they may be militia, they don't have to come as militia at that moment. Again, they could come as a peaceful protester, which just happens to have that in their trunk to defend themselves if they case something would occur. And, uh, you know, if they come with full intention, everybody's looking at it if they have things. Um, that escalated. Um, or, you know, there, there are some weirdos, and, 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 you know, media has put a bad spin on, on the word militia. It's not a dirty word unless you're a tyrant. That's the way I feel. But, no, exactly. You know, I agree. And, 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 and there's been a bad spin. So, you're, oh, the militia said, everybody's a militia already. It's just a matter of, hey, did you get a hold of anybody else? It was the same way that you do in your state, you know, and, uh, they, ooh, wow, you're a militia. You know, you know, it's not really something that's going. I, I feel it's something that you are, you know, that's of the law. You know, your, your militia wants to turn 18 in Illinois, man. Um, 
lungs or able body, and uh, that's pretty much the bottom line. I just happened to get a hold of a bunch of people that realize that, and we feel the same way. You know, we just can turn Americans uh, on train to offer in, in case uh, you know, there were, there were training issues, which was come down to the defense, man, and, and, and we get going out there for offense. Uh, you're not malicious. You're there for defense. You're an offensive militia. You're not a militia, so that's an oxymoron. Twitter. 
and I've never really used it but once or twice. Well, you know, I wasn't I wasn't either until I, I um until about ten years ago or whatever. But the thought um uh, our news media of course you can't really listen to anything they say, but you could follow step by step on Twitter. Like earlier this evening my husband and I were just we were watching this Twitter police chase down our street. Way more info than you could get a Fox or any of the other channels on TV. So Twitter's really the it's at. Facebook is being watched. Facebook <coughs> is being data mined. Twitter is like this crazy amoeba that nobody can stop. This spider with legs that just go everywhere. I mean, it helped change the regime in Egypt, you know, so you need to be on Twitter. You need to learn it. It's not uh, hard. You I'll seem like a smart guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just, again, I wish I was an octopus with just as many heads and I can navigate and do many things at once. I, I have the capability up here in my brain to do so. It's just I, there's not enough time in the world. If I had two assistants here and, you know, if I was Alex Jones within budget, maybe I could do a lot more. Um, but let's see, uh, you know, a lot of people motivate me to get syndicated and start fresh and uh, get almost uh, 2,600 people, somewhere around there on the call, uh, Two sessions prior to this, which was yesterday morning, um, which turned out really awesome. Uh, all kinds of leaders were chiming in, so it's good to know that you know we're building a quick following out of something that started off so small. And uh, well, yes, professor, from there. Good work so, up, and, and uh, just know that there are. I happen to be a liberal. There are people who are liberal who are still in favor of the people at the, the Bundy Ranch not getting their um, land taken away and having their rights. Um, you know, run over. So just know that we're all in it. Uh, and by the way, I'm in Chicago. Uh, is anybody on Doppler right now? I, I can't open up another window, but uh, can anybody let me know if there's a ginormous stone over for Chicago? Because uh, it sounds like a nuclear bomb just went off the downtown. <coughs> and I'm not taking a nuclear yeah. bomb went off downtown. But that was a <laughs> huge, huge thunderstorm that just went off. We're about to get huge tornadoes tomorrow, so people in Texas stay safe. Well, my house just shook. Thank you. Bye. All right, take care. Holy cow. All right, moving on to the next caller, 4508. You're up. Yeah, I just wanted to make a statement that Kevin Gross has just stated that it would prolong the danger. In Ruby Ridge, the sheriff actually assured the family that they were safe, and the next day they slaughtered all of them. So I think having protesters there just secures the family for longer, and I uh, appreciate what you guys are doing. Have a little bit today. Cool, awesome, man. Thanks for chiming in. I appreciate you. Uh, uh, what state were you going to get? I'm in Utah. Utah. All right. Thanks for representing Utah, sir. Thank you. All right, you bet. We'll be here. Um, well, uh, comes along. Go ahead. Uh, I advise it was a uh, complete. Uh, radiant time between the steep uh, scanner area in the Nevada. The high patrol is deciding the officers to switch the channel to a bigger channel. They're, uh, they're saying something about channel 3 or uh, channel 2. I bet it's kind of guessing they got uh, different frequencies that I would be sick. So if there's anybody who's trying to monitor on the ground, then uh, you might have to switch those. Interesting. Yeah, you know, we got a couple of radio pros out there, man. Uh, anybody can chime in that's got some radio background. We need to get more of the uh, <laughs> static going on around Mesquite right now. Um, keep an eye on those channels, Tom. I appreciate you chiming in. If uh, if you can get that data to uh, come on back, all right. Thanks, bro. Uh, Four three one nine. You're good. Uh, I got a couple more people in the queue. Does anybody else want to chime in? We got uh, 50 some odd people who are still on the call. You can hey, press star six. Oh, yeah, I'm still here, bro. Hey, man, sorry about that. No, you're good. Go uh, ahead. Anything else? No, you know what? Actually, uh, first off, I just wanted to, uh, like everybody, you just want to thank, thank you for what you're doing. Uh, I know you're not getting paid, and. Uh, like everybody else, did, you're, you're handling the uh, the phone calls very well, and, and uh, you gotta love this uh, day and age of technology. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of people uh, are calling and, and asking for advice on what to bring out there. And I know a lot of people come from out of state. Maybe they're not used to Nevada. 
I lived there for a little while. I'm just want to throw a couple of suggestions out there. I'm not in the area. I'm mm-hmm. actually in uh, Northern California. Mm-hmm. Um, but a couple simple things, man. Just uh, socks, underwear, soap, deodorant, chapstick. Also, extra blankets. The desert gets very cold at night. No, uh, I would probably recommend some sources of shade as well, right? Absolutely. Carports are pretty cheap. Yeah, if also, anybody's got uh, any source of shade, bring it up. I was going to say also, uh, very cheap at Target are track phones right now, and. Uh, I kind of have a feeling that everybody's being traced in the area. Yeah. Uh, Target has track phones for seven dollars. I'm just saying. It's uh, yeah, definitely a good idea. Um, I'm not sure what their capabilities are with throwaways. I've had a couple issues recently, but uh, if anybody else is still heading out there, that's not a bad idea at all. At all, if you got the uh, capabilities or the monetary means to uh, grab a couple of throwaways for. Uh, Comes like when you get down there, I'm sure there's something on the ground that would definitely appreciate that. I know. Um, <coughs> obviously, we haven't been in much direct contact uh, in this uh, last two segments, but uh, these are last five have been ten, six, seven hours. Uh, we have not really heard too much from the uh, boots on the ground, and uh, only a few people have chimed in. So we really like people on the inner circle uh, to come forward. If you know anybody that's out there. Anybody that was headed out there that should be there by now, please have them call in. Anything else uh, you wanted to add, Bert? No, I just uh, I, I agree. Um, I just uh, I kind of know the, uh, the atmosphere, and I'll be down for Monday. Um, okay. But yeah, just uh, I mean, you know, simple things, really simple things, go a long way, especially when you don't know how long you're going to be down there for. You know, toilet paper. I mean, who knows? Um, right. If you're going to be able to get that, I know there's a Walmart pretty close, but who knows, man? You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, five-gallon buckets uh, with the bag inside it, cut a hole in the top. You got yourself a little treat. I'm sure they could appreciate a couple of those. I heard there were photo bodies, but you know, who knows how many versus how many people that could. Well, you uh, got to remember you get how many people, and then and then how often they're going to be changed out, and and again, who knows how long that you uh, plan on being out there. And uh, exactly. just if, if everybody remembers where we were in 1861. This day, right now, and it's really people. So, awesome. so again, uh, thank right. you, Brian. Uh, I appreciate what you're yeah. doing. Yeah, good. Yeah. Thanks for chiming in, man. I'm going to be here as often as I can. Um, and hopefully, my wife doesn't divorce me, but uh, hopefully, we can uh, <laughs> keep some people on the same page, you know. And uh, this event seems to be dying down. Um, who knows what's going to happen next? You know, we just want to kind of keep in touch with everybody, and we're just letting the people kind of chime in as we go. and. Uh, we get some feedback from the public. Uh, people are definitely concerned and want to know what's going on. And uh, get all kinds of people doing little research on different parts of the subject. And uh, we still got people. I'm waiting for some to chime in on Harry Reid's relation to the uh, head of the uh, the land uh, company. That seems to be quite important. Um, I know this started off. I know you started this to, to keep communications with people, but honestly, it's uh, it's just it's refreshing to hear everybody else and that we all have the same point of view and that we all have the, the same mentality, man. It's really refreshing and uh, proud to be a patriot, for sure. Awesome. Hey, thanks for chiming in, man. Thank you, sir. Good night. You bet, bro. All right. Uh, Minnesota, you're up. Uh, coming in a little foggy, but... Uh, sorry about that. I'm on a computer. <coughs> I had a couple things. Um, first off, I don't know how much of the live stream you've watched um, of the event throughout the last couple of days, but uh, I thought it was often peculiar that uh, Warren Santilli obviously knew something was going on in his live stream because he kept saying how he couldn't say this and that, as did the uh, Bundy, I don't remember which one, a couple of the children just said something to the effect of. Uh, you know, tomorrow's going to be a really good day. We need to get everybody here nine, and whatnot. But then when the actual demonstration got to the point where all the protesters left the ranch to go stop the highway and then uh, free the cattle, the police were already there, already had their uh, safety jackets on to direct traffic. They were directing traffic. There were already news vans there at the uh, interchange, off to the side, already set up. Um, it seemed like the entire thing was already 
known to happen. It is not a spontaneous event. I just wonder how much of this is possibly scripted and what might be going on under, uh, behind the scenes. It seems a little suspicious to me. You know what? Uh, somebody just chimed in, and uh, I'm usually pretty good with dates, but uh, are you the one who mentioned about the Civil War? Uh, maybe it was the first time I actually uh, ever called you. I was listening to you last night a bit, and uh, the thought it was nice to talk. Go ahead, GTS, I want to call you. Who that we? What, what month and day? Um, so this is the game was shot fired on the 4th of April 1861. Uh, it's like immediately April 12th. What day is it? Today is the 13th. Now it was the 12th yesterday. Huh, interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I don't know if you did, did you notice that as you watch the live stream now, seeing that stuff where it seems like it was all kind of super clean and cops actually knew what was going on. I have not been watching uh, much of the live stream at all. Um, mm -hmm. I've got a, all I was able to see was the uh, sheriff on stage at the flagpole this morning. I was sleeping during night, but uh, when I woke up, it's the first thing I watched on. Uh, I'm doing that and uh, pretty much it. I just got other people that are trying to give me some feedback, but we're, we're kind of trying to deter using, uh, you know, Facebook, she said, she said as a resource, we're really trying to focus on boots on the ground data, trying to focus on uh, anybody using that one hashtag, both before orders um, yeah. on Twitter, if they've got like feed or anything like that, you know, if they can chime in as well, that's pretty, pretty much the biggest thing I'm worried about is trying to hear from, uh, Dozens of my people that were heading there that were already there that have not chimed in in, in quite a bit uh, this season. Um, they were there on earlier, but uh, they've not been on today uh, for quite some time. Um, two, well, three people chimed in that were boots on the ground from a distance, but not actually at ground zero. Okay, I was just saying, we did watch the live stream pretty uh, thoroughly. Um, but yeah, the, the cops were obviously there for the end of the conversation with the PLM ahead of time. The news media was there, the police already had, uh, like I said, they had their safety uh, high reflective vests on. Um, also, when the uh, announcement was made, we're going to go do this right after the sheriff did do his thing, they already had 20-some-odd you know, uh, guys on horses just ready to be on the hill, and then they all came out all at once. And the whole thing seemed, seemed awfully, I don't know, it just looked clear the way that it was all seemed to switch it that way. I almost yeah, kind of days to hell, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know how much of it was. I mean, I don't think the BLM people that were involved were quite knew as much as possible other people, judging by their reactions. But uh, it, it just does seem fishy to me. I don't know. I don't know. I see all the false lies going on in history and uh, you know, the master manipulators playing screens behind the scenes. And, and just, I just want to encourage everyone to try to Keep an open perspective and don't take everything as face value because it's, it's there's definitely some stuff going on we're not aware of, you know, it's pretty obvious, especially with the uh, events of yesterday. Um, really yeah, we have definitely uh, kind of mentioned that, uh, you know, when they seem to be shaking one hand over here, distracting what's going on over here in the other hand. So we're definitely trying to get any other researchers to keep an eye on what else is going on. Uh, I recommended uh, a couple of the CNN channels. Uh, starting one day, you know, CNN's always got live what's going on in the house and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when they're voting in the name of the people, they usually don't make the greatest decisions, like I said, especially when there's a sleight of hand happening around it. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we're keeping our eyes out on Harry Reid and uh, his associate, uh, uh, the, what is it, the chief of the BLM. Um, uh, he was his former chief of staff for Harry Reid, and now the uh, the head of the BLM and his son is the one working with the Chinese company to get the three billion dollar, five billion dollar solar plant out there, whatever it was. And that's what it really seems to come down to. And uh, you know, that's uh, if we had things more researchers that could get us more data on the actual uh, land contract for these solar panels, and that wants to uh, chime in 
for some actual data, that'd be great too. Um, I got a couple more people in the queue. Anybody else wants to chime in, you can press star six and I'll uh, put you next in line. Minnesota, you good? I'm good, thank you, sir. And you bet. I'll chime in if you ever have anything else, right, Indeed. Thank you. You may now ask your question. Uh, I got two callers up. Hey, Call Brian. 773, you're back. What's up, man? Yeah, hey, um, I just wanted to let people know because, um, you know, I was listening to what people were saying about, um, you know, asking how to spread the word about, you know, these calls and everything. Um, I, I've been posting the YouTube links on your Facebook page, and, of course, you know, people don't need to have you added as a friend to um, interact on your Facebook page. Everything is public. Um, so if you want to spread the word about these calls, the YouTube links are the best way as they, one, do not require a phone to listen, and two, are fully compatible with all social media, blogs, websites, etc. I mean, granted, this is kind of a hodgepodge right now. It's kind of a half-ass interface between Skype and, and Google+, but uh, especially, man, because, you know, uh, you're local, um, we can get together, um, and I'm also a computer technician. I got some extra computer hardware and stuff. Um, we'll figure out an interface that's uh, more seamless and, you know, doesn't have as much, you know, sound distortion, crackle, inconvenience, or whatever. Um, I just kind of hooked this up on the fly, just like what you're doing is on the fly. I wasn't expecting to be doing all this, and, and neither were you. It just kind of happened and took on a, a life of its own, so... The fact that you're local is obviously going to make it easier to, to hammer out bugs and work with you and so on and so forth. So, you know, just people use the YouTube links if you're going to spread around the calls. I've got the phone number and everything in the description of the YouTube links. So, you know, if people do want to call in, all that information's there. It's the most efficient way, and especially, you know, if someone um, doesn't have unlimited long distance on their phone or if they have a cell with limited minutes or something and they don't want to be racking right. up their minutes calling in but they have an Internet connection, you know, then the YouTube video isn't going to cost them a ton of money to listen in. So that's really the most effective way to, to get it out to people if you want to put it on Facebook, if you want to put it on Twitter, if you want to, you know, sacrifice it to Druid Goat Gods, whatever, you know, it's the most compatible with all, all methods that uh, you want to use. So I just want to want to put that out there because people keep asking, you know, what's the best way? And uh, this is the most efficient for now. If we think of something better, we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, totally awesome. Uh, you, you're definitely uh, doing what you need to do. I just reshared that on my page. And uh, awesome. Thanks yeah, I got it on your page, both links, the, the call from yesterday and, and the one live now. So, um you know, people can can have at it if they want to find you on Facebook. Again, that's Brian with a Y, and then it'll come up with uh, Free the People, and then a classic, complicated, hard to pronounce Polish last name. So when you see that, you know you've got it. Just you know, l look at the look at the list. The posts are there. Can't miss it. And because his uh, profile is public. There is a comments box. You can type your comments. You don't need to be at it as a friend on his thing to do it. So enjoy. Yeah, that means a lot. I appreciate you looking out, man. Not a problem. Just wanted you to chime you in with that. Turn yourself into my my uh, media director if uh, you keep doing what you're doing. This gets syndicated someday, huh? Yeah, and it's good to be able to meet with your media director over coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it happen, I promise. We most certainly will. All right. Um, you don't have right. you don't have to mute me. I'm gonna mute myself. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. mute on Skype, and I'm still here. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, I'll try to leave you in the queue. Sometimes when I press the next question, it throws people out of the queue. But uh, as of right now, I'll keep you in. Uh, I've got you and Commons Long in here. Um, Aviation chimes in for a second uh, within the last 10 minutes, but they didn't come back. Uh, I think we had the Gadsden guy back on. Uh, I left him open, but uh, he got cut out. So, yeah, go ahead and meet yourself out. I'll leave you in there. Uh, if you have anything to chime in, just go ahead and uh, grab my attention, all right? Yep, no problem. All right. Awesome. All right, hey, uh, 16. Muted. <laughs> Hi, Brian. How's it going? Happened to me again. <laughs> Michelle. Oh, good. How are you? Unmuted. Oh, I'm doing all right. Okay, um, cool. I was just, I've just been listening in here for a little bit. I was kind of wondering uh, or hoping that the Patriots are not going to leave the ranch right away because I'm afraid also, like most other people are right now, that something's going to happen. So are, are uh, they encouraged to stay, or just more coming, or what? You know. 
you know, some people only plan on being there a few days, so some are heading out, but uh, there's definitely still more people heading in. Um, they have still have the request up for more peaceful protesters. Um, so, you know, uh, if you can come in, if you want to bring supplies, I'm sure that a lot of people appreciate that. Um, sure, I, I wish I could. <laughs> I got a hundred until the last uh, inch of the week, but uh, I can't obviously see the future, but uh, we already kind of recommended if this goes on past Monday night, we're going to go ahead and uh, start working out like a, a crowdfunding and uh, some sort of supply comps so we can get people to get some more supplies there, or at least we can get the money there, somebody can pick it up at Walmart and the money order, and uh, go get everybody a bunch of supplies if need be. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, I was just really worried. I thought, well, after everything that went down today, I hope everybody doesn't just say, okay, cool, it's over, and leave, you know. No, a lot of people are kind of uh, thinking, you know, they're waiting for another shoe to drop. Nobody right. really wants anything to happen, but that was a little mm -hmm. too easy um, yeah. for them to back down. But although at the same time, you know, we had a lot, a lot of right people at the right place at the right time that stood up. We had uh, active duty combat veterans. We had uh, retired lieutenants. Um, all kinds of different people that are still able to put, you know, a little bit of pressure on some politicians or uh, you know, hopefully throughout the chain of command, you know, somebody says, hey, what the hell are you people doing out there? You know, get these idiots out of there and, uh, you know, let the sheriff take over. And that's pretty much uh, what we were praying for the other day. And then when I woke up, there's the sheriff's announcing, hey, uh, get the hell out of here. We got this under control. So. Yeah, yeah, I woke up to that too a little late. I've had a couple of late nights myself. Well, you know that I've been on here with you. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, okay, you yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just real nervous, you know, just kind of watching out. And then I'll also, I saw, I can't remember who, where I saw it, but somebody said they didn't want us posting a bunch of stuff on Facebook. Um, and, you know, we're trying to calm the situation. It, it feels like people are making links from somewhere, you know, whether it's uh. You know, there's a lot of underground media, but there's also some satirical sites. You know, I don't want to call them troublemakers, but you know, all the groups that put out false stuff. Well, yeah, there's trolls and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got yeah. it. One, one person, you know, they heard a, a tire pop or whatever the case was, and oh shit, shots fired. They put out a post, and now there's 400,000 posts out there saying their shots fired at ground zero, and it's part of freaking people out. No, nothing hey. happened. Um, and we're trying to oh. you know, avoid disinformation right now. I know, it's so frustrating. It's like you hear something like that, you know, and I'm sure you do like I do and a lot of other people do. If you hear something, go check it out first before yeah. you open your big effing mouth. <laughs> you know. <laughs> all right, well, I just wanted to make sure that they weren't going to all get deserted down there. So uh, keep up the good work and proud of the Patriots today, man. Everybody rocked. Awesome. And keep on coming in. I like hearing from you. It's like a local person. I like your spirit. All right, thanks, Brian. You take it easy, man. Thank you. Uh, sixteen, eleven, you're up. Hello, are you? Are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you now, sir. I have been trying patiently to get to you. I am Ground Zero Bundy Ranch, boots okay. on the ground. I am in fact running the command central command post. Uh, I'm trying to give you all some intel. I've been trying to reach people for the last four, five hours. The floor is yours. Sir? The floor is yours. I, I can't understand. The floor is George? No, the floor is yours, sir. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Here's the status. That the intel that I'm, I've already... Anyway. After the sheriff made his announcement, yeah, I looked at, um, he has, in fact, cleared out one of the motels in the ski. Reserved to all the uh, federal agents. We have, and everybody listening in this, please listen careful. We have a, oh man, I'm sorry, I'm too tired. Uh, we have a Waco situation on our hands. Come on back. Most of, most of the militia was under the pressure and everything was gone. Most of them have left. I know we have Arizona militia on site. They're forward observers. I've talked to their commanders. Their commanders can't reach them because the chief's going to voicemail. I've had a long conference with the colonel and one other commander, a major, I believe. I've brought them up to par on the actual intel. And I'm going to give that to you 
as fast and accurate as I can. I've been here almost since the beginning. Ryan is the one from OMA. The founder is with the Mr. Bundy constantly. Right now, they are in fact here of their lives. They are the families in fear of the Mr. Bundy's life. They are begging us not to leave. Uh, I'm trying any militia that can get here, get here heavy. Uh, our motor communication is here primarily. It is the Bofang Cam Radio and the Walkie Talkies. When you get here, if you can get here, we need help. We have armored vehicles. We have uh, armor-plated Hummers. We have other vehicles here mounted with machine guns. This is not over. This is fixing to be, could very well be another Waco. All right, hey, we, since you're doing coming around, can you get any footage yes. of that for me ASAP? No, sir. I, sir, it's uh, 3 in the morning here. I haven't slept in maybe 8 hours in the last 5 days. Okay? I'm trying to give you this probably right now. Photos I can't get right now. We were going to turn down the signs. We get a phone call. We get a confirmed report from another boots on the ground. Two armored vehicles were heading our way. We immediately had to turn around and we set up uh, OPs on the, each side of the road. We had, I cleared out the road from campers and told them to leave for their safety. We lined up my vehicle and another one to block the road if they came down. They vanished. We don't know where they went. How many people would you say are still visible and still around? That I can verify about maybe 20 to 30. 20 to 30 people. You were told there's a few hundred and more headed that way. I don't know what said it that way, sir. That's one thing we don't know. Now, um, I'm going to tell you all, all something, and please listen. There is somebody on these grounds that are intentionally giving you all false information. I got a call today that he was told by somebody out here there's blue hats here. We have not seen a blue hat. That is false. We have not physically seen any blue hats here. No, no. Uh, what we did here we was have, basically... We have two girls that was right. Uh, we had two girls that was riding around, hollering and stuff, trying to instigate us into a conflict. A chief of police told me this and informed me that from his background training and stuff, that he identified the vehicle as federal agents. He is with the National Law Enforcement Association. I am an old keeper. I am a veteran of the United States Army. I'm out of Utah. If you want to go look at my Facebook page, it's Bill, B-I-L-L, Keebler, K-E-E-B-L-E-R. And you'll say Bill Keebler, Critter Gitter. That's the name of my company is Critter Gitter Outfitters. I'm an outfitter in Utah. I talked to Mr. Rose today. He was here. But everybody kind of dispersed, thinking everything was over. There's a 90% chance it is not over, and we are it can have a weight go on our hands. Mr. Bundy has told Ryan, the OMA, the founder, please do not leave. His family has asked us, please do not leave. They are in fear of his life, their dad's life. I am boots on the ground. I'm sitting in a camper. I'm running the generator. I've got a metal building over me that's helping me um, disperse my signals from NSA. They have already hit my laptop computer. They have hit my wireless modem. I've just been able to get online a couple hours ago. That's all I've been doing is trying to get help out here to contact everybody I can. And uh, they are already messing with my Facebook page. I am able to get back online. Go ahead, sir. Um, um, what? Go ahead, Combs. Go ahead, Combs. Um, yeah, the last thing before I was calling out 1059. So I can't hear you what you're saying. Oh, State Highway Patrol is calling out 1059 over the scanner right now. Um, and it's it, on a thin code that says that that's a convoy or S. So they, so they Are you talking to me or am I muted to what? Uh, 
uh, Tom DeLon, if you could speak a little clearer and speak up a little bit. He's having trouble hearing you from where he's at. Uh, Nevada State Highway Patrol is calling out 1059 with his escort. That's the code for escort. So uh, the Highway Patrol escort is something. I don't know what it is. I'm not stay posted for more information. The uh, boots on the ground are. Any chance you can stick around for a little while? I, I'm going to assume a couple of people have a chance. Sir, I'm going to be here until it's done, until it's over. All right, I'm Tom, on the ground. And then boots Sir? on the ground. What, what, what do we call you, critter getter? You can call me the hunter or Bill. All right, Bill. Um, I'm going to try to not chime you out. I'm going to leave your uh, phone number open. And I'm going to stay connected. Right, there's another answer that you need to know about. All right, let me get somebody in here. All right, 1018, you're up. Uh, yes, uh, I've, I'm a blogger, and I've uh, been getting some information about uh, Harry Reid from my blog. Uh, I wonder if you'd like to know about it. Go ahead, tell us a little more. He seems to be the man in control right now. Okay, listen, um, this has been going on for quite a while. Uh, I was listening to Alex Jones, and he's saying he's neck deep in corruption, this guy. He's... Uh, he and his family correctly owns uh, Nevada. In 2003, he had a... Uh, put forth a bill that, that was called the, um, it, it was, uh, I'm trying to find it here. Uh, his, 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 uh, bill was, uh, to help the environment and everything. And, um, it, it, uh, but what it was, was for the, um, um, he bought tens of thousands of acres of federal land that opened for developers. This is probably where this public land got uh, sold to the um, to the, to the Chinese, and his son Rory went over to China. Oh shoot! Hello? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure why that person just got cut off, but uh, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna hang out. Hey, Bill. This is Dave. Yeah, I, have hey. a, I have a question, if you don't mind. Am I able to be heard? Yeah, we can hear you. Seven, seven, three. Uh, go ahead, do some of the other questions for us. All right, I, I got a question. Um, there, uh, there's been a, a lot of um, basically skepticism online as far as whether or not um, David Knight and uh, uh, Peter uh, Pete Santilli have been a a positive or or negative uh, influence over there, whether they're there to to help or, or cause uh, problems. And um, I'd appreciate if you could uh, kind of clear the air on that. You know, once and for all, and and let us know whether or not these people were were helpful forces, or you know, Co and Tell Pro, or they were helpful forces. Okay. Um, Bruce, on the ground, were you at the uh, flagpole at 9 a.m. yesterday? No, sir. I'm down here running the uh, Central Command post. I wasn't up there. Okay. Yeah, I was with you, so I didn't come here to give opinions about if somebody's being a an asset or not. I'm sorry. But right now, there's another situation I'm trying to let you know about. And I have got to get some rest. I've had a meeting in about four, four or five hours. We, right, so one, of our, one of our militia guys was approached by a state patrol officer in the road up here while we were set, set up and informed us that the federal government is intending to get everybody that was here on federal warrants at their homes. They're coming to our homes. What? Why? So, right, the federal warrants for what? Federal warrants for what? We don't know what the charges will be at this time, sir. We were just warned that it's coming. This is not over. This came from the state patrol officer. I don't have his name, his badge, and we wouldn't give it if I did, to be honest with you. He did it in strict confidence. He's been a, 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 a friend of the, uh, of these people here for many, many years. There's nothing they get along. I'm from Utah. I don't know all these people up here. Mr. Bundy, um, you know, I heard about this via Facebook and stuff, and I called Ryan, the founder of the OMA, asked him if, you know, what was going on, if he needed my help. He said yes, and I came here the next day, camper, my four-wheeler, the works. And I've been asked to, to stay, and I told him I would be here as long as I was needed. <clears throat> Uh, we really appreciate that. Um, I, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much 
and the most intel. I'm not going to give evaluation on people up here, sir. I'm sorry, I don't mean rude or to cut those people off just wanting to know, but I'm not here to give evaluation of the people out here. Hey, most of them I don't really know. Hey, hey Bill, there, there's something there's something that somebody said uh, earlier on the line that I I think you might want to know. I don't know if it's true or not, but there was somebody who was saying that supposedly there's some uh, local uh, Clark. County police that are ready to uh, move in to assist you should things get froggy. Um, I don't know if that's hearsay or if that's fact, but I just wanted to let you know that someone was on the I line earlier and made the point. I can't say if that's a fact or not. I know that a lot of the uh, feds that was moved out were replaced by local uh, enforcement. For what their purpose was, I do not know. Yeah, I don't know either. I was just, I'm just letting you know that it was said. I'm not claiming it's oh, okay. true or not true. I'm just letting you know that it's a fact that it was said. That it, that earlier okay. on this call, someone came and said that they have a source in the, uh, in the sheriffs or police or whatever in in Clark County, and they made this claim that they're ready to back you up if things get froggy. I do not know if that's true. All I know is the claim was made, and that's all I know. Well, the the during uh, questions told them that uh, they don't particularly care they're for the alien people and they're not too pleased with Sheriff Gillespie and his basic reason for coming on like he did what y'all saw this morning is because the National Law Enforcement Association or whatever in fact came here sheriffs from many states came here Senators, congressmen, and whatever else came here from the United States. Uh, and one of them, Sheriff Mack, I believe it was, pretty much winged his ass. And some of the sheriff's deputies here aren't very pleased with the way he's, the way he's betrayed and humiliated. You know, this man was elected by the people to represent them and protect them, and he turned on them. And from what I, I, when I asked about it, I was told he's fixing to retire. He don't really give a shit. Yeah, I don't know because I don't know the man. I'll plead I'm the. Just saying that's what I was told. Yeah, I'll plead the fifth on my opinion of. I'll plead the fifth on my opinion of Sheriff Gillespie because there's ladies present on this call. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm now I work with the Tula County Sheriff's Office in Utah for search and rescues. I work with them for animal rescues. I actually had one of their horses on my property that we brought back from damn near dead. Uh, so I do, I do work with my local law enforcement in Tooele County, Utah. I have an extremely good rapport with them, and as an outfitter, I actually assist them when, if needed, to get ammo for their AR-15s. I uh, have no problem with our sheriff's department up there. I've met with Sheriff uh, Frank Clark. Uh, we have a good relationship, and I volunteer my services to them for free for search and rescue people. Well, we all we all appreciate that, sir, and and we appreciate ev everything you're doing, and and God bless you, sir. Well, uh, thank you. Please, I uh, understand. I'm not trying to explain this for praise or anything. I'm doing this for my country and for the people that I swore an oath in 1979. I took that oath again in 1987 as a law enforcement officer. My dad's a but Vietnam vet. 1968 to 1969. My dad's a <laughs> Vietnam vet. So I, I understand and I appreciate you, sir. Veteran. My daughters both served in the military. One served in Afghanistan on the front lines. Well, so as, as, we a, as a son, son of a veteran. Of, of soldiers and veterans. As a son of a veteran, I, I appreciate you, sir. I like to thank you. is issuing silent runs right now. So uh, if they all come, they're not saying well, where they're going. But if they're, if they're headed out in that direction, there's no lights, no sirens. Uh, so, boots on the ground, what, what do you think uh, is the main threat right now in, uh, in that ground zero area? Uh, right now, the biggest threat we have is they are, in fact, regrouping. They've done this twice already. They are regrouping for a major assault now that they figure we're gone. Most of us are gone. And we are very glad to fix to having Waco on our hands. Can we just add a the line there? Uh, there's different people that have offered uh, some mainstays, some refugees nearby. If you guys can get, just grab them and go. I mean, as far as the land, we're worried about the security mainly. But, you know, it, it, does it make sense to get out? 
Something's distorting you a little bit. And we you guys have to get out, or do you guys want to hold the ground? We can't, can't actually get out. out. We're not being forced or trapped in here. Just, just you know, to, we can't leave. They got our identity, and they plan on getting us when we get home sooner or later, somehow or another. And that was told us by a uh, state patrol officer. Uh, the point here is, we made a commitment to come down here and help Mr. Bundy. Our primary goal, objectives here is one, to protect the family, two, to protect the, the, the protesters, and to help Mr. Bundy get back but, you know, his demands were stuck in his county back and everything else. Now, after today, when things were seen, vehicles, we've had scouts out. Uh, we've sent people to the motel that was supposed to be cleaned out. We've got uh, things spotted. And we're going to, in the morning, next time somebody sees something, we want to see photographs. They know I've got internet. I will get pictures if I can. I'm gonna, I've am going. i got cameras. i got camcorders. I haven't been in the field that much because I'm sitting here running the command post. Boots on the ground, if you don't mind. Do you know how to use Twitter by chance? I have a Twitter account. All right. So we're using um, pound oath before orders. Uh, if you've got actual confirmation, uh, confirmable video, any sort of uh, live feed, any sort of uh, pictures, uh, preferably timestamp of what's going on out there, by all means. Uh, if you could use uh, pound oath before orders, um, that's what we've been trying to use for anything that's been from the world, okay? Well, I have, an, uh, I have a page on my Facebook thing called Eyes and Boots. That's okay. where it's a national group that I founded that uh, if anybody wants to go to my Facebook page, look up to Eyes and Boots, and you'll see it there, and I post pictures there, and I ask anybody to post Intel of sightings, activities, and be able to make sure it's verifiable or verified. I will do my best to get photos on that page. But I also realize my computer internet access has already been hit. It's taking me since oh. 6 o'clock this morning just to get online to get Facebook. And uh, I'm not writing reports on Facebook anymore. I contacted a few friends on my list and asked them to call me to talk to them via landline. Because right now the landline is more secure for me to talk on now than the computer is before. Because of the way I'm setting up with this camper and the overhead Ken roof and Ken building and the generator running outside. I don't know if you have the generator. Where do the other go? Uh, we actually re recommended uh, to send a couple people uh, with generators. Um, hopefully, they can handle that. Um, are you guys in need of any other supplies, mainly? Well, we've got plenty of food. Uh, we've got plenty of water. People have been coming by uh, pretty regular with truckloads, truckloads of food and water. Uh, I've got you know one thing of food here. I've told them to utilize the food I have here and save their supplies. The bunny do have a fund and they are buying pizzas and cokes and water. Uh, you know, for us and it does get down here. We've got water toilets here, we've got uh, a dumpster out here and they're bringing in a water truck. A truck that's gonna park with I don't know how many gallons of water. So is the uh, uh, ranch's water supply cut off? They damaged some of the water sources for their cattle. They did do that. That was uh, your land management that did that? Yes, sir. Now, somebody called and told me that they were told by somebody here that three of his sons were arrested and stuff. Okay, what actually happened is two people, two of his, it was two of his ranch hands, saw somebody up the water hole supply for the cattle, went up there, and when they tried to come back, BLM apprehended them. And was detained. And when we got the call, we drove 35 miles, I think. And when we got there, they had released them in the middle of an intersection and took off with about two, three hundred head of his cattle with cow trucks. They had about a half hour head start. We could not catch up with that those cattle trucks, so we kind of let them go. Our main thing was to get the people, you know, secured, and we did do that. But it wasn't his three uh, sons arrested. 
<laughs> was there any uh, altercations outside of the first morning where there was uh, a lady got tased while they were trying to get some of the trucks out of the way and people were standing in front of them and uh, you know, being a little bit... Uh, uh, that, day, that thing, uh, they put one lady to the ground. She was like 54 years old. And apparently before that, they wrestled a woman that was pregnant to the ground. And that's one guy tried to stop and that's when the guy who got the case. <clears throat> It was a contact case. It wasn't shot with, uh, you know, the wire and all. That's the only conflict right. that I'm aware of that actually happened. So that's the real that only altercation. I got here. Yeah, that was really the only altercation since you've been there. Everybody's been pretty level heads. Yes, sir, that I'm aware of. Yes, we've been very calm and, uh, you know, things, we haven't done anything. Our posture has been just side arms. Not dressed up like Rambo, walk around with 14 AKs and stuff like that, four foot three now. We're not presenting ourselves in a threatening or intimidating manner, but we're also wearing sidearms. They know we are armed. If we feel there's a threat, we have combo, we will call, and then those people will come to our stuff and barrel. Right now, we don't have the manpower now to secure this place properly. I have been going for, I know, at least 20 something hours right now. Hey, are you in touch with Brian? Brian? Who is Brian? Uh, we were told that uh, a gentleman that had called earlier, if it was Ryan or Brian, that was uh, basically the liaison for the ranchers to the militias. That's Ryan. R-Y-O-A-N. Uh, he is, in yeah. fact, the founder of the OMA. Okay. Uh, um, yes. I'm, he's going to uh, ask if anybody who had a phone with me kind of being the um, command post coordinator more, you know, I'm not a commander, I don't command anybody. I assist whatever they need and I uh, get intel from the militia, give it to Ryan, Ryan gets intel to me and I give it to the militia, you know, kind of a liaison in between Ryan and the militia and the other people themselves. Uh, as far as you can tell, has Ryan mainly been the guy in and out of the house right now? Yes, sir. Mr. Bundy keeps him pretty much to his side as much as humanly possible. We have also posted bodyguards with him. They do not leave with the side. All right, Tim Ford. Um, we appreciate you chiming in, man. If you've got to cut loose or whatever, uh, to say please, I just need to get some rest, sir. I, I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, I, I'm holding on to your number. Um, Brian, so basically in the chain of command, uh, how would you say you fall in this? Uh, Obviously, right now the, uh, the you know the rancher and then uh, Brian's taking you know the liaison position and then we've got a couple other guys that are looking out for Mr. each other. Bundy has person, Mr. Bundy has personally put Ryan in charge over everybody, including all the militias. Uh, Ryan, is, is, Ryan is his right hand man. Cool man. And all right, get some I'm time. I'm second after Ryan, I guess you could say. Okay, I totally appreciate that, man. Uh, keep us updated when you get back up. Uh, I just heard about the other night. Okay. Uh, a friend of mine on Facebook like, so gave me your number. So. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we'll be back on, uh, after this segment goes out, we'll be back on approximately 8 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, later on. Okay. Today. I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah. But we do need some help out here. Yeah. We do need some help out here if we can get it. I know we All have right, some good route, but we don't know who, how many, nothing. All right, everybody heard that live. You know, that's a request. What was your first and last name again, sir? My name is Bill, B I L L T Bird, like the cookies, but no relation. <laughs> that's right. All right, I just want to make sure we can touch base later on. You know, uh, I'm going to have to be looking out for you, making sure you're okay, bro. Um, keep us posted. Uh, we're going to be here. And again, please try to chime in in uh, 16 hours. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to or, or, or whatever. Be honest with you, sir. I'm not trying right. to be rude or disrespectful. I'm just right now, situation's going so quick right now that I just well, can't, if, you know. If you can, please, by all means, chime in. I need to know you're all right. We need boots on the ground idea, and I'm you know, trying to get more consensus from other people that are there. So, um, okay. be standing I know there's somebody on the ground reason. giving false information, bro. All right, that's fair enough. I appreciate you looking up. Hey Bill, I want right. you to I want you yeah. to know that no matter what happens, this whole 
situation has been inspiring a hell of a lot of people to, to wake up and take things into more serious consideration about this nation that they were asleep to before. So no matter what, know that you know you guys down there have, have really served your country and humanity. Well, thank you, and like I said, we appreciate it. And I'm going to tell y'all that, like I told somebody a while ago on Facebook, we do see y'all's support online. We do appreciate it. It has helped. We don't respond a lot of times because we can't or we don't have the time at the moment. Right now, I think I'm the only one that has a computer out here with internet access. So most of these people are using their phones. But for everybody out there, we do see it, yeah, we do right. appreciate it, and it does help. So, what's that about for it? Hello? Sorry. Yeah. All right, yeah, we're still here. All right, well, I'm going to have to sign out, okay? All right, man. All right, good night, folks. Thanks. Get some rest. Try to time in tomorrow, man, and uh, send anybody else our way so we can know. Okay. Thanks a lot, man. Right, bye -bye. Wow! After that bye -bye. call, I feel bye -bye. I feel like all I'm missing is an is an unloaded musket and a funny looking yeah. hat. Dude, that was pretty intense. It was. Uh, it comes one trying to chime in. Go ahead. Um, well, I've been here all night, and I'll probably be here to you sign off anyway. So if somebody else needs to talk, I can always wait. But on his request for more boots on the ground, there's another page on it's called Bundy Ranch Resistance <clears throat> Transportation. So if people get on there and they're willing to go or they're willing to take people, you know, I know there's a lot of people at home wishing they could do something. They can get the word out about all of this. They can get the word out about needing help, uh, the supplies. Everything that you say, they can just keep posting and posting just to fill it up. But I'm the one that keeps uh, digging into that Neil Corns, which is the head of that BLM over there. And um, I thought he told you he was Obama's pick. I told you he is uh, international relations. He has a master's in international relations at the uh, London School of Economics and Political Science. He um has a bunch of notes. I've been I have somebody else to dig on instead of O'Fallon. I mean Obama. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you don't if you don't mind, five two eight seven. I need you to back off the phone a little bit. You're coming in okay. really heavy on the on the red line. Um, okay. Six inches from the from the mouthpiece, so uh, we can hear you and we can really really hear you. You just tone it down how it could help us out. All right. So all the protesters out there, a little note on this Neil Corns that is the head of BLM. He did something in 2000. He actually wrote a book about protesting. It was called In Defense of, In Defense of Tinker. It's some critical thoughts on Supreme Court approach to students' free speech. So basically he's already been an advocate for free speech. I might need to remind him of that, for one. Um, he also served an international election observer in Macedonia, the Ukraine, and Georgia. This man's been busy. He's also a co-author of the, or an article in the Companion to American Law. Okay, he's educated in every way. The land from his family, the, the, foreign, the foreign affairs, which has to do, I'm sure, with Obama and what they're doing with that land. Um, the law, because he's wrote articles in the Oxford Companion to American Law. Um, he's been an election advisor overseas and locally. Um, what else was around here? Oh, and also, I dug in there uh, the uh, BLM budget. It's like a 15 page stuff I barely understand. But I did see that they're reenacting the Federal Land Transaction. Facilitation Act. It expired in 2011, and what it does is it allows the lands identified as suitable for disposal in recent land use plans to be sold using that authority. They're going, they, they've got all kinds of loopholes, and and they've already done this before they showed up to get it. I don't. I know they're not going to leave it easy. That's obvious. But this dude has every avenue, and it's just like Obama when they said he came into office. See, it's like he was raised up to be where he's at now. Well, that's just like the guy that's over this. And, it, and it's not just going to be in Nevada. So I think people need to get the word out on, on this Neil Corns because I haven't seen very much about him, and I really had to dig to get what I got. 
and the fact that he's worked for Reed from 2003 to 2011, and they just, you know, said something about Reed's connection to Nevada. So this has been in the making just as long as, as the, the bigger picture. So I just want to let you know that. Hey, Brian. Keep, no, keep, keep researching. We appreciate that. The more people that are out there digging these things up, you know, the better for the rest of us, you know. Indeed. If somebody finds a, a winner that helps, then we, we appreciate it. Uh, no. Hans, was that you trying to chime in? Uh, that was me. Oh, uh, yeah. I was wanting to know how long this is a 24 hour feed because uh, I remember earlier today I got on and um, I was on here from about 1 p.m. Uh, until now, anyway, so on and off. And also, uh, there's still radio sounds going on. Uh, whatever he was talking about, I don't know. Uh, I was trying to ask, I was trying to ask them where the location was, and I don't see if it's worth. Um, they might be meeting back at uh, the old place it was. I don't know if it's part of them driving down the road or what, but uh, yeah, definitely we need uh, any comments. Hey, Brian? All right, well, I'm in there. Go ahead. Am I able to be heard? Yeah, you're still on. Hey, uh, I'd like to make a suggestion, if I may. I think one thing that um, will will definitely help in, you know, the, the overall situation of not only this but the country is if as many people listening as possible take it upon themselves to, you know, set up their own, you know, conference calls and Google Hangouts and, and things like that. Anybody sitting there thinking, oh, well, I'm just poor little me, who am I, I'm nobody, what can I do? I'd like to remind people that, you know, Brian was just a dude sitting at home having a conversation when the whole thing took on, on a life of his own. Um, you know, it doesn't really take much. It only takes a spark to get a fire going. You don't need to be the whole fire. You just need to be the spark. So the more of these types of calls that are going, I mean, can you imagine how freaked out the globalists would be if there's like, you know, ends up being like 10,000 conference calls going on at any given time and the words just going viral about each of those numbers and another, you know, uh, 5,000 Google Hangouts and whatever else. It doesn't take much. It just takes a willingness for regular people like are listening to this call, get up and speak out. I've been speaking out about stuff on, on my channel on YouTube, Paradigm Shift docs, DOCS, the number four, the letter U, for the last few years now. I'm I'm nobody, I'm no big shot, whatever. I'm just here doing my thing, talking to people, whatever, and I got over, you know, three views on my channel. So, I mean, it doesn't take some special aptitude or qualification or whatever. Just a willingness to speak, open your mouth, and let words come out. That's it. It feels like we're, we move forward in some aspect, you know, we a lot of people at least have used this as a therapeutic tool to get out what they wanted to say and get it off their chest and give their opinion and everybody's had time to do that so far and um it's, it's been really cool it's been a, a pleasure to be part of this uh same here again it's blew up into something phenomenal and uh and there's so many awesome people that have chimed in over the course i'm gonna i'm gonna really cherish this you know weekend forever um you and me both you brother from time to time but uh all these great people that i've met over the course of just the last few days is just phenomenal it is incredible. You know, it only takes a spark to get a fire going. That's what Gandhi was saying. Be the change you want to create in the world. And, you know, all, all these people, like, whether they're, they're, they're new agey or not, the whole idea of authentically being yourself and not being afraid to let your light shine. When you are authentically yourself with respect to everybody else's right to do the same and you just let your light shine and express yourself just because you can because it's your God-given right, that inspires people. That's that's the spark. Inspiration is change, not force. You know, you could argue with someone for 10 hours and, and you know, it's as if you didn't even say a word. Force doesn't convince anybody. you got to inspire. And the way it inspires, just be yourself and know that you being you is good enough. People like to sit there thinking, oh, who am I? I'm no one special. I'm no one great. I've never been popular, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's all just psychological warfare programming starting at the lowest levels of the educational system going up to keep people beaten down in their own minds. Everyone has equal potential. It all just boils down to a choice. Are you going to be yourself? Are you going to express yourself? Or are you, you know, going to gonna shrink? 
And, you know, some people aren't going to like what you have to say. Well, so what? They have the right to not like it. They could go piss off, you know. They're not obligated to like what you have to say and, and whatever, and that's fine. They could go their way. You go yours. It's all good. You have the right to be yourself and express yourself, whether it's about, you know, the, the globalist run in the world or whether it's about the environment or, or about, you know, whether or not women should wear makeup or, or whatever it is, whatever you got to say. Even if you're a teenager, you just want to rant about school, whatever. You know, whatever. Chicago, Be yourself. I've got uh, three other people hanging out. And I'm going to let them chime in. You could hang on for a minute. Or so. All right, cool. I'll mute out. Go ahead, 6831. You're on. Hi, Brian. It's Michelle again. <clears throat> I've been listening. Well, I, listen to, I listen to Mr. Fiedler, um, and then I sent him a request. I just want to know do we go ahead and start posting that they want people back at the ranch. Again, I'm not really calling any shots. You heard what you heard. I don't, yeah. I, I can't fully confirm that man is who he said he was based on what he said. He sounded pretty honest to me. Yeah, um, his Facebook page, he, you know, everything he was saying, I was looking at his page while I was listening and he looks legit. You know, I, I tried a phone number that should get me in touch with some more people and uh, to no avail. Um, yeah, I just wonder, an answers. We, yeah, I just wonder, should we start posting it to to ask people to come back? Or is it too soon? Or, you know, shit, I don't know, man. Excuse my mouth. I know. It's, it's, no, no, you're fine. Um, it, it's really hard to say. I don't want to be the guy that makes that shot call right now, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's just, should, should based, all based, on, based on what just came in, based on that feedback, we were, we were already doing the right thing, I hope, telling people if they still wanted to go, um, you know, that's their shot. I'm not saying you must go, you must go. I'm not delegating that at all. Michelle, may I make a suggestion? Go, we, go ahead. May I make a suggestion, Michelle? Oh. I, I think that the, the thing to do in this situation is just report on what you heard. Don't, don't put it as an order. Just say that you had an experience to where you heard this man get on and say what he said and let people make of it what they want to make of it. Just just tell the truth of your experience that you were listening, you heard this, and that, you know, the facts end there. It's a, it's a fact that you were listening and you heard that. And let people make up their own mind what they want to do or not. Yeah, That's pretty yeah, much I'm what just happened. I'm, I'm going to leave that open to however you all want to interpret it. Um, like we've been saying all along, you know, there's lots of disinformation out there. For all we know, you know, the Druids are going to come in here and kill some folks and then tell us that we got to send everybody back. And I'm just making a joke because five segments ago, somebody called as a Druid that was going to sacrifice some goats for us. But uh, I heard really that. awkward. Oh my God, I lost the word when I heard that. Or, uh, yeah, that was that was awkward. But anyways, on, on a serious note, you know, we did just hear what we just heard. Um, Combs is trying to chime in. Let's get him a second. Go ahead, man. Uh, this is. Um, if you're talking to people who are on route or going to be on route, just make sure you don't surprise uh, radio equipment and uh, night vision. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if whoever, whoever in the highway is got these vehicles out there, if there are vehicles out there at all, uh, definitely not using any of the public radio. So um, definitely the operators out there, if they don't already, uh, I don't know if they import, I don't know if they have night vision or not, that'd be helpful. Especially if they have cameras as well, because you know they want to move on the cover of night. Well, based That's on what you idea. just said, you know, I'm going to recommend too. You know, when this started out, people said uh, this should last about a week, could go into two weeks. <clears throat> I'm not really sure exactly what day this started even right now, but I'm assuming we're on around the fifth day. Can anybody confirm six. that? Well, I don't think, excuse me, I was thinking six or. So, I'd be wrong, People have questions like that, too, you know. Um, I've been trying to follow all along, but unfortunately, I'm kind of stuck in, uh, and I'm not saying unfortunately, but, you know, again, I'm not an octopus. I'm doing the best I can, and I can't do that. I just want to say to the YouTube listeners right quick that there's only about a, a half hour left on um, this uh, stream, 
until um, Google cuts me off. Um, we've been, you know, re recording for, you know, roughly seven and a half hours. So when when that does get cut off, um, you're going to have to to call in the the phone line and listen if you want to continue. Um, the phone number and the pin and all that is in the description of this video. But just just want to give you all a heads up. What if they're stopping everybody at the border and pulling the side and they end up with freaking some luck? I don't want to be the guy that says, yeah, we sent everybody out there and now I'll have to, you know, yeah, not in the country or you know. bond. So I don't know what to yeah. say right now, you know. Well, well, I'm I'm down down. Down. It is right now, too. It's, uh, I'm, not, I'm in uh, Oregon, it's 2 30 in the morning. You know, some right. people sleep, but then those of us like us that are still on this call because we're so freaked out about this. Yeah, you, you know, you know, right. you know. I was going to go to bed a long time ago, but then I stayed on the call, and then I heard Bill and a couple other people, and I, I can't sleep. I'm a cancer patient, for God's sake. I can't even sleep. <laughs> well, it's almost five in the morning. Pardon me? It's almost, it's almost five in the morning out here. The only reason I'm awake, I said about six past three to seven in the night. <laughs> yeah, I just had a cup of coffee. <laughs> Well, all um, right. I got uh, another yeah. caller staying in line. You want to wrap that up, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I just wanted to know your guys' opinion, and uh, I'm going to stay on here looking for a while. Yeah, that was insane. I don't know. The guy says he's at ground zero. He's the guy second in command for comms for the militias from the liaison that's watching the rancher. And uh, he apparently got a generator and some comms out there. You know, it sounded urgent. It, that was kind of awkward. I, that was not uh, staged by any means. Um, that person just called in and said what they said, um, just like anybody yeah. else on here. So, yeah, sounded sounded legit. Like I said, I did look at his Facebook page. It kind of sounded legit me. to me. The guy, you know, got a page that's up. He's already been trying to do comms, obviously, and yep. uh, you know, we we just heard that. Luckily, somehow, from whatever way or form that that got to him, it got to him. He was able to reach out. That's kind of what we're trying to be here for. We need to know yeah, what's going on. Right. America wants to know what's going on. Everybody wants to know what's going on. You know, this is streaming on like six or seven different channels I can see right now. Uh, other IPs are hooked in. And this is crazy. Um, yeah, and you know, he, he had also said something about, uh, you know, fixing landline or any secure than the computer. I, I don't know if that's really subtle, just to throw out a really quick example. A few years ago, I was at work. This was obviously before I got sick. The cops called me here in Prineville. Uh, they didn't know my name. They didn't know... I didn't have a phone. Uh, are you still there, man? Okay. Yeah. You, you drop yeah. off. Um, yeah, no, hey, I was just, just going to make a quick comment. Uh, another wireless caller, 4431, go. Yeah. Just going to make a quick comment. One of the other guys kind of touched on it a little bit. But um, as far as the technology and everything, I, I think it's great that everyone's using the Facebook and the Google and the Twitter stuff to communicate. But I think uh, one of the other things we need to look at is the fact that, you know, uh, we're currently in the process of possibly turning over the power of the Internet to the so-called international community. Uh, if that happens, you know, I mean, access to that can be cut down and censored in a heartbeat. We need to look at uh, alternate forms of communication, going kind of old school, getting down to little handheld ham radios. We can get them for around 100 bucks. A lot of people think it's really expensive to get into ham radios. Uh, I just recently started. I haven't got my license yet, but for around 100 I'm sorry? That was me turning my mom down. Okay, so yeah, like bucks, bucks. yeah, you can get your radio, you can do a little handheld radio, which is enough just to communicate with a base station if somebody's got one. You know, so just so you yourself personally have one, that so you can hear orders or give orders or whatever you need to do. You know, like I said, around 100 bucks or so, you know, plus a little book and get the license. There's places online, I don't know exactly, but you can Google, you know, ham radio license in an hour or a day. And, you can get your license because you can't transmit without a license or getting deep shit. But excuse my French. But um, anyway, yeah, so that was just the comments I want to make. You know, look into some alternate forms of communication. You know, um, depending on the tech, I mean, it's really good. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's, it's great to have. But, you know, that can be shut off in an instant. They can take that away, including the cell phones and the cell towers. Radios, they can't take away. Well, they can, well, they can jam it. But they're going to be jamming their own signals as well. So just something that your people should look into. Uh, yeah, other than that, everyone stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Thank you, man. Appreciate you chiming in. Keep up the good work. Uh, if anybody else wants to chime in, we've still got a couple of people in the queue, but uh, if anybody else wants to chime in, we've got 35-ish uh, broadcasts that I can see. So. 
Anybody else wants to chime in? You can press star six and say what you got to say. You'll be next in line. <clears throat> Another thing I want to add is that we need to find out which frequencies that these people are using. And uh, go ahead and tap in them. And if someone out there, uh, like Bill, who he just called, would be helpful if one of those people could get those frequencies monitored and go ahead and put a stream on that online. Uh, even though we did say something about the international community getting the internet, uh, it should have the information available while it's here. If it does go away, it uh, So it can reach more people. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess the, the, the internet is great for reaching people, and like I said, it's great, but we don't want to rely on 100%. You just have the backup plan is always a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Though, though I, I, I agree. There's, there's one thing that makes me think that they wouldn't be too um, quick to, to hit the kill switch on the net. Um, too much international business, just um, in general is way too internet connected right now and a lot of that business is um, you know a part of the the power backing of the elites um, if you remember the the movie the matrix when they were entering it, it into that building and I think it was Neo who said that you know the structures within the matrix have to follow the rules set up in the matrix they're not exempt well, that I think that was kind of kind of a clue in that you know that's kind of the the globalist Achilles heel. There are certain things that they can't just shut down because they would hurt themselves along with us. So all of their little little business and you know within the fiat money system and all this other stuff they got going on is all internet dependent. So if they just like hit the kill switch on the whole thing, they'd be stabbing themselves in the foot because they they wouldn't be able to conduct their business in the way that they've set it up to conduct it. I mean, remember these people are creatures of habit. Once they get into a habit, they don't like to change their habits too much. So they're just as locked in as we are. Otherwise, I think they'd have shut it down a long time ago. Um, I have to agree with you. <laughs> I'm a second that. I think many of the people coming in, it's really cool how this is all worked out. All these different groups, patriotic groups, uh, awakening groups, uh, awakened groups, you know, ones that have been there, that are uh, more you know, predisposed to be. Uh, Keep dogs, all of that worship that have recently woke up. Um, all these different groups that have chimed in, it's kind of cool. We, you know, this is kind of a fun little reason that we, we think it's our good if you look at it. We, we hear uh, you know, 2,500 people chiming in you know, over the course of the last few days, but even those guys, those guys are leaders and they're, they're trying to push out this data all at the same time. It seems like you know, if we, this force is much stronger than we think it is. It's just so iconic, you know. This, See how people have come forward and, and tried to do something to support. I'm I'm just actually kind of worried now that if he's only given up the numbers of 20, what have we gone through in the last 36 hours? We, we heard from what we've seen and uh, on footage, but he's only claiming 20. Did they actually have closer to 200 at one point? Is, is yeah, he was he was saying they them? did, but they left. They kind of like got spooked and left. Yeah, we need to hear from those guys again. Yeah, I mean, where's well, where's I mean, Pete Santilli with his satellite feed? Transit. There's people in transit right now, so... I mean, I was saying that it, it looks like they're trying to disperse the crowd by the media. Uh, you can even see everywhere they're trying to say everything's over. Pretty much to get them... It seemed like they were intentionally trying to get the message out. Don't come, it's over. It would be a waste of time. And you get this phone call coming in. Is exactly what I was worried about. Uh, but we need a secondary confirmation as well. And so I have to say that, like you had said before, he did sound pretty good to me as well. So um, I'm just going to trust him for now. Yeah, I mean, if there's there's one thing that the amazing synchronistic awesomeness of uh, 
you know, this series of calls over the last two days has proven, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter if you're a, you're a teenage girl or an 80 year old grandfather, you know, if you, you get up online and you speak your piece, there's a lot of people that can relate to you and people will listen and people will chime in and people will spread it around. We are not powerless. It's magical how this has all turned out, and um, hopefully we can keep using this for future, you know, future uh, forward moving purposes. You know, it's kind of iconic how it's all worked out. Um, we're kind of low right now. It's you know four thirty central, but uh, you know we're still recording and still broadcasting in other places. Um, I got another person that actually just chimed in that wants to get on the line. So uh, if you guys can mute yourself out for a minute, I want to see if they can uh, if they want to ask any questions. Hey, this is Larry Murdoch hey. from uh, up in California. I was actually uh, going to go out there Sunday, and then uh, this morning when I woke up, I uh, saw that everything seems to have uh, calmed down and that it's been gone out. I just wondered, uh, now that now that uh, I don't even know, as opposed to uh, so chime in and listen to this conversation, but I got in late, I don't know uh, what happened for, uh, you know, what, what new developments have happened or anything. I didn't even know the Am I still going out there, or is it like tight? <laughs> you, you can know, check it out on YouTube. Really choice at this point. You can check it out on YouTube, you know, what you missed. Well, you, probably probably have have the minutes, uh, you can go back, and uh, this is being rebroadcasted on YouTube here. What has just happened prior to getting on the power bill? But did you by chance hear the gentleman that just called in live on the telegram, supposedly? No, I heard you talking about that. I didn't hear what was said. Yeah, that was pretty insane. Um, I would highly recommend uh, to, if you want to give the URL or another method for him to go ahead and test what happened about 10, 15 minutes ago, maybe. Uh, that was kind of awkward. Uh, we just had a gentleman that called in claimed to be in some ground, second in pounds. Uh, there's only 20 some odd people there. Everybody started going home. We haven't heard a lot from people that have been down there at uh, Boots on the Ground, uh, Ground Zero recently. Um, sure, I can I can give them that information. They were headed there. I, I uh, can give them the links. Them the, sure. Um, so. Sir, do you, do, you, do you have Facebook? Yeah, Larry Murdoch. Okay. All right, well, um, my name is Dave Kelso. Nice to meet you. But um, you can go to, um, to, to Brian's Facebook profile. That's B... R Y A N, and you'll and uh, you'll see uh, free the people, Brian, free the people, and then a really complicated last uh, name, Polish name there, and you click into that, and if you look at his wall, um, you'll see two um, YouTube videos posted that they keep getting uh, reposted periodically throughout. Um, the one that says PSEC 2014 Bundy Ranch Militia and Oath Keepers Conference Call Number Two. That's the one we're on right now. Now Google, Google only allows me eight hours, so in about 20 minutes, um, that feed's going to shut down. There's nothing I can do about it. But everything before that, um, you'll be able to get to get to replay on that link. There's also the link to the first conference call as well. All right, perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Yeah, if you if you go back about 10, 15 minutes ish, and you listen to that, maybe if you mutually listen to what's going on now, um, if, you know if you want to stay on the phone, that's cool. If not, go ahead, uh, jump on the YouTube. And that will keep feeding what's going on right now continuously. All right, well I'll I'll jump off the phone because I know you guys are talking and you probably got a lot of people in too. Uh, I I appreciate the info. Yeah, for sure, man. If anybody else wants to chime in, you can press star six. We'll get you in the queue. Um, got a lot of good people that have chimed in over the course of the last uh, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday now. Um, been pretty awesome. Um, I don't know, hopefully I got some, some rest and I'll be back on them about to uh, close this down here in a minute. Um, if anybody else wants to chime in, come on top. There we go. Uh, 49.8 years back in the queue. So many people may be having the same problem I do with my phone. I don't know what in the hell was that, but I was 
before you even got here um, yesterday, uh, it was about uh, as good as you trying to keep calling back, hanging up and calling back, and we could be doing the same thing. And I couldn't figure out what in the hell was wrong. I mean, it wasn't my phone, so I don't know what happened, what was causing all that disruption. Um, but what could be part of it was it was just Yeah, it seemed like there was a couple of attempts yesterday. Uh, Everything's been pretty good after uh, okay recalibrating today. But uh all right. Carl, are you still in there? Let me try it again. Four nine four eight. It should be good to go. Can you hear me now? Yeah. There you go. Am I on there? Yeah, you're on now, brother. Sorry about that, brother. <laughs> all right. Hey, I've been listening for a while now. You guys are doing a great job. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, from, man. Hey, I'm calling from uh, Gibbysburg, Pennsylvania. Okay, um, some more East Coasters. What's that? Get some more East Coasters. Come on in, bro. What's up? Yeah, it's about quarter six, and I've been I've been tweeting for about sixteen fucking hours, <laughs> pardon my French, and. Um, Trying to keep that keep that tweet trending, um, you know, top of the of the, of the uh, charts. And um, mm -hmm. I think if we I think if we can get everybody there and try and get everybody associated and try and get everybody to coexist, and you know, and and whether or not they're Tea Party or they're or they're Occupy or they're Black or white or yellow, it doesn't matter. We're all brothers in arms, and we're all American, you know. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you, this, when you encounter a police officer, and I'll tell you this from Occupy, just for anybody who's listening, you know, let them be the one that touches you first. Because right. if so. you ever, if you ever encounter a police officer and you touch them, even if you even touch them, you will get charged with a felony. Um, that is the way it goes. And they love to stack charges. I know oh, yeah. this from I know this from Occupy Wall Street. Um, and uh, I just want to know if everybody who out there is Everybody who's out there who's a cowboy, and everybody who's out there who thinks that the left doesn't care, and everything like that. This isn't a partisan thing, man. This is an American thing, and this is about a governmental overstep. And I just wanted to I've let everybody know that um, I'm with everybody there 100% in solidarity right now, um, and I just can't get there right now. So um, as for you guys, you're doing the best you can, and um, I'm going to try to keep doing the best I can doing where I am, and everybody should be too. Yeah, it's not and just an American thing, to, it's a uh, human thing. Once thing man, but definitely keep uh, sending people toward the uh, Twitter Oath Before Orders. Um, that's definitely the one we've been trying to use. Uh, I have not even been on there, um, but we've got a couple of people working hard to kind of keep that up, so you can keep... Uh, you know, anybody else that switched up for orders, you've got any actual confirmable intel that you want to throw up there, feel free, but uh, make sure it's confirmable and uh, we stop you know, spreading disinformation anywhere near that link. Okay. Uh, what would you like to know? Um, well, well, first off, um, you know, uh, people love to divide, and, you know, like the whole idea of PSYOP from the government is divide and conquer, you know, so they love to get on Twitter. And they love to troll. Um, you know, you'll see the same. You'll, you'll, see the, you'll, you'll see the you'll see the same symbol. You know, with the same person seeing like you know live shots uh, <coughs> taken at funny protesters, and then there's like a funny letter uh, um, pre post hit of, of letter. Well, that's it's it's obviously a falsehood, you know. Um, 
there is no there's no shots been taken, to my knowledge. Um, no. You know, uh, out there. Um, and then, of course, you know, you have your own people that you know they just want to use it for their own commercial gain. Um, but uh, as far as what I can see from the Twitter space is, um, you know, I mean, we've been trending one and two for probably about 24 hours now, um, which is, I mean, hell, we're like kicking the shit out of Justin Bieber. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I mean, it's like, you know, it, 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 it's crazy. But, um, you know, if, if everybody gets this hashtag, you know, Bundy Ranch, and, and then hashtag what that, you know, either a YouTube, you know, channel that's, like, important to them or a, 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 a something that is that is really got their good, you know, as far as politically, civilly, you know, uh, whether it be the XL pipeline or the fracking situation we have here in Pennsylvania. I mean, this is all about this is all about the government overstepping their bounds. Yeah. And how and how they're in our state forests right now and how our governor leased out our state forests to fifteen different corporations from Texas. Um to track underneath our water wells, um, you know, and I mean, natural gas is a really, you know, it's, I, I don't know how to explain to people that you can't export hydrocarbons. That's like a law. So that's why you see these big tankers that say LNG at at coastal ports because they have to liquefy the natural gas and put it in big bubbles and then send it to like Iran where they can sell it for like ten dollars a gallon. So the uh, you know what basically was supposed to be the fuel of of the fuel of the United States is now going to be the fuel that the United States uses to basically make you pay more for yours. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> yeah. Hey, may I make a suggestion on how to deal with the trolls? Just just something I do personally. Just. I'm sorry, but just um, just just tell the trolls, hey man, you know, I don't agree with you, but I respect your right to your opinion. They have no idea what to do with that. The way they attack you is they they look for something to to dig in. It requires you to defend yourself and attack them. Like, hey, no, MF, I'm right and you're wrong, and get into that kind of pissing match. That's the divide and conquer yeah. thing. But if you don't divide, if you say, well, I don't agree, but you know, I respect your right to your opinion. They have no idea what to do with that. They freak out. They get so mad. And then you say it again. Well, cool. You know, you have the right to be mad if you want. I still respect your right to your opinion. They have no idea what to do with it. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's the perfect way to handle it. It's just you know, it's just you know, hi, how you doing? You know, <laughs> aren't you aren't you special? You know, um, and just leave it there. Yeah. And, and just uh, and just like you said, you know, uh, let them know that that uh, you respect their opinion, and and, and then just leave it go, and not play into their in, into their uh, you know BS that they're trying to pull and make you angry. So, but um, the major the major point that I was trying to make was that uh, during Occupy, uh, which is a whole different story. Um, the uh, um, the people got into a lot of the trouble up there because um, we we actually uh, touch uh, a police officer, and then all of a sudden it was I mean we would be accused of a felony, and 
and then they would they would double the felony uh, and then and then give you another uh, disrupting the police on top of that so it's like you know everybody who's there on the ground and who's there which I hope is standing strong with the militia there down there um, my cats the Detroit cats um, I know the radical action mountain people are headed that way um, I know the uh, uh, some of the um, more um, more uh, come on, I'll say it, kind of uh, more more fracking related groups that are just uh, really angry. Um, they're headed out their way too, and um, you wouldn't believe that all 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 of them just. They want to be American, and they want to be. They want to, they want to just, you know, all just respect each other. And I've never seen people respect each other like I saw at, at Occupy up in the county park. You know, I saw union people, you know, helping out people that you, you know like set tents up for people who look gay, you know, I mean, it was just, it was just such a great group of people who got together, and, you know, I foresee this whole thing um, as the uh, Bundy Ranch, as it becoming the beginning of, of, of that type of organism, that type of situation where there's going to be a lot of different people who would just love to be Americans, and they just want everybody to know that, you know, it's, it's great to be American, but, you know, this time, I got an AR. <laughs> I didn't have that in an occupier. All right, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and let the next part go on, though. You have it? What's that? I'm going to uh, let the next part come in, is that cool? <laughs> no problem. Take care of yourself, right. and uh, good luck, guys. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Brian, let's call it 5287. Hey, Brian, I'm going to bother you tonight. Um, I just found some a bunch of people that's very concerned about the protesters and the militias there because, you know, um, when my grandmother had land for over, a, it's been in the family over 100 years right here in this little town. Yeah, uh, in real hot. Hold up, hold up. You're coming in real you. hot. Your red line. Your red line in it's just about every syllable. Uh, All right. Is right that here. better? Back down. A uh, little, little less, little less. Is that better? There you go. Thank you. Awesome. I'm sorry. Um, uh, like I said, uh, the land's been in, in my grandmother's name for a long time, but they extend, extended the city limits. We were county, but they extended it to city. So therefore, she had to start paying city tax, city water. Now, just because that land had been in my mom's name forever, didn't mean she'd be, she'd be able to say, no, you know, I ain't going to do it for blah, blah, blah reasons, which he is right. And the government is overthrowing it, and, and they are overstepping their boundaries. But the reason people are so concerned right now is because that's already going on in the White House. And we let it keep letting it happen. So now we're letting it happen there. And that um, federal uh, act that they're putting back in, They've asked for $60 million in this budget to reenact that Federal Land Transaction Facilitation Act. And it says here that if the only way that they can take it from this man or, you know, buy it is if it's a resource of scientific, natural, historical, cultural, or recreational value that's been documented by federal, state, or local government. And they can take it. They, they are fishing and sign the law. They're trying to do it now because he hasn't paid fees. But they are going to put that law in. They are going to put that law in. So if they can't get him for the fees, they're going to get him on the law. One way or another, it's just like Obama and his pen and his executive orders. And if they don't, it's going to wind up being martial law. And people, they're looking at what's going on at the ranch. Why aren't people talking about the, the executive order saying that they can detain every one of them protesters? 
for up to a year. If, if they declare martial law over that property, they can detain him, their cars, their land. It's all. Okay, the Skype dropped, but um, this Google Hangout is about to drop in a, in a minute or two here anyway. Um, so I'm going to cut it off here then. So if you want to continue listening, uh, you know, check out the YouTube description. You're going to have to uh, dial in the number and so on and so forth. But uh, this is it for tonight for the uh, YouTube feed. Uh, thank you for listening and uh, have a really good night.